So I've never played Path of Exile before. In terms of top-down hack and slash ARPGs, I've only ever played Diablo, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and recently Diablo 4. For those who don't know, Path of Exile is a free online action RPG developed by the good folk over at Grinding Gear Games in New Zealand. It was released in 2013, which in gaming years is a lifetime ago. They've actually just announced Path of Exile 2, and it looks fantastic. Now, if you play Diablo, you know it's impossible to read anything about the game online without people comparing it to Path of Exile. And that's why I'm here. I want to try it out for myself and make my own mind up about Path of Exile. So join me as I create my very first character. Character creation. I want to go with a ranged class and I'm just having a quick look here. So this is the rogue, I'm guessing, although I'm seeing another rogue here. There's not much in terms of character creation. You like play a character who already has a bit of a backstory, which is fine. Uh, let's just write down our name. I've got my name. I need to pick a league. So what's a league? This is the default Path of Exile League. These challenge leagues are the ideal place to play Path of Exile in a fresh economy. Okay, I'll try that. I wouldn't want to play the Eternal Realm. I'd want to play the Season. So let's go with this one. Okay, so Castaway, I'm guessing. I like a Castaway. Okay, I got my bow. The graphics are pretty good considering this game came out in 2013. Oh, here we go. First mob. Okay, straight away, I've got something here. Burning arrow. A fire is a burning arrow that deals fire damage and has a chance to ignite. Okay, I've got this nifty tutorial. That's kind of cool. So, all right, slot. So this is a slot thing. It's giving me an actual ability that I can use. That's kind of cool. So that means that there's no talent tree skill, I guess. It's just percentages. Oh my God, I don't know. Okay, let's try it out. So it is using my mana when I'm doing that, but it's doing heavy damage. The time to kill is pretty long so far, but it's fine. Maybe it's just because I'm level one. I'm sure it goes down. Level one, you always, it takes time to do anything. Momentum support. Okay, I've got a new gem that I can put in my weapon. And this one, gain one momentum when you use a supported skill. What is momentum? I don't know. So this is a, a support gem. It does not grant a bonus to your character but to skills and sockets connected to it. So that means that this socket here, this thing here has that. When you use that skill, you get that bonus. Okay. Oh, and I can see it up here. Momentum. Attack supported by momentum increase their attack speed. Oh, cool. So I'm going to shoot faster. Okay. Not even paying attention. There's a bus right here and he is not taking any damage. Oh, cool. Did he just took the sword out right from his chest? Okay, so far, I just kite these enemies. Oh, I like that, that I don't see the item straight away. Like, I'm sure it'll be useful later on. Maybe the item filtering will help with that. And I got the quest done. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. If I press Alt, there you go, I can see things. And I also have these nifty little icons that tell me like the gems that I can put in there. So you got red, green, and blue, it seems. And I get a robe. And the robe also has gems. I'm just not smart enough. I'm too much of a dum-dum. That's all right. And let's have a look at the quest. So it's semi-open world, it seems, where you got these open territories. Enemy at the gate. You have killed hill lock the zombie attacking the town, and leveled up. Open the passive skill screen and a passive skill point to upgrade your character. <laughs> what? What the frick? Okay. I start here, I guess. Okay, so these are my strength intelligence, dexterity. Either I go into evasion or I go into accuracy and projectile damage. Where does this end? Okay, I'll go with projectile damage. I do like that it's just one. I was kind of afraid that the t I knew the talent system was quite involved, like the skills, but I'm happy to see it's not like one out of five, for example. I'm, go I'm gonna go with like a glass cannon build, I think. Absolute glass cannon. A waypoint. I know what those are. I've seen those before in Diablo. How is this guy level 14? These cosmetics are a bit out there. I don't know how I feel about them. Um, um, okay, so it seems like this is like a little village. Sorry, these cosmetics are kind of really pulling me out of this. What the hell is that? So split arrow, ice shot, frost blades. Oh, frost blades is different because it's not with a bow. Huh, I thought this was the bow class. Okay, I like that. I like the idea. Uh, AOE damage. I'm going to put that in there, see how that feels. Hey, another thing we could use in Diablo 4. This overlay map would be really nice. Oh, Lestris of Exile. Okay, so it feels like we're exiled. We're all exiled, right? Okay, this makes sense. Entering the coast. Okay, so I have a few quests here. Travel to the Tidal Island. Find the medicine chest. That's the mercy mission. Wait a second. What is that? Do I get to level up the gems? No, because this one's 56. On... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not sure anymore what's going on. Hey, let me just put that back in. So now I'm doing Caustic Hour. I want to try that. Oh, cool. Again, the animations are really top notch for something that came out in 2013. I'm sure they've upgraded all this, you know, as they went along. But this could be released today and like not shock me. I'd be like, yeah, cool. In the ARPG, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Oh, la 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 la. Whoa, Jesus. These guys are no joke. 
That's cool. Oh, nice little look on you right there. Nice. Click this button to level up your gem. Let's see what that's all about. I just leveled it up. So these are like the incremental things that happen. Crabby McCrab face, dead, dead. Yeah, the Caustic Arrow was a good choice. It doesn't use all my ammo, I can put it down. Okay, my momentum support gem just leveled up. Use the silver coin in town. Okay, picked up a silver coin, no idea what that is. So I only have one quest right now, which is get the medicine. Right, okay, so I need to go south, east, if I need to find this chest. It seems, okay, so these are the exits I'm seeing on the map there, top right, there we go, exit. So this would be the tidal island, which is where I need to go to find the medicine chest. Really quick loading also, which is nice. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? So this is what, like an elite, like in Diablo 4? So I don't see any effects on his name. Like in Diablo 4, you would know what, what his powers are. I don't really care, but Jesus, the damage. Slowly but surely. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Is this harder than Diablo? There. That's level three, medicine sh chest. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, some boots, a robe. Yeah, all right, lion. Whoa, these guys are blue. They look like elites. Fire and okay, so there you go. We've got the actual. I think the guy, the other guy, was like a story guy, so we don't actually know what his powers were or whatever. But these guys, they have it written on them. Fire and ignite resistance. Good thing I got the caustic inventory management, but that's every game, right? Um, I do have a portal thing, so go back to Linus Watch, right? Travel to Linus Watch. All right, to the portal scroll. Take something and thanks for what you've done. Okay, what do I get? Medium life flask or quicksilver flask, which increases movement speed. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Oh, that's cool. It fills up. Okay, so you put it in there, it fills up automatically. Okay, I like that. When you hit an enemy with an arrow from a supporter skill, summon a mirage, a mirage archer, which uses that skill. So what do I go for? Do I go for additional skills? Additional damage. I really like the idea of having a, a companion of some sort, so that is good. So I'm gonna put that in here, right? No. Requires level four. Okay, I'm not quite there. I guess I'll just sell this stuff. And for that, I will get a scroll fragment, not gold. I haven't actually seen gold. There is no gold. We're not doing gold here. Okay. Just do this. Just sell everything. Currency. It's a weird currency. That's what I'm getting at. Halls of the Dead. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this is a season thing. What the hell? Am I dead? <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, so I, okay, I die when I do that. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of lore here to delve into. I like that. That's cool. So this is all dying for a fight. Okay, let's try it out. No, no. Is this all lore? These guys only have lore. Okay, these are all warriors, I think. This is a PvP arena for the dead, which is sick. It's also confusing. So I'm going to go back to the land of the living. There's a lot of um, loading screens, but I feel like based on the technology that we have today, they could probably take that out. Weathered carvings. So it seems to me that these um, books on the map are like war points. My mana is gone. No more mana, okay, it's fine. That's a quick, okay. The damage is no joke in this game. Absolutely no joke. Like it's, what are these creatures anyway? They look like dinosaurs. Oh yeah, that's level four, which is good because that means I can put my gem. Projectile damage or dexterity? Projectile damage. Increase projectile damage or attack speed? I like attack speed. I found a strange glyph in the mud flaps. Okay. This is cool. What is this, diamond shrine? No idea what that is. No, 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 no. I need to think about putting my gem in. I can even level up my caustic arrow and I'm soon gonna be able to do, to level up my momentum thing. But I don't need that right now because I'm gonna put this gem in here and see what happens. What if I put this in here? So I am still able to put the fire arrow if I want to, but I would lose all my support stuff. Oh, there it is, there's the summon. Oh, so the summon is on top of me, it's not really a summon. Okay, I just got a bonus. Diamond Shrine, you always deal critical strikes. Yeah, I know that one. Keep exploring the mud flaps. I'm seeing a lot of quests. Find the glyphs in the Roa nest. So I have found one. The wall seems to require three strangely shaped objects. So three glyphs, so I need to find the glyphs on the map, which I will do. And right now, level four, I'm a bit slow. Armor is scrap, what's that about? Armor is scrap, improves the quality of an armor. Right click the item, then right, left click on anything. Okay, like this, cool. Quality plus five. Okay, the poison build, build seems to be working quite well. It's level five, that's cool. I get an elite scepter. I'm guessing I can't use that, can I? I can. Okay, boom, boom. It's kind of cool that even though I only am level five or whatever, shooting something that's quite specific to my build, if I had any other glyphs, it would be a completely different gameplay in a way. Search the mud flaps for the entrance to the fetid pool. Done that. Kill all monsters in the fetid pool. Let's do that. But this is like a dungeon. Kill all the monsters. Okay. Bro, what is the deal with this damage? My life is yo-yoing. Oh, arrow quiver. Okay. AoEs are always a good shout in these kind of games because of the nature of them is that there's a lot of enemies on screen. 
Oh, cool. So blue chest plate. Right now I have a white chest plate. Get that blue chest plate. Identify it. It's a strength breastplate, which doesn't really work for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trying to multitask. Oh shit. This guy is elite. Even more elite than elite. He's not blue. He's gold. Yeah, level up. Level six. And I get a robe, some chain boots, and a ring. Yeah, yeah. Kill the Necromancer and his minions. Okay, Hadavrus the Defiler, little boss. Okay, let's see if there's more to this guy than just like hiding him. What kind of abilities does he have? He is a Necromancer, so, and this guy has a shield. It's good that he doesn't move much, although my potions are running out. Like, that's it. I need to run away now, or do I? Maybe I can push through? No, 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 no. That's death right there. Are my flask going to... And I just killed it. him. What did I get for it? I got some boots, some gloves, nothing else I really want. So I still need to kill all the monsters. Oh, there's another- oh shit! Oh, oh my god, look at that! Life just go down. That was really dangerous. I am made out of vapor. No, he hits so hard. Just spamming those potions. I'm out. I'm out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wah! Okay, that was a tough one. Actually, I'm just gonna go to 10. That's fine. It does feel weird that it's like two different menus to sell stuff. So I do like the idea that I can make a nice and magic thanks to this. So my bow is actually just a white normal bow. Maybe if I, I can upgrade it to be a special bow and it did not work. So okay, and equip it, do this there. Yeah, not bad, adds three to seven fire damage. Didn't even see that coming. So I would like a red orb, for example. So if it's only skills, it means I need to put a green skill in here. And then the red and the blue skill will be support skills on top of that. That's what I'm I'm getting out of this. Oh, notice board. Oh, penis is looking for three plants. <laughs> so I need to keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. And then uh, as soon as I get a scroll of wisdom, come back potentially. I don't know if attack speed was the best thing to go with actually. Can I refund that? Nope. Okay. So I'm in the fetid pool and I still need to kill more monsters. So let's just hang around here. So, so this is a good example. I am supposed to kill all the monsters and I look at the map and I see no monsters. So I don't know where the last guy is. Maybe here, potentially. Man, they die so fast. Oh, there you go. Zero monsters remain, one monster remain. Okay, that's cool. And just like Diablo 2, the whole place, you get a bit of light, so you know where you're going. So far, so good. These guys are not too bad. Oh, I say that. Hey, oh, okay, cool. An elite with a name, and he applies a dot over time. Just be careful. Keep your wits about you. You'll be fine. Oh my god. For my troubles, I got a rusted spike, which I'm not going to be using. Oh, and there's the last glyph. Because of my lack of map, I don't really remember where I'm supposed to go in terms of... Oh, there it is. Okay. One thing I'll say about the dungeon that I was in a second ago was that it didn't seem like it was generated by the computer in terms of the randomness. It feels like somebody actually made that and thought about the layout. I mean, it was a big circle, right? But it did feel like the environment was quite bespoke just for this dungeon, which I like. Oh, so this was actually part of the main quest. This allows me to go to the submerged passage. Okay, cool. So a bit of environmental questing, which I like. Used to be sick at Sudoku back in the day. And that's level seven. So I'm not actually sure what my quest is here. Talk to Target for a reward. Okay, so it's telling me to go back home, basically. So I'm going to do that. Hey guys, I've done the quest. So I'm not sure if this means I've done a quest or if I have a quest to pick up, which is a shame. Now that you've drained that passage, it looks a bit like a sand spit Okay, so there's something in that cavern that needs to be killed. The affected enemy will take increased damage from traps and mines until the debuff expires. Eh, I don't like that one. I'll use the ballista. That's kind of fun. And it's, I do get one crazy reward, the dash. Cool. Didn't quite get that, but let's just put the points in. Ballistics. There we go. I'm already at plus 30% um, projectile speed, which is really good. And then I can just go in any direction, but I feel like whatever direction I take, that it will wildly change the build. Find the Emperor's Road. That's my new quest. So... I'll put my ballista here. The dash, I'll put the dash on my helmet. So now I have a dash and I have a ballista. Why don't we go back and see how well they work together? Okay, so let's try the dash. Q. Yeah, it's a dash. I like it. And middle click gives me a ballista. Let's see how much damage this ballista does. Oh my God, what? <laughs> oh my God. This is great. Oh, there you go. Yeah, have fun with that. These are my ballistas. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Ballista. It's like a shotgun. It's like a portable shotgun. And having three of them is just beautiful. I just love it. Oh, Silver Soul. Here we go. The animation is also very swift for the Ballista. There's more to do here. Also, I'm supposed to find like this, the Dweller of the Deep. A giant crab lurking in the depth. I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm going to find this crab. I want to kill this crab. So it seems like I've done all this. I need to go down a bit more. Southeast. Did I miss the door? I might have missed it. Yeah, it seems like I might have missed it. Okay. Um, all right. So what direction am I going to go in? This is where things get interesting. If I go this way, 
evasion mastery. So it's all about evasion. This way is life mastery. Now this way we have flask mastery, protection mastery. Okay, I'm going to go towards aspect of the eagle, see how that goes. 12% increased damage with bows. Okay, that kind of makes sense, right? Oh, and I did get the refund points. So I get two refunds now for free. Okay, I like that. Good job, game. Let's keep it going. Okay, so I think this is actually, there you go. Look at that, the flooded depth. Oh, nice little water effect there. We haven't seen these monsters before. Oh, hello. Ballista time. I, love, I just love the ballistas. Oh, that's a cool animation. I like that a lot. The crab coming out of the water, very cool. Oh, and I get to use the potion. There we go, look at that, look at that. Look how fast I'm going. Everybody together, ballista, ballista, ballista. Oh, the dweller of the deep, there you go, I found him. We got one ballista, two ballista, three ballista, boom. And I get my scroll of wisdom, which I'm probably going to keep this time around. I'm going back home. So there's a waypoint over there. I'm just going to take the waypoint because I'm a smart boy. Every time I come back here, somebody has got some wild shit going on. The aesthetic of this game so far is fine. So let's see if I can upgrade my ballista to totem with something blue. This is so overwhelming. All this text. Supported skills, throw traps randomly around targeted option. Yeah, I'll take it and I'll put it in here. In here. I don't get my fragment back. That's very fun. Um, Let's go back. Let's get that skill point in first. Oh, there you go. Aspect of the Eagle, better attack speed with bows, better accuracy, damage over time, increased damage, we're good. Yes, I wanna apply it, awesome. I would have to find like one super powerful enemy and then use the trap. Okay, oh, what are those? Are these supposed to be glutinous goals? What does that mean? What am I even looking at? What is that? It just looks so weird. Make a friend out of one of them. How useful is that? Averagely useful. Now, when you look at my ballistas, that's something else. <laughs> And that's level nine. Nice one. I prefer the more open regions rather than the tunnels so far. I feel like there's just more space to for activities. One, two, three. Here, have a bit of lore. Why not? Oh, lots of stuff happening here. Whoa. Oh, so every ARPG needs cannibals. That's also the rule. Oh, no, 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 no. damn. It's, seriously, this game catches you off guard. Wow, that's, it took half my life away. Okay, this is like a boss. Like you have strats and stuff. You got to be careful. Yes. Oh, I'm level 10. Nice. And let's continue with the damage increase. The fact that they just push 15% increased damage, 20%. Like, these are big numbers. Like, I'm two-shotting these guys just with my regular attack, which I would never do. These guys are also hurting me real bad. I've got to be careful. One, two, three. Ballista. Boom, boom, boom. You're all dead. You're dead. Oh, I have a shield. I had no idea. I have a shield. And I have a flag of Lionel. Lion's eye, goddammit. There is no honor without sacrifice. Oh, I forget. I have my traps. I could just put a trap down. Have I made a friend? No. I'm gonna make a friend. There you go. I made a friend. I'm looking forward to seeing something else than the beach. Whoa! Ballistas to the rescue. I need these ballistas to stun. If I could get these ballistas to, su to stun, we're, we're cooking. If you didn't know, back in the medieval days, uh, when they had to torture people and stuff like that, you would be put on a wheel in, th in this form, and then they would break each and every one of your bones, and then they would roll you down the street, and it would hurt a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Nice little facts. Facts with Nyx. Yo! <laughs> this guy's crazy. His design is awesome. I really like that. Leather, there you go. Leather, that's what you need. Bit of leather, strapped leather, even better. So I need to identify this. Okay, I'll take it. And I'll put my, what does it have, a green? There you go, good to go. <laughs> Just rolling down the street, I love it. Okay, so this is the prison, there we go. Okay, I'm happy, we're changing it up now. Going into a prison, seeing how that is. Okay, I got the waypoint, so I'm gonna go back home real quick. Yeah, there you go, more crazy shit. People with wings and buffs and whatever so there's gems that are connected and that those are that aren't that's kind of interesting so i can take a red one added cold damage supports any skill that hits enemies uh-huh i need a blue actually but support bow attack skills that fire arrow swords this text is so i feel like i'm trying to learn warhammer 40,000 or something these skills will instead fire a payload arrow into the air to land at a target electrician okay can i support skill that already fire arrow in the air so i can put this in caustic arrow and shrapnel ballista what the fuck sell items let me just sell a few things yeah I don't care. I need to purchase something that has two greens. No questions about it. I need green on green, please. Oh, look at that fucking ad. Look how cool that is. If I just take this, put it in there, take this, put it in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh yeah, this is cool. I'm obviously missing the rest of the gear, but I like that a lot. So go to the prison, kill Brutus. You got it. I need to try it now. You're no fucking way. No freaking way. Are you telling me that that gem changed how the ballista looks? Ballista firing straight. God, that's so cool. So suddenly my ballista doesn't fire straight, which I don't know how much I like that, but it doesn't fire straight. It instead fires a payload arrow into the air to land at a targeted location. Okay. Okay, let's try it out. I don't know if I like that. 
But it's so cool that that dynamically changed the ballista. That's amazing. Oh, 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 oh. It seems like the range is also higher. It's not like a shotgun anymore. It's like a precision rifle. It's getting a lot more chaotic on the screen. And that's okay. That's a good thing. This design is quite classic, if a little boring. Every game has dungeons that look a bit like this. I wish they would have pushed it a bit further, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Werewolf schools. Having a speed potion on hand that like keeps regening is really good. I love it. It's like mortar fire. It's so fun. You got to be a bit more careful. And that's level 11. Awesome. It's definitely gone up a level. Oh, skill points. Oh, okay. Aspect of the Lynx. 20% increased attack damage. See what I'm talking about? Like these, insane. Movement speed, critical strike damage. Yep, that's awesome. <laughs> like World War Three. I'm getting orbs, which is good. I'm going to be able to use them to buy equipment or upgrade my gear potentially. Oh, and I see that the exit is that way. Oh, the exit was not here. I've been bamboozled. Go back, go back. What's this? What? What's a tattoo? What? No. One, two, three. Did we that earlier? Okay, okay. I got a bunch of stuff here. That was fun, though. The fact that you can, there's these chests that you can activate. I like that. Cell crawler. I will get a whispering essence of woe. One, two, three. Okay, this, this is crazy. This is crazy now. I don't know. I picked it up and now I can't find it anymore. There it is. I'll take the heavy belts. Some things tells me I'm gonna, oh no, I can wear it. Plus 33 to strength. That's a huge boost. Okay, lots of war going on. So I see blood, someone's crawled or been pulled around. Oh, there it is. Who's this guy? Wait, that's the woman. No, that's not her. Uh, no idea. There's a lack of enemy here. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> What in the world? Brutus, the famous Brutus. Oh my God, these are saving my skin. Okay, he's not too bad, he's not too bad. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, I'm out of life. I feel like I've got a good build. Oh, why did you teleport into him? Yeah, there we go. Prefix modifier, Beryl. Suffix modifier of Plunderer. Is this a bit like Diablo 2 when you could put two gems into one thing to create like a new item and the name of the item would become the two gems. So you would put like, can't remember exactly, but it's like roll and pull together and the item would be called roll pull and you'd have a specific amount of attributes. Oh, these all look so cool. And I can't, well done. So far so good though. Follow the Empress Road. Tell me to follow a road, I'm gonna follow the road. The hell is going on? Okay, Elite, wow. I do like the elemental effects, they're really good. Oh my God, they have attributes? There's gotta be a whole freaking skill tree about flasks, isn't there? So now I get the choice, do I wanna go further this way or do I wanna go further down? I will go back to Lion Eye Watch. I wanna get my rewards and I need to sell a bunch of stuff, so might as well. These guys are funny. Sell item, boom, 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 boom. What is this? Fires an arrow at the target destination. When the arrow lands, you are teleported. When you throw an arrow and then you're teleported to it and a clone is summoned at your old location. The clone is a minion that uses your bone quiver. That is cool. I would like this, please. Thank you. That's complete. Let's keep on keeping on. It seems to require some key. Find another way to the forest. Okay, I must have missed an animation or something, but I need a key. Let's try this arrow thing. Oh, okay. And if I go back a bit, there's another version of me somewhere, right? Look at that. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to get with it. Okay, that's cool. So I can go boom. Jumping goat man, hate it. It's great, it's giving me a lot more ways to traverse the terrain, the environment, I like that. These die very easily. I don't know if I'm getting overpowered or something, but these die really quickly. I do take a lot of damage though, so. Oh, oh, there we go, there's another one. Guarded by three packs of monsters. So I'm gonna have three packs of monsters to contend with though. I'm gonna put my mortar down and then these kind of guys show up. Oh, that was too bad. Thanks to my mortars probably. Oh, that's a shame. There's no point in putting uh, these in your game. The chest being empty is lame. No point. But, oh, wait. I need to concentrate here. Oh my god. Yeah, level 13. Let's go. Okay, I'm kind of teleporting myself into danger, which is not how you're supposed to use this teleport. Oh, there you go. Find an other way to the forest. Okay, the ship graveyard. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Is that skill point? Let's put that in first. So now I'm going for projectiles or swords. So I'm going to go with projectiles. Oh, ghosts. That's new. One, two, three. Oh, I like that they kind of get pulled back into the sky. That's kind of fun. The ship graveyard cave. That seems like a dungeon. I need to evade some stuff. I'm going to die eventually. Okay, so we're back with the blue jellyfish in the tunnel kind of vibes, which is fine. I don't mind. Oh, guarded by three packs of monsters. Get ready. Bye. Yeah. All right. Get some orbs. Keep going for it. And another dead end. Oh, quests. Strangle charm. Is that an elite? Yeah, it is an elite. One, one, two. Come on. Yes. Yes. 
Slave girl. The all flame emanates a silvern warmth like no other. Investigate the all flame. What does that mean? Travel to the ship graveyard. Okay. I was there a second ago. And then explore the ship graveyard. I can do that. What's that? Oh, it's some lore. I like that the lore is in the environment. That is cool. We need more of that. Actually, I think I prefer the Diablo 4 method because these are just like, they look cool, these carvings. But when you, so you click on them and then you can't move. Otherwise the lore leaves and... For me, I don't mind because I usually stop and listen and write down and stuff. But for other people, I think that's kind of a pain in the ass. It's you're kind of putting an obstacle to for people to learn your lore, which is a shame. There, it doesn't seem connected. Oh, you connect through here. Um, okay, keep exploring the ship graveyard, I guess. I've completely forgotten to use my teleport. I should use it more often. Okay, um, guarded by three strong packs. Yellow, love it. Let's go. What the time? This, I always pucker up. I mean, this is scary. All right, we're good. We're good. We don't need this. We don't need this. We do need that. I don't know if prefix modifier healthy tier eight. I don't know what any of this means. So I'll just keep playing and hope something explains it. One, two, three. Oh, elites. Level up, baby. Level up 15. Levels are pretty quick. I like that. I mean, so far, I actually don't know what the max level is in Path of Exile, so. And I get some one-handed sword, and I don't know why I got a one-handed sword. I just did. What the hell is that? I swear some players have their own little ecosystem around them. Sure. Okay, so this is where we find out if identifying something gives you more. So five transmutation shards, but if I identify it, I get one orb of augmentation. Augments a magic item with a new random modifier. Actually, that does sound better. I need to sell this, please. Sell the item. Thank you, sir. So I don't really care for anything else then. I never use the teleportation, unfortunately. So I'll just, I'll use the dash, keep the dash in my back pocket. Yeah, that's about it. I have to say, I'm not impressed with how I look in this game so far. It's a bit naff. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna finish what I started. I like that the map kind of, if you get somewhat close to your objective, they'll just tell you. They'll be like, it's this way, which I think is really good. They'll give you that like little indication on the right there. That's good, I like that. Treasure chest. Nothing's ever free, I should have known. The lights are quite aggressive. Escape these guys. I am going in the right direction. What in the world? Strange sinkhole of balance. Item quantity plus 10%. Players cannot inflict exposure. Corrupted. What does any of this mean? Oh, these guys are cool. Kind of slower, tankier. Because the monsters, they hit so hard, it's harder to run past them without getting obliterated because as soon as there's like more than three around me, I'm, I feel like I'm in danger. Oh, I like this. This is good vibes. Also, for some reason, the music is going hard. I find it wild that I still haven't found a better bow. Caustic arrow, armor scrap. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this. So we just got Val's Rain of Arrows or Val's Caustic Arrow. Now I remember that this is called Caustic Arrow. So if I put them all together, they look the same, but they're not the same. It looks exactly the same. I don't know what I'm looking at and I'm honestly a bit scared. So I'm going to put it on this, I guess, just, and then put that on Rain of Arrows. Fiery sequence of 18 arrows, that's fine. But then there's this corrupted effect. I'm just reading through it again. Each arrow deals damage in area, but half of the arrows will land directly on target if they're targets in their range. Okay, so I got this new rain of arrows thing. Let's try it out. See. Oh, cool. Just rain of arrows. Nothing special to it. Not enough souls. So I have two now and one is asking me for souls. How do I get souls? Is this some kind of like kill people, get their souls, and then you can use the corrupting effect? Yes, it sure does look that way. Something's climbing. Hey, let's run around. Thank God for the running potion, by the way. It's really good. Oh, okay. Making friends. Oh. Let's get the ballistas out. Open fire. Oh, 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 I have one. Val, Reign of Arrows. Fire five sequence, 28 arrows. Okay, so this is like a cool ass, dope ass, crazy ass effect, which makes me want to replace this with this. So I just doubled my skills, basically. Um, Sorry, why, how are they dying? I'm not even, oh, are they supposed to do that? Okay, okay here we go. Right, okay, so it just keeps, right, keeps going. No, okay, that's pretty good. And what about my other one? A very slow arrow. Oh, no, 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 no. That is so good. This is so good. Oh, I'm bigger. I got bigger. You have increased life, area, zone, and size. I am a bit freaked out, actually. I'm so big. Oh, someone's got a bit of money. Okay. Ah. But this is a ballista kind of job. So I'm using all my ultimates right now. Okay, I'm running out. I'm running out. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Did I kill her? Not even close. God damn it. I can't die. I cannot die. Can I jump out? Jump out? Jump out? No. Dead. Resurrect at checkpoint. Okay, so there's a check. I can just resurrect at this checkpoint. Why would I ever resurrect at a home? Resurrect at home. Let's go back home real quick and then try and get some better stuff. 
so you have like attack gems and you have supporting gems and I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay, let's try and get a life regeneration. Who doesn't like life regeneration? Boom, that's my T now. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell a few things. That's, that's all right with you. Selling these seem cheap to me. I'm a bit afraid of the corrupted side of things, but we'll see. Now I have like this reg regeneration thing, so that's good. I could use that as soon as I get in there. Oh, okay, she's still here. Uh, nearly dead, nearly dead, come on. There we go, nice. I'm surprised her health hadn't regenerated. That's a bit weird to me. Wait, is there a second phase? Oh my God, there's a second phase now. <laughs> She's all swampy and She's got tentacles now. I mean, I like tentacles on a woman as much as the next guy, but this is too much. I do have my little aura that's healing me at the same time, which honestly is a lifesaver. Yes, yes. Yeah, I did it. Oh my word. That was, that was intense. I'm gonna have to go through it. A staff, why not a club? I don't, why? There's a diary. This is why she was pissed off, okay. And I'm in the Southern Forest now. I am gonna try and find the city first. Oh yeah, monkeys. I love monkeys. <laughs> yes. Monkeys and beetles. Okay, well, and now we have thugs. All right, why not? I'm suddenly taking so much more damage. Okay, this has got to be the forest encampment. Yes, nice one. Okay, so these are the Russian village. The ways of Orioth. I'm guessing Orioth is one of the deities. Also, something that's really good from this game that I've realized is that all these hubs are quite contained. Now, I love big hubs. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the villages in Diablo 4 are actually great. They just are. But this contained hub is so much more helpful because it allows you to just jump from where you need to go real quick, you know? No way. And you can fill that up. Oh my God. I love collecting stuff. This is like a hunting village piece. All right, this is going to be the end of me this game. So I've just finished act one with my rogue and tell you my pros and cons for the video and for Path of Exile as a first time player. Overall, my experience is really positive. One of my biggest surprises going in and actually was how well the graphics held up after the game was you know released 10 years ago like that's kind of crazy when i zoom in like that it doesn't look amazing but when you're out and you're in the tunnels and you see the lighting it looks really impressive the story is intriguing I i'm a lore guy so i like to read about the lore and understand the lore i feel like i enjoy the games much more that way maybe even on par with diablo lore it's really impressive the combat was pretty good it's definitely a highlight the two biggest things that i got, got out of this game is the gem system is really good because you put these gems in, you get abilities, but then you mix and match the gems together and they become completely different abilities like my Ballista, which completely changed uh, midway through the game. That was really, really cool. And the second thing that I got out of the combat is that the talent tree itself is huge. I like the fact that every point you put in feels like a huge difference to the gameplay. As soon as you put a point in, the game changes a bit, suddenly, you're doing 20% damage, it's not 2% damage. Um, suddenly you, you walk 5% faster, you run 5% faster. That's really good. You guys let me know in the comments what I missed, obviously. Now, when it comes to stuff I didn't like, um, although the build diversity is really insane, I could have used some form of onboarding to understand where I should start. I think it's good. It's a, it's really good that it's like, do whatever you want, but I was super overwhelmed and I come from ARPGs in the first place. Um, so I was ready for something complicated, but I didn't feel like it was complicated, but it was overwhelming. It was like, well, too much. Where am I going? I need some kind of help. And the fact that I didn't actually open the help panel doesn't exactly inspire confidence in what I'm saying, because I'm realizing that if I just used the help or something, it would have maybe been a lot better. Uh, something else I didn't like, there's a lack of cinematics. There's a, the voice acting is fine. It's not insane, but it's fine, but I think it would have been better. And this counts for Diablo also, if maybe the camera zoomed in a bit more. Uh, in Diablo, it kind of zooms out and rotates, but I think to get immersed in the story, you need some zooming in. Um, a bit like Baldur's Gate 3 does this really well. Um, of course, there's a lot more cinematic um, things at play there, but some zooming in, some text, it would have been better. I felt like halfway through the game, I felt like I should have gone on YouTube to kind of get a bit of an idea of how to build this character. And I didn't like that. I prefer the idea that I can figure it out by myself, which I did in the end. But the idea that I have to go on YouTube and like kind of break the immersion midway is not great. I don't like to plan my gameplay too much. Otherwise, it just feels like I'm ticking the boxes as I play. The gear was also not great visually and also 
stats wise. I felt like the stats on the gear were, weren't as cool as the gems and the talent tree. And also the visuals are super underwhelming on the gear. Now I know this game released in 2013, but I feel like there's a lack of focus in terms of the theme. Uh, the theme feels a bit all over the place. I would have preferred it if it was a bit more focused. When it comes to comparing with Diablo 4, there's a ridiculous amount of things that I love about this game that Diablo 4 doesn't do. I think I prefer the vibes of Diablo 4. And to be fair, it's released like this year. It's much more modern. But in terms of features, this game has got it all. I mean, so far, it's it's amazing. I wonder what the PvP is like. I wonder what the dungeons are like. Uh, I wonder what the story is like. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again very soon. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a second episode of Tableau 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. I wasn't going to come back to Path of Exile, to be fair, but then the feedback on the video was so good that I decided, you know what, maybe this could be a series. Maybe it would be fun to play through each act. If the viewers are there, I'm very happy to do it. Now, I've purposely tried to stay away from the comments as much as possible because although you guys gave me a lot of tips, I've read a couple, uh, like, for example, pressing Z to see things that's a good one. Um, I want to keep away from all the tips and tricks I have to do with like the game itself. And I want to discover everything myself so I can make up my own opinion of things as well as how well the game explains things to you and stuff like that as we go through the other acts. Now, I haven't played this game in about two weeks, so it's going to be tough at the beginning, but I'm sure we'll get back into it real quick. So last time I remember I killed a boss and I advanced through act one. So now it's time to go through act two. So let's have a look, look at these quests here. I have a couple here and there, and I'm supposed to meet someone, hunt a beast of some sorts. I do remember looking at the beast cherry at the end of it and being like, wow, this is actually really cool. The idea of like Pokemon, you get to collect all these, uh, all the information about these monsters. That's exciting. So I'm in this jungle camp. So let's try and remember how this works. I've got my water. I've got a cup of tea. I've got some biscuits. I'm ready to go. Let's start with Amar's hunt. Oh, this is Amar, and I have to meet him somewhere else. Let's go south. Southwest. Ready, exile. This land is dying, but even a rotting carcass has its uses. Yeah, yeah. Find and weaken the beasts so that Amar can capture them. Okay, cool. I'm following this guy. We're gonna capture some beasts. I swear to God, I cannot remember any of these skills right now. It's actually quite confusing. So death my normal attack. Right click is my poison attack. Mouse four, ballista, love it. W rain of arrows, and then I'm not sure about the other ones. And I have a vitality thing. Vitality aura. Oh gosh, this is gonna be confusing. All right, let's get going. Find and weaken the beasts so that Amar can capture them. Okay, I'm slowly getting the hang of it again. Oh, yeah, I was wondering, why was I so slow? I'm still not sure, actually. Yeah, killing monkeys, why not? Your skill gem can now be leveled up by clicking on this button. And I've leveled up, that's level 17. What's that? Oh, I cannot remember, what was that about? God, I tell you, this game, if you haven't come back to it in a while, it's like everything's a bit confusing. These hearts, what does it mean? It's like a different rain of arrows, a corrupted version. That's what it is. So these gems have a corruption to them and I can't remember why. How do I get over there? And I've got monkeys just falling on me and I'm dead, wow. Search for beasts along the road. Right, so I am supposed to kill all these monkeys, which makes me sad, I love monkeys. <laughs> Wow, these guys are tough. These are tough monkeys. And you know who would love this? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan would be all over this. Okay, new beast captured. Stygian, 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 Stygian ape. My goal here is to get some better items, especially my bow, if I want to keep playing this way. I might respect, you know? I might just respect. I might go for something a bit different. Okay, keep going. Still two monkeys to get. I gotta be careful of my health. I forgot, in this game, people would just like hit you like a truck. Oh my god, I'm, is my thing already full? Okay, tortured cage requires intelligence. Strap boots. Identifying. I need to identify things here. Okay. Oh, cool. Primitive star. Mm hmm. I do need to sell a bunch of stuff. And I get a passive skill point, which I'm going to refund the whole thing. So I'll, I'll be interesting to see how that works. I'll just put the point in whatever for now, and then we'll do it later on. Actually, I need to get back to town. How do I get back to town? I probably need to use a scroll. Right. Fine. So where's the goddamn seller person? Sell items. Yeah, so as soon as I got two daggers or two swords, I'm respecking. Also, all right, let's continue. I still got some monkeys to get. It's quite thematic following a hunter as he searches for these monkeys. Okay, water doesn't look half bad either. Monkeys, ballista, ballista. This guy looks tough. He was not. Level 18. Who's this guy coming out of his tent? So that's cool. I like that little animation. Oh, there's two of you guys. Three of you guys, what were you doing in there? I still have two beasts to capture. Okay, keep doing that. Is this even a side quest or is it the main quest? 
Oh my lord. This guy looks t What is going on? My screen is on fire. This is why people play these games, right? Can I think for a second? Jesus. Heal, 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 heal. He's taking no damage. Ballista, ballista, rain of arrows. This is just like invisible monkeys, fire monkeys. That would only slow me down. See what I mean? I've been playing for like three seconds and all of this is already taking up all my space. So new rule, we only take gold, which is a shame, absolute shame. There's another beast not too far away. Oh, this is the monster. Okay, I didn't really realize. We're done with monkeys now. We got weird crabs. Get some mana, ballista, ballista, rain of arrows. Which just freaking die. He is less flamboyant than the lava monkey. One-handed sword. Okay, I will twist it. There you go. Two swords. Broadsword. Okay, I think it's time to dive deeper into the skill levels and all that and refund all those passive points. Voice acted quests. I love it. Visit menagerie. Entering the menagerie. Where am I? Welcome to Aina's menagerie. This is where we keep the beasts we capture. Okay, now I'm going back. This is too much. Mission complete, travel to the menagerie, use the blood altar. Wait, is that part of the main quest? It might be. Sorry, guys. There we go. Let's finish these off. Awesome. First test first. I would like to go to my talent tree and refund everything. Here we go. Sorry, I'd like to refund everything. Okay, this is not working. Do I have to click on all of these? Wait, I can I can only refund so much? Oh, help panel, there you go. I really didn't use the help panel last time, so maybe I should. You can undo your choice with the passive refund points you get from certain quests and from using Orbs of Regret. You can only undo a single port per refund point, so if you plan on making changes later, make sure you can afford to do so. Are you serious? I was just about to try this whole new build. Keep it fresh. Aw, oh, man. So now I'm really stuck. Well, am I? I've got two points. I can try and make it to King of the Hill. That sounds good. Increase damage with bows. Apply points. What a disappointment, I have to say. I don't need you. I don't need you. Never needed you either, nor you, except. Okay, here's my stash. Now, I did just put some gems away. Maybe I could use those gems in some way. Momentum support. Gain momentum. Oh, I've, I've played with these last time. Oh, thank you. I'll just continue my very average peasant with a bow build. So what quest am I doing then? This one, which is not on my radar. No, I need to go back to the riverways and then go southwest, I think, based on what I'm seeing here. So back to the quest. I'm in the western forest and I'm looking for deal with the bandits. The forest encampment is under constant attack by three bandit factions led by Creighton. Chris, Chris, okay. If you find a way to prevent these attacks, Eremir will reward you with two passive skill points. Okay. <laughs> the mob density just makes no sense in terms of like realism, but I mean, when has it ever made any sense? It's just fun to see 20 naked men jump towards me. Uh, you guys also have those. How did that guy, what? Why didn't you explode? These guys are exploded like, like balloons. What's that about? Okay. Oh, a bit of lore. Now, I did read a couple comments, I can't lie. And I did read that I can just listen to the lore while moving, apparently. I just didn't realize it last time, which would be a plus. Let's find out. We, the court of reckoning, find you. Oh yeah. I'm gonna listen to it now and figure out what's going on. Oh, you got a little progress bar at the, bo at the bottom. That's good. Okay, so I also picked up like a, a bonus, like a power up, a kind of like a shrine. And my character is huge now and I love it. And now I'm small again. All right, why not? But it's fun to see that that's how you measure if you're buffed up or not, like your size. It's like the Dark Souls way of like, the bigger they are, the harder they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, are these like suicidal guys? Cause they throw themselves at me and then they just blow up, but they don't blow up like they've got bombs. They blow up like internally from something inside them. I don't know if this guy's just jogging. He's one of the exploding ones. Runs towards me, has a tummy ache, dies. Takes me with him. These guys are a bit more powerful than the other ones. There you go, kill the black guards. Who are these guys? The black guards, obviously, but what does it mean? Oh, there she is, Arturi, Captain Arturi, or he. Done. And I get an, a sigil of thaumaturgy craven, gra graven, graven, in granite. Graven and granite. That's a hard one to say. Talk to best self for your reward. Right. So I can get to the prison. Well, let's try that out real quick. Maybe there's one of those teleportation circles. Goatman. Yes. Another one that's a staple of any ARPG. Goatman. All right. Golden goat. Ballista. Ballista. Brain of ours. It all makes sense. Orb of Regret. Perfect. I just need 50 more to be able to respec. Why not? Okay, so I've made it to where I want it to be. Prisoner's Gate, which is... Oh, it's where I used to be. Right. Okay, forget that. F it. Let's go and check out the Great White Beast in the den located it, located it in the old fields. Yeah, let's keep going. The animation on this guy is really good. Look at that. 
I feel like they probably did mocap for this or something. It just feels so natural. Maybe not for the rolling around, but... Oh, and he has a name. His name is Gnight. Gnight. There we go. A tower shield and some leather. Nice. Ballista, ballista. You can never forget the ballistas. I am going to change the special attack on the ballistas and I'll tell you why, because I want to. Also, some of you guys told me to like read some guides for my builds, like a build guide. And I think it would be actually better if I don't figure out if the game kind of allows me to make a, a build that's viable without me being a professional of Path of Exile, for example. Let's see if I can craft my own build without reading any guilt of build guides, which is something I kind of don't like about Diablo because in Diablo 4, once I'm level 15 or something, I feel like if I'm not following a build guide, I'm just not going to be able to get anywhere in the game. Oh, there it is. The Great White Beast. I found it. I was afraid I was in the wrong place. Caustic Arrow. Ballista, Ballista. Come on, do your thing, Ballistas. Yes. There you go. See? Dead. Love it. I've got two swords, which would be fantastic for a build that revolves around swords, right? Whatever, man. So I need to go northwest. I also like that I can look at the map and be like, all right, go northwest and you should find a door that will lead you to the next part in your quest. Like these interconnected zones are fun. Oh, a beast. Can I continue hunting beasts like that? That'd be cool. All right, show them what you're made of, ballistas. No joke, these ballistas, no joke. I'm stressed out now. This is a fine capture. So it worked. Killing worked. We're happy about killing. Is someone crying? What's going on? There's another beast! Aspect of the Helion, what's it mean? New beast captured, Harry Bone Crusher. Nice. Oh, I got a new bow! That's what I needed! Ah, oh, huge damage boost. Huge. There's someone crying and it's kind of stressing me out. Look at that! I got a new bow, it looks great! Whoa, there's three unique monsters here that I'm supposed to get for the menagerie, I think. Okay, let's make sure I don't die. Why can't I use prismatic? Prismatic burst isn't on and I don't know why. Yes, Chamber of Sins, let's go. Luxury and cruelty go hand in hand. See, like the fact that she see that my character is saying something when I enter like a, a, a story dungeon makes me think these guys have played Diablo 2 in the past. I think I, I'm more down on this game when when it's nighttime. No, sorry, when it's day, like when it's really bright. When it's really bright, not my thing. But this, this is a bit more grim dark. I'm feeling it. Oh, I've got two skill points I didn't even realize. Um, plus 18% critical strikes. You've got it. 18% critical strikes. Yep. Yeah. And I'll have 100% critical strike chance with bow. Ooh. And then Master Fletcher. Okay, I'm taking those two. Those look amazing. I do need to focus a bit more on attack speed soon because attack speed is the way of life. It must be a nightmare following builds for this game considering you have to put like 150 points in the talent tree every time. Not to mention, if you make one res mistake, like respecting it seems like a nightmare. Ooh, cool little tunic. Definitely a change from what I'm wearing now. It's got evasion. I can still have my ballista. And I look a bit cooler. I'm looking like a real Robin Hood type right now, which suits me. Oh, I got an achievement. What's that about? Oh, what? That looks like the coolest piece of armor I could have found. I look like the guy is out of Bloodborne. So I have this Arrow Nova support. If I put it in here, nothing happens because I need it to be attached to another green. I don't have another green, so I'll leave it at that for now. What if I change? What if I change this Mirage Archer? Take that out, and then I add the Arrow Nova support. And now my caustic arrow deals 28 less percent try projectile damage. Wait, what? Oh, what? What the hell? That's so cool. I want to do that with rain of arrows. Where is rain of arrows? There it is. Rain of arrows, which has a prismatic burst and it's blue. Okay. 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 New idea. New idea. New idea. I take my shrapnel ballista and I put it with the prismatic burst. What happens if I do that? It's still the same, which is good. I want to keep it the same. Okay. Now I take my rain of arrows. Then I put the Arrow Nova support. What happens now? Nothing. <laughs> I have no idea how this works now. I thought I did, but I don't. We should have a way to just easily tell me if it, this is going to work or not. You know what I mean? Just tell me, hey, this is this is correct. You've done a good job. This is the way to do it. Okay, back to the game. I've changed nothing. <laughs> oh, solve the trials of ascendancy. Okay, sorry. Pause that about Torchlight for a second. I have to solve this trial. So far, it seems very complicated. How am I supposed to get through that? Oh. Wait for him to get through, and then run. Indiana Jones would love this. It's fun, a bit of parkour. What's this? Switch? Okay, let's just take it one second at a time. All right, okay, okay. But it locks the doors. Maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Another staple of the ARPGs, skeletons. 
Look at that, Quicksilver. 40% increased movement speed. I never used that. I should probably use it. Hello, I'm here to sell my items. Although I say that, but maybe I should identify this one. Um, I think mine's better. Uh, do you have anything to buy? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, what's going on here? I can purchase something from him. Can I purchase a coat? Like a really cool coat? No. So I can visit the base area of the menagerie through him, but I will finish my quest first. There is a fine line between consideration and hesitation. Okay. The former is wisdom, the latter is fear. What is this trial plaque? I'm going to finish this quest and then I really want to go to the menagerie, figure what that's all about. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Look at that monster design. Okay, that was easy. Strange device. Baleful gem. Although I don't know who her is. Oh, hello. You've appeared. What am I doing? Meet Shalea back in the forest encampment and bring the baleful gem with you. Okay, I can do that. Now we're getting somewhere. We've got some gems. Poacher's Mark. Herald of Agony. Okay, this is getting good. Grants a buff, giving more poison damage and a chance to inflict poison. When you poison an enemy while you have this buff, you gain virulence and summon an agony crawler minion that uses projectile and area attacks. The minion will die when you have no virulence. You are really selling it to me. I don't even want to read the other ones. This is it. This is all I want to see. Okay, so if I just... Just put this gem here. Do I get something new? Herald of Agony. There you go. Oh, what have I done? No. No, I think that's right. Herald of Agony. Grants a buff, giving more poison damage. So when you poison an enemy while you have this buff, you gain virulence. Okay, okay, okay. More quests. This this would be really interesting. I should probably read about all of this. It's the Black Guards, not the Blackguards. The blackguards will never stop this <laughs> Yeah, okay. Recover Meligo's spike from the Weaver's Chambers. All right, we're getting somewhere. The Weaver's Chambers, we've been there. It's great, I can just teleport straight there. Boom, no I can't. The Riverways. Okay, I'm going to the Riverways first. So I have this now, and so I should be summoning something at any, yes, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm a silly person. I forgot to look at my mana and my life, of course. That's okay. No, it's not where I'm supposed to go. I thought I'd already come here. Why is the map all undiscovered? I'm pretty sure I already did all this. What is this? Punishing Narrow Ravine. Is this like a nightmare dungeon of some sorts? Why would I ever want to go in here if monsters reflect 12% of the damage? Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm hurting myself. Does that make sense? Okay, I will come back in time. Right now, I have a quest to fulfill. Definitely the lamest part of the game so far is the item management. Oh, here it is. 100% increased critical strike. So I am doing critical strikes through and through. We've captured a beast. I am really liking this capture mechanic. Uh, you know what I'll give this game is that I have no idea what's coming next with this game. Like it just throws these crazy mechanics at you that you just couldn't guess. Like, oh, you've captured a spider. A new recipe has been unlocked for gloves. Okay, is this part of my quest with him, with this hunter? Or is this completely random? Season mechanic of some sorts? Mission completes with the Beastmaster, but I haven't gone to the menagerie. Silk found Meligro's spike, but lost it in the Weaver's Chambers. Go there and recover it. That's what we're here for. Okay, Ballista, Ballista, brain of ours. Potions. But I'm just, I've got so much mana, it just does not matter. Spamming the same skill over and over again. There we go. Okay, I've done that. Congrats to me. I'm using my last town portal to get back home. Rain of Arrows is supported, so F it. I'll just take that one. Poison the ancient tree. Poison the tree blocking your way in the wetlands to gain access to the Veil runes. The wetlands. Okay, off I go. The enemies just suddenly got really powerful. This uh, level design is actually quite old school. Room after room. It's got a bit of a Dungeons and Dragons vibe to it, actually. I'm gonna die. This, these guys are way more powerful than what I was put against earlier on. What does it mean when a gem cannot be leveled up? You don't meet the requirements. I don't meet the requirements? What have I done? What have I not done? Oh my gosh. Okay, I immediately died and I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, am I under leveled or something? Perhaps it won't work. I want to continue putting your points in here. It'll be fine talking to myself here, but okay, I need to do that all over again. The prismatic thing is not working, so maybe I'll just switch it. Do I need more movement? I don't know if I need more movement. I did die because I couldn't get away. I got kind of stuck there. This guy hits like a truck. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, nice little animation, freezing animation as he died. I like it. Ballista, ballista. Never forget, I have my ballistas. I forget too many times. Um, wait, did I complete this quest? If you have poison the ancient tree, enter the Valrians and find a way to the other side. Okay, will do. Okay, we found it. Ancient seal. Okay, that's ominous. We made it. 
Quest complete, well done. I really want to do the quest for the hideout. Let's go do that after this. What has happened to the map? It's all chaotic. Yep, poison you're going away to the Guardians. Okay, am I supposed to continue here? Travel to the Broken Bridge or the Wetlands. Deal with the bandits or travel to Lionel's Watch. All right, this is what I'm doing. You have unleashed a terrible darkness upon the land. <laughs> oh, and this isn't the right place because this isn't the right place to find the suitable location for a hideout. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's another one of those dungeons. It's like a nightmare dungeon. It has like, um, it's corrupted, right? Oh, that's interesting. Not doing it, but okay. I like that you've got dungeons kind of all over the place, which have modifiers and they're kind of like, it's like that meme of Rick and Morty, like quick get in, get out, quick adventure. And then you end up spending four hours in there. This is, this is the place for the hideout. I must find the location. Oh, this looks ideal. No, not this one. Okay. Dude, getting absolutely plummeted by these monkeys and rhinos. I really got to be careful for my health here. I'm just seeing like, I, oh, here's a silver coin. What does a silver coin do? What did I just read? Creates a portal to the halls of the dead. Well, no, thank you, because it's already super confusing. I'm being mean. It's not confusing. There's just a lot going on. Oh, here we go. I'm looking at my map and I see there's a blue icon, which means this is the place for the hideout. I get to have my own home. Let's see if it's a gimmick or if it's actually fun. And when I say gimmick, let's see if this is just a way to sell you a bench for $10 or something. Lush hideout. Yeah. Can you clear it out of all the monsters? I can try. Clear the monsters from the area. Not a problem. Although I am going to have to check out what this darkness is that I've thrown all over the place. Oh, that's interesting. It's connected to the other area. I can see it on my map. Oh, create hideout. Here we go. Now this is interesting. I have a hideout. Of performing a few tests. Okay, okay. Select hideouts. I can have many hideouts. Oh god, okay. This game just like throws a feature at you and, and says, what if we multiply that by 50? Okay, crafting bench. I can craft. Oh, 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 okay. Put an item in like this. And it's like you have enough of these prefixes, which are evasion rating, maximum life, all that. But you can have a suffix if you want. And I'm just going to add dexterity, I guess. Quest complete. That's what she wanted me to do. Decorations. No way. I can have a waypoint. Hey, hey, look at that. Oh, I can edit. Okay. These guys built a game in a, in a game. Hey, maybe I'll move the waypoint a bit. Maybe I'll move it closer to these guys because that would make sense to me. Oh, I can I can add Einar. Einar, my favorite little dude. Can I turn him around? I can. Where would Einar want to be? Einar would want to be like behind a tree or something. There you go. Well done, Einar. Oh, a map board. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was never good at The Sims, so this might not be the best use of my time. Maven Astrolabe. Great. What's that? Who knows? Oh, beast. Beast cherry. Yes. Can I add a beast? Can I add a rusted cage? Can I do something with this cage? No. Whoa, wow. This could go on for Abner. Oh my, oh my. Okay, this is very exciting. Sell a bunch of stuff and continue our journey. My quest is completed. So now let's continue to the Northern Forest to continue the quest and stop this evil that I've unleashed upon the world. Although I am loving this vibe. It's kind of nighttime vibe. Bit of a horror movie vibe. You know what would be good in this game? A loot goblin. I haven't seen any yet. I really do like a loot goblin or like a, a butcher kind of mechanic that would be cool also i wonder if people who like replay this game you know they've played it for hours thousands of hours how did you play this story i wonder level 26 oh watch that it's gonna kill me that's what it is Am I supposed to be wearing like these super hardcore looking items? It's like they're mostly strength based, so they have a lot of red and red seems to be melee. It's kind of nod. Oh, am I able to get? Yes, bow attacks, fires an additional arrow. I'm a two arrow guy now. Double the DPS, right? Do I also fire double the rain of arrows, I wonder? Ooh, what is this place? Crafting recipe. New recipe. Unlocked. I try to open the door, but something's happening. I don't know what that means. The door cannot be opened at this time. You must complete the Lords of Larceny quest and deal with the Banded Lords to continue. Ah, You must complete the Lords of Larceny quests and deal with the Banded Lord to continue. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay, I need to go the other way. I'm in the Chamber of Sin, but I don't think I should be here. <laughs> that makes any sense. 
I think I've overextended myself a bit here. Everybody has quests for me right now. Okay, let's do that again. Mounts would be good in this game, no? Because I have to get through all these monkeys right now just to get where I need to go. Oh, I'm already there. It took three seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to complain anymore. I'm sorry. So I'm wondering, will the end game items reflect that? Because right now I'm not super impressed by the items. I know, I know people in the comments were like, you're low level. It's normal. I get that. I get that. I do. I have no rebuttal. You are right. Maybe I should check my objectives. I, they could do a bit of a better job with the quests system to tell you where they give you like a vague area but then when you're in that area that's it you're like okay then you still no idea if i'm supposed to be here where am i going oh see there is a quest here creighton heard you pulled a weed out of my garden so either i help him or i kill him if i help him increase attack and cast speed 10 percent chance to avoid six percent increased movement speed uh don't want to help him or kill him what am i supposed to do what does the quest say okay well my friend, the hunter, is telling me to kill you, so apologies, mate, but you're gone. Although I'm, I'm really gonna miss the extra speed. Ooh, I did get... That's interesting. I got some quiver, a quiver. I got a quiver. Let's see how that changes my gameplay. Gain six life for enemy hit with attacks. Plus 20% skill stun duration. It's not even as good as I have right now. Oh, man, that's a shame. That's a shame. Oak continues to Harris. Where do I find Oak? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to camp and figure out where Oak is. Okay, all good. I'm gonna put some stuff in my stash. I don't meet the requirements. I need more. Ooh, this is interesting. I don't meet the requirements to level up these gems because I need more intelligence. Ooh, how do I level up my intelligence? Maybe through the skilled trees, potentially. So I need to find oak and oak is in the wetlands. Should we go to the wetlands or should we do a quick detour to the menagerie? because I was told that there was something for me here. So I'm gonna check it out. What's this? Blood altar, there it is. A stack of gloves. <laughs> you know what? I, this makes sense though. This game has been out for 10 years. So there's 10 years of content there that they're like, yeah, let's use that. Let's keep that. We like this. So what happens if I, I'm creating gloves and I'm, I'm, I'm putting, oh, well, this is interesting. I'm putting mobs that I've killed and then I'm crafting things from that. This is kind of bending my brain a bit. So let's just click on craft. Oh, I'm supposed to kill them. I'm about to die. No. So they come back to life. Oh, ballista, ballista. Yeah, nope, not happening. Did I fail that? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand this. G captured beasts. I have a few. Can I use them here? Yes. No, I need a Fanumal Widow, which destroyed me. So that's not going to work out, is this? Okay, let's try the jeweler orbs. What does this mean? <laughs> Did I just create something? No, there's nothing here. And this doesn't tell me. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I created four jewelers orb. Reforges the number of sockets on an item. So you can get more sockets. Pretty cool piece of tech. I could just a piece of armor. I can add sockets to it, right? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm able to have extra socket. Oh yeah, extra blues. How about this one? Nope. What about this one? Nope. Okay, back to having to kill the bandit. I am trying to kill Harry Kill. Cool name. I have to say, in, since the beginning of Act 2, nothing's really changed in terms of my skills, or maybe it's because I've just not been challenging myself more with the skills, but I tried. I wanted to have a completely new build, and it told me, no, you can't. What the hell was that? I'm gonna have to go through all this map to find this bandit. Get everybody together. Oh, there you go. Oak is over here. Okay, I need to get to him somehow. Like, I wonder what the story would look like if I didn't help my good friend, the hunter. And I was like, no, I saved them all. They're all great. They're all giving me boosts. And how does that boost work on the long term in terms of if I take the 6% movement speed, is am I going to be... If I don't take it, am I going to be able to grab it back later in the end game? Uh, kill Oak. Sorry, mate. I've killed all your friends, so I might as well kill you. Get the apex from Eremir. Show the apex to Yina. Find the ancient pyramid. What the hell is this? Is this a player? Is there a fish in the What the? What's going on, guys? You know? You know, I said, oh, there's 10 years of functionalities. There's also 10 years of microtransactions. And that's fine. That's fine. It's a free-to-play game. I get it. Open the blocked pass between the western front. Linus watch. No. The Lord's Labyrinth. No. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, the door's open. There's got to be end the end of it, probably. Oh, and I've got some points that I need to put down. Why don't I go do that now? Okay, here we go. So, what should I go for? Over here, we have a critical strike multiplier. Over here, we have a 
survival kind of thing. Weapons artistry. Oof. Well, I've only got two points, so I don't want to overthink it either. Okay, so I can mastery in swords here. Projectile mastery. That might be a good one. Let's just go that way. Ooh, acrobatics. No, projectile damage. Let's go with that. You could get lost. You can absolutely get lost. I refuse to get lost. I will understand all of this eventually. Oh, there's a red marker, which means there's a monster I can hunt. And he's kicking my ass. He's, I'm going to die. There's no way. God damn it. Doesn't really matter. I can just come back and be like, yep, come on, help me out. Is he dead? No. Nope. Yep. He hits like a truck. I need some kind of life on hit, life on death. Hey, create a unique body armor. Here's projectile pierce an additional target. Wow, that's awesome. Oh man. Wait, what's going on? Why am I in the caverns? Okay, let's try and be strategic here for a second. I have a bunch of items. They don't all have really the best skill assigned to them. So maybe I can change that. Wow, I have no blues. That's okay because I have items that can change the stacks, right? Oh, I can I can I can create some links between sockets also and I can change the color. That way I can use my reds and my greens. Reforges the colors. There you go. Okay, here we go. It's happening. Take this. Use this. Oh great. <laughs> okay, reforge, reforge. Okay, it's all all forged to get all together. So now I've got some reds and I I, I need to sort out my reds and my blues and figure out what can work well together. I have no blues. I have a blue here, which is a prismatic burst. Let's have a quick look at that. Any other blues? Uh, yeah, some elemental chisel and another prismatic support. Okie dokie. So let's find my favorite red. There's a vitality aura. We got a stun support, a ground slam. That's not gonna work. Endurance charge. That's a support. Let's move the supports on the side. Ruthless support, stun support, ground slam. And then we have, the blues are all supports. Is there any way for me to use that somehow? I have vitality, vitality. So what if I just use vitality, put it in there and that just doesn't work. No, man, I'm trying here, but it's just, I did not make that work in my, maybe I can add some links here. Yes. Okay. I've got, I've added some links. This is 90% of the game, isn't it? So this would work on rain of arrows, which is a momentum thing. And I gain one momentum when you use a supporting skill. If I channel the skill, I gain momentum, which increase my, increases my attack speed. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the caverns once again. Oh, it's my momentum. I don't want to jinx it, but I do feel like I'm getting through this a bit easier. Okay, the ancient pyramid's perfect. I'm nearly there. The catalyst. What is that? If I've learned anything from this game, is that it's just going to be another. It's just going to be another way to play the game. <laughs> okay, the catalyst. Simple actions can lead the world to an early grave. It's an orb of the veil. Okay, divination cards. We have a new help called divination cards. Different divination cards reward you with different things, including currency, specific item based types. If you trade, you get a cool item. Awesome. That's awesome. That's great. I like that. Next step. Okay, ascend the ancient pyramid. That's what I'm doing. Keep going. I'm guessing at the top of the ancient pyramids, there's going to be a boss that I need to kill to cleanse the darkness, which I'm very happy to do. Yeah, this dungeon layout reminds me of Diablo 2 for sure. One more. How many of these are we going to go through? How many stages to this pyramid? How many layers to this cake? Ooh, what's, who's this guy? Why are you running away from me? You're like the first thing, the first thing that's ever run away from me in this game. Are you the... Oh, he's gone. Is that a bit like the... Uh, I wonder if that... Was that a bit like um, the loot goblin of Chablo? Oh, what are these pieces of armor I got? Requires all this intelligence. No, where, where is the dexterity stuff at? You know what? I've only found strength stuff. You know... Ah, get out of here. I don't need you. I'll make my own way around. Pyramid Apex. Here we go. This is it, boys and girls. Dark altar. I like the visuals. Kill the veil over soul. This is where I die. This is where I die. I'm legit scared now. What is this? What? Okay. Taking some damage. I can manage it. Ish. What the? What was that? At least it doesn't res me at the other side of the freaking world. This is not possible. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. I am damaging it. It's just a question of just really being careful. Anyway, it's fine because I can just res and come back, but... Dude, what in the world? Can my ballistas help in any way? Run, run, run! Ballista, ballista. This is no joke. He's nearly dead. He's dead. 
I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that win. Not even a little bit. I kept dying. I died five times. Anything for dexterity? Like the least interesting piece of armor you could get. I find the exit to Act 3. Okay. What's this place? Okay, last time in Act 2, I got monkeys. This time I get LA crackheads running at me. Ooh, this act is in the city. That's cool. And I can go to my hideout in the meantime. Let's find the Skarn encampment and do some updates. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Go to the slums. So many quests. Ascendancy plaque. Right. Okay. Do all the tra Again, another functionality, another feature that I didn't know about. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did last time where I accepted every quest and then came in two weeks later and had no idea where I was or what I was doing. So I'm going to update my last pros and cons and hopefully some things have moved or some things have stayed. Let's find out together. The graphics still hold up. I still really like the graphics of this game. They're simple, I know, but this game came out so long ago. It's tough to keep an engine going for this long in terms of it still staying relevant 10 years later or however many years later after the first launch i still think it, it holds up it's good the graphics are good impressive story yeah for sure um a lot of people in the other video said that the lore doesn't matter in this game and whatever but i just like completely disagree um i didn't have as much time as i wanted here but if i did i would go through the whole thing again reading every single entry um, i think if you want to there's enough lore to dig into here then i'm surprised is, is there novels for this game because it wouldn't surprise me if there are novels and it goes even deeper deeper than that. That being said, I'm not a fan of the theme. I don't think the theme is something that I would appreciate really. Like it's all the magic, the high fantasy, the neon colors, just not for me. But there is enough lore, I think, to dig into. So impressive story still holds up. Good combat system for sure. I mean, is it a bit dated? Maybe. I feel like the more recent ARPGs like uh, Last Epoch, for example, would have a bit of a, a better combat system, a faster combat system. But yeah, it, it works considering how old this game is. I think it's fine. The gem system. Ooh, is this still a pro? The gem system. I, yeah, yeah. The gem system is unique. You know, that's what it is. It's unique. And for that, I've got to keep it in my pros. That being said, I'm a bit miffed about the fact that I just didn't change any of the gems really this playthrough. And we can talk about that in the cons. So it's still a pro for sure. The talent tree. Yeah, the talent tree is still exceptional. It adds a lot to the game. I think it's what made it famous in a way, and I still think it holds up. I like the talent trick. Is it still quite overwhelming? Yeah, but you get used to it quite fast. Is there any other pros I want to add? Yeah, I do, actually. All the features, the wealth of features in this game is crazy. And maybe that's the fact. Maybe it's because the game is so old, right? They've added all these features with time, and you know what? I want people to expect to be disappointed in Path of Exile 2, and I'll tell you why. Because when you have a game that has this many features, and you're building a new game, with a, in a new engine potentially, they will not port all those features. It is just not possible. They don't have 10 years to prepare Path of Exile 2. That's not how it works. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so at all. I think we need to start fresh for Path of Exile 2. So anyway, I'm waffling, but a definite pro here is the wealth of features, the ways to interact with this game, your hideout, the bestiary, the labyrinth. It's so crazy. Now, I'm sounding like uh, this game has no faults right now, which it isn't true. So let's talk about the cons. So in terms of cons, last time we spoke about the fact that this game was really overwhelming for beginners and it doesn't get easier. As someone who's not watching videos, as someone who's not watch uh, reading guides and who's only using whatever the game gives me, it's still quite confusing, I think. Uh, I, I think you would get a lot out of watching videos and I think at this point, actually, you might want to and have to watch videos on how this game plays and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, still overwhelming for beginners. Yeah, and it doesn't change. I, I think I'm just going to change for beginners at this point. I'm just going to call it overwhelming, but that's because of its wealth of features, if that makes sense. So it's a con in a pro. The game could use more cinematics. Uh, yeah, that hasn't changed. I've still yet to see any cinematics, but the voice acting is good. The uh, quests are voice acted and they go left or right, you know? Would I want to add any cons? Yes, I would. The gems. Um, the gem is a pro, but it's also a con, I think, at this point, because, because I like the wealth of choice it gives you. That's always a positive, but I also was expecting to be able to switch in and out of gems, that I would want to switch in and out of gems because there would be more gems. Maybe I've not been dropping the gems that I'm supposed to, but I've found that I've just stuck with the same gems. I've stuck with the same skills for the entirety of Act 2. I don't think that's great at this point in time. I also want to say that another con, and maybe it's just because I missed something in this game, but I wanted to do a complete refund on my talent tree so that I could try another build that wasn't 
possible. From what I saw, it just wasn't possible without grinding a certain type of currency or just creating a new character, actually, which I think was a huge bummer for me, actually, because I really wanted to change it up this video and I wasn't able to do that. So if you know how to do that, let me know in the comments so that in episode three, I can reset this character and let's go for a melee build. I want to see what a melee build feels like in this game. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you so much to everybody who watched the last video, who left comments, who are here watching this video. You are keeping this going. Um, I want to thank also the editor for this video who did a really good job. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Diablo 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. In this video, I'm going to go through act three. I'm going to try and complete it. Well, I am going to complete it, and my editor is going to have to deal with the hours of footage, so it's not my problem. That's okay. Uh, this is a series that I've been completely bullied into by the Path of Exile community who have asked me many, many times through my comments to continue this series. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up and watching these videos. So let's get started. Last time I played, I unlocked Act 3. I unlocked the Sarm Encampment, which is a town. I'm excited about that. I hope I'll get to change my playthrough a bit more this time around as I really didn't last time. There was just no changes whatsoever. Uh, the last game I played, the last Act 2 that I played, got my water bottle. I've got my tea. <sighs> Ready to go. First thing I want to do is I'm going to pick up all the quests from town. Find Tolman and the Crematarium. I think that'll be the first one I do. Let's go for that one. Ballista, Ballista. There we go. Ballistas just do the job. I'm not going to pick up everything because the inventory management part of this game annoys me. The same way it annoys me in Diablo, to be fair. Just have too many choices. I need a bit of hand holding, I guess. It's also nice to see that the enemies have changed between Act 2 and Act 3. Like in Act 2, I was very excited about the monkeys and all that. And here it's all about the beetles. I don't mind. I like a good change, you know? Some games just have... Wait, sorry. I can't talk. can't talk. I'm going to die. All right. They froze me immediately. What was I supposed to do? So as I was saying, some games, they don't really change the assets so often. Might be a money thing or a time thing. While reading the comments of the other videos, I realized that apparently elemental resistance is a thing that I should be keeping an eye on. Maybe putting some points in vital vitality as soon as I can. The thing is, yeah, I don't want to read any guides. That's the whole point of these videos. I don't read any guides. I just let the game guide me. See if it does a good job at onboarding. It's been a mixed bag. To be fair, this level design is quite fun. Like a flat map, but they make it interesting by putting you on the, not the ceilings, but the, the top of all these buildings. The roofs, that's the name. Crematarium, found it. Oh, cool, waypoint. I didn't pick all of those up in Act 2 and that was an error, that was a problem. Ballista, ballista. I'm also going to try and spend a bit more time looking at all these small elements that I've picked up, like Orb of transmus Transmution, Transfusion, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have my poison thing active. Yes, that's so cool. And that's really unique. The, the idea that you're able to summon anything without being like a necromancer or a hunter. That's kind of fun. Kind of a cool mechanic. I like it. There's so much freedom. That's what I'm getting out of this game so far. Like not much hand holding for sure, but there's also a lot of freedom. I'm about to die. What's going on here? Flaming garden, whispering essence of hatred. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you go. Whispering Essence of Hatred. That's the thing that I picked up. Upgrade to normal item to rare. Okay, picked it up. I'm seeing a lot of icons on my map. What's this? Okay, this, so this is another challenge. It's a good thing that they have these challenges. Wait. There it is. Just not sure what... I ballista, Ballista. I didn't expect the Ballistas to be such a huge part of my build. Does that make sense? I thought I'd just keep them for a bit and then we'll see. But no, they've been really helpful. Oh my god, the damage is real. Oh, let me die. No! There you go, got him. I got a boot knife, which I'll never be able to use because I can't respec. Yeah. Oh, this is a item that looks better than the one I have. Evasion rating 60, 77. Okay, yeah, that's a better one. So I'll just do this. Oh, and it has two green sockets, which means I'll be able to put another one in. Awesome. So I need to kill Piety and she is kicking my ass. I don't want to die. Ballista, Ballista. They keep doing my job better than I could. Ballista, Ballista. Did she leave? Is she gone? Whew. Lucky me. Oh, he's dead. Does everybody have to die in this game? <laughs> uh, I got the amulet. Okay, so I need to bring back the amulet to the encampment. That should do the job. Projectile pierce to... Oh, so I'm piercing here. Okay, I will get to life eventually, but these stats are just too good to, to be true. And I unlocked a recipe for something. What is it? I don't know. How to get back to town. Oh, right. I've been playing a lot of Diablo 4 recently, trying to get to level 100. So what in the world? What even is that? An eye with wings. You know what this tells 
tells me? This tells me I've spent $200 plus on this game. Oh, okay, okay, this is an important one because I, I have no blues. I have lots of blue potential, but I've got no blue gems. So despair, curse all targets in an area, lowering their chaos resistance. So this is an actual spell and I don't have space for spells anymore. What about green? Anything good? These are spells. I'd rather have a support kind of thing. Cast an aura that grants evasion to you and your allies. Eh, cast an aura that grants extra cold damage. They're very specific, but not to me. Curse is a single enemy, and if you hit them, it grants you flask charges, and it puts caustic ground next to them if you poison them. You can only have one mark at a time. This is the alchemist's mark, and I have to go assassinate a general. That's thematic. You know what's also thematic? Or should I say not thematic? Every freaking microtransaction in this game. I no longer dream when I sleep. Oh my god, this guy's messed up. I like how you can spam, spam. Yes, 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 yes. uh huh, yeah, mm hmm, yes. There you go. Sell items. And I think items are not class based, they're more like stats based. So, for example, this um, had a jacket requires intelligence, which makes me believe that it's for sorcerers of some sorts. I say that, I could be just completely wrong, of course, as I often am. So, oh, so th this is a player. Cool, they look cool with the kind of the Greek kind of vibe. I like it. It was actually three players in one. I've been bamboozled. Okay, time to take this series seriously and travel more. Continue our travels, I should say. I don't need this dagger. No, not the crematorium. No, uh, think before you click. That's what I'll say about this game. Oh, I've, see, I forgot the slums. I don't have the slums. So I have to go to the crematorium, which is fine. And then I'll go to the slums through this one. Slums unlocked. And now I need to go northwest, I believe. If I look at my map, yeah, northwest. The sewers. Am I supposed to go through the sewers? Okay, let's check the map to make sure. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm in the right place, I think. Argon wants you to find the three platinum bus scattered through the sewers. Great, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time here. Silver coin creates a portal to the halls of the dead. All right, that's a thing I haven't really looked into so far. But I am level 29, which means I get an extra point. Where do I want to put it? Oh, projectile mastery, bow mastery. Uh, I don't know. Do I master? Do I put efforts into mastery or do I go for life? Because I keep getting boned. So maybe life is where it's at. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go south looking for health. Sorry, I'm still seeing a lot of uh, rogue stuff. Okay, yeah, this is where I need to go. Okay, I've made my decision. I will go south. I would love some attack speed. It's all about the attack speed. Iron grip support. Support attack skills that fire projectiles, making the, the increase of physical melee damage from strength also increases their physical damage as well. Strength damage bonus applies to projectile attack. Okay, I don't have much strength though. Not very strong. Okay, I found one bust. Time to find the other busts. Find a way to destroy the undying blockage. Looks like my toilet, to be fair. Oh, cool. Found the waypoint. That's two. I do enjoy leveling gems. I feel like you're actually progressing somehow because you're clicking those buttons. Although the fact that I can't level anymore because I don't meet the requirements confuses me a bit. And that's three. Oh, so I need to deliver the bust so I can go back now, deliver the busts. And then I'll come back and try to figure out how to unblock the shitty toilet. What do I get for it? A book of skill. Oh, cool. Wait, what did that say? Grants a passive skill point and two passive respect points. Yeah, you don't have my respect for giving me passive respect points. Dexterity will bring me to... Ooh, increased life, maximum life, flask recovery rate. No, 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 no. Stay on track. I am going... Plus 10 dexterity, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't feel as fun though, you know, to put points in dexterity. This guy is called, I hate this game, help me. Is this an actual cry for help? Anyway, back to the sewers. Are you serious? Is this a new hideout place? I'm in the sewers doing a quest. I take a right, you know, it says go left. I take a right and suddenly she's here and she's like, this would be a really good place to make a home. Please kill every monster first. All right, okay. Is there going to be an explosion? Oh, there's a boss. Yes, more things I cannot use. Uh, keep going on. I hope I'm not screwing myself over by not picking these up. Hideout unlocked. Why not? So now I'm in my undercity hideout. Oh my gosh. That's great. Entering the marketplace. Not the friendliest marketplace. So my next quest is to go sever the right hand, right? This is my assassination job. No problem. Level 29. More dexterity. Why not? Is that who I think it is? Is this um, a beast for the hunt? Yeah, let's go. I think this is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> 
Cool. Capture the beast with blood. Just normal stuff. Oh, there's four beasts on this level. See, this is just a cool little mechanic. You think you're doing something and then you're, this kind of pops up and you're like, oh yeah, cool. More things to do, more ways to XP, and of course, more ways to use the menagerie. I wonder if Path of Exile 2 will be open world rather than close like this. Oh, this is weird. I've done the whole map. Have I? Have I done the whole map? Maybe I haven't. Well, it seems like I have. Waypoint, yes. Oh, so this is the catacombs. And where is that going to bring me? I, I've got no quests in the catacombs, so I'll keep going until I do have quests in the catacombs. Oh, there's something over there. Ornate chest. Return to the ship gra graveyard in Act 1. What? Oh, that, that's interesting. Oh, superior deerskin gloves. I'll take that. These are way better. Oh, adds lightning damage. It's so hilarious that like gloves add lightning damage to me. I would expect that from a weapon, but not gloves. I will go back to Act 1 in a second to return that decanter. This way? The ba the battlefront. There's a war going on? Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely feel like something happened here. Oh, I hear the clashes of weapons. Is this like a never-ending fight? Never-ending war? Let me tell you, it's not going to stop with me here. Quite the opposite. Something here. Blackguard chest. Ribbon spool. You have obtained the ribbon spool. Travel to the Solaris Temple. All right, I will. I don't even know what the Solaris Temple is. Am I in the right place? That's what I want to know. Yes, southwest is where I need to go kill the captain. Oh, lots of people, lots of people. This is another thing the game does really well. The density of mobs at any given place. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, that was stupid. That was so stupid. Oh, he, what is that? He dropped something super rare. I need to check it out. Buckskin tunic. It's orange. That must be good. Okay, let's check it out. 98% increased evasion rating. I mean, okay. Does that mean I'm just untouchable? Cannot be ignited. Fire resistance. Yeah, I'm all for it. It looks great. Oh, it's the same buckskin tunic, but this one is Ashrend. 100% uh, increased physical damage with ranged weapons. Holy smokes. Oh, but this one has all my stuff. Rain of arrows. Where am I going to put that? Well, I might have uh, upgrades a normal weapon. I remember there's something to add. Upgrade a normal item to rare item. Can I do that? No. I know it's a rare item. I don't know why I did that. Uh, reforges the number of sockets. Yes. 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 Okay. So I've reforged. I got some red space here connected to green. Okay. Okay. Think. Think. This is where the game slows down for me is when I have to think. So I want to change the links to add more. Yes. Reforges the links. Right. See, like, this is great. Look at all these links. Look at all the, all the linking I'm about to do here. Okay. So take this out. Yeah. Take this out. Now suddenly I don't have prismatic burst control anymore. But I don't care. I have reds and reds mean I can support rain of arrows with this. Strength damage bonus applies to projectile damage. I mean, I don't have strength, but I'm sure it's still helpful. And that's it for now, but I am quite excited. How do I look? Oh, okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. I'm on fire. Anyway, it's, I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you, company who made this game. It's time for me to look for the captain I'm supposed to kill. Assassinate. Strange choice of words, considering there is no stealth in this game. Oh, I got a rare quiver. Let's check that out. Rare penetrating arrow quiver. Let's go. 16 dexterity, increased attack speed, which I love. This is, this is going to be a game changer. I can throw the other one out. Oh, oh, what the heck is going on? I'm literally froze. When in doubt, ballista, ballista. That's what I say. That's level 31. Let's continue our journey down south. There we go. I just got those two upgrades on my gear and then the game just completely opened up considering how last episode I was struggling. This is so much better. Travel to the Ebony Barracks. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I didn't even realize. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's jump back into the battlefront and try to find the actual exit I'm supposed to take. What is this? This bridge is blocked. Find another way. Impressive. Okay, I'll try. Oh, the undying blockage. Okay, so we've got two things stopping us here. One here is this bridge. The bridge across is blocked. I appreciate the tooltip, by the way. Or the sewer blockage. So what do I do? Tell you what, I'll completely discover the whole map here and figure out if there's something I can do. And then if that doesn't work, I'll just go back to the sewers and figure it out there. Do I want to go to the Solaris Temple? Yes, I do. My mission says I should go, so I'll go. Level 32. My gems are leveling, leveling up, which means I'm unlocking whatever I needed. I was blocked earlier on, but now I'm free. So the Solaris Temple level 2 goes down. Mm, it's an inverted temple. Well, oh, this is nice. Oh, so cool. I kind of love the, this Greek kind of vibe going on. Skeletal Shrine. What does it do? Skeletons are summoned to you. Oh, nice. That's cool. I haven't seen that before in this game. I have friends. 
I only have him for 20 more seconds. Let's shame. Who's, who's this? Oh, you're a bit scary. Oh, I, I helped you. My pleasure. I'll get some dexterity. I like you too. And I get a virtue infernal talk. A virtue gem is a raging thunderstorm imprisoned within a single raindrop. Eh? Burn the undying blockage with the in infernal talk. Yes! You are making me a very happy man. So travel to the sewers. But first, this eternal laboratory. What is this? I should check it out. Hey, new crafting recipe unlocked, which I don't know how to use it. That's okay. All right, let's go back home. Okay, multiple things to do. First of all, sell. Okay, very exciting. Uh, I can go back to the sewers and unblock the blockage. Undying blockage, here we go. Oh my god, I'm just not gonna even comment on what this is. Ah, uh, crafting recipes, yes. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got to you, huh? Well, let's just say I had a very powerful drain unblocker. Okay, here we go. Ballista, ballista. The general is right here. Ooh, he's badass. Yo, what is going on? He's nearly dead. Come on. Aha! I got some clubs. Back to camp. You are the true spirit of the Makoru. Yes! No! Why green? Damn it. Okay, okay. Let's see if there's anything I can use to support. Blade flurry, wild strike, fire arrow, no, blast rain, mm, scourge arrow, channel to infuse an arrow with chaos. That, that actually looks quite fun. Okay, I'll take that one. Although I've got nowhere to put it. Although my caustic arrow, I never use it. So maybe caustic arrow just doesn't matter right now. Maybe it's scourge arrow that needs to happen. Oh no, that's not at all what you were doing. Oh, I got it wrong. I, I do use caustic arrow. It's my main source of damage. Okay, Herald of Agony, Grant's buff. Yeah, Alchemist. Yeah, they're, these are great. Okay, okay. If I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Look, let's, oh, what's this? Chaos Orb. Reforges a rare item with random modifiers. No, I don't, I, I don't want that. I want things that allow me to change the orbs or add orbs. Does that make sense? There you go. Let's reforge them. Give me green. Maybe it doesn't change the colors actually. Okay, okay, okay. This is confusing. What happens if I do this? No way. I have it. It's available. It is. Is it? It's not. It's not available. God damn it. I need more green and more green. Eventually I will. But I do have these reds and all that. Can I? But these are all by themselves. They're useless. Give away my ballista. I can't do that. I just can't. Despite everything else you've done. Oh, I gotta kill Piety. That's a shame. She seemed cool. She said she liked me. That's the first thing she said. She also said I wasn't a cockroach, which in my book is an absolute win. I've been killing a lot of people, so if I can save her, I'll do it. Okay, I have to find the thing again. That's fine. When I say the thing, I mean the stairs. I need to find the stairs again to get to level two. There we go. Temple level two. Oh, and it's the first um, points I get to put into life or whatever I want. So I can go into flasks. I can go into mana or I can go into string. Where do I want to go? Oh, there's a bow mastery here. Okay. Well, maybe I could start with that then. Um, flask buff. Why not? Why not? Get some better flasks. Let's keep going. I need to find piety and I need to kill her apparently. But if I can, I'm not killing her. Boots? Yeah, these boots are better. And they've got green. Let's go. Okay. Identify the boots. Put on the boots. The boots are on. Not very accurate to what I'm seeing here, but whatever. Oh, I don't have 27 intelligence. No. The boots stay off. Oh, here we go. Where, is she dead? Where'd she go? Okay. I just got four different gems. Wild. Connected blast. Oh, they're all blue. So blue is magic gems. Oh my gosh. Anything I want to use here? Royal bow. See, now you have my attention. Oh, bone bow. Bone bow? Wait, I need it. Bone ring. Requires 80 dexterity. That's a good start, right? The damage isn't as powerful as the one I have right now, but I might be able to create it. Does that make sense? So this is already a magic item. So I need to upgrade a no rare item. Doesn't work. This is not normal rarity. This is already rare. Why don't I just go with my no this one here? Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm going to do so much damage. Oof, oof, oof. Although, unfortunately, it only has blues. What am I going to do with blues? You know what I need. I need greens. Look at this. I got a new bow. It looks cool. I mean, I was already destroying these guys, so I can't imagine how powerful I'm about to get. Diala. Oh, I thought, I, I, I don't know. I, Not a cop. Travel to the Daenerys Temple. I am in the, oh, I'm in the Solaris Temple, for God's sake. Where is the Solaris Temple? Let me guess. It's after the Ebony Barracks. All right, time to travel west. 
these guys are everybody straight up dying, just dying. Yeah, I'm still a bit confused as why people were so infatuated with the first video. I would find it quite frustrating to watch someone not know how to play the game I play the most. Like I'd be screaming at my screen. I mean, I feel like that's what you guys were doing because you were screaming in the comments. Press Z, press Z, pick up the Quicksilver. The Lunaris Temple found you. Find piety. There's no more music, it's just whispers. There's evil lurking. I'm going up some kind of church here. Ooh, these guys are coming back as zombies. Ooh, Cole, look at you. Ooh, there you go. Oh, yeah. You know that meme that goes like, I'm gonna, you killed everybody I loved or something, and Thanos is like, I don't even know who you are. This is, this is what I'm feeling. This is the vibe I'm getting with this piety boss that I'm about to go and kill. Oh, man. Look at these guys. They're so cool. I love the models. And they're coming out of the blood and everything. Wait, this guy ex nearly exploded when he came out. What was that about? No idea. I'd love to be a voice actor one day, but I only do screams. That's my thing. I don't actually do speaking. Me speaking, no good. I can scream though. I can definitely scream. If you need any screams in your game, hit me up. Why am I so relaxed? It's supposed to be like a very stressful, but I'm actually just really, really chum, really calm. Chill and calm, chum, new word. So far, this is my favorite level. I hope this boss piety is really impressive. I want like a big boss. It doesn't have to be hard, just I want something huge. Oh, silver coin. I really need to check the silver coin things. What? I've got a royal bow and this, there's a superior royal bow that just dropped. Gosh, it's fine. I'll deal with it later. Oh, I forgot. I've got a passive point and I'll put it into field med medicine. 30% increased life recovery from frasks. Yeah, why not? Again, I'm expecting a bunch of people in front of their screams yelling at me right now. Don't go. Don't take the flasks. A bit like an interstellar at the, at the end when he yells at himself in the past. Oh, this has got to be the right spot. <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is good. This is very good. Row of bodies on bodies on bodies. And it keeps going and going. This map is huge. It's a lot of bodies. Oh, th this has got to be it. This has got to be it. Nope. Okay, this has got to be it. Yes. Yes. Rare mob over there. I want to do that first. What are you doing? Where are you going? My ballistas are waiting. Oh my goodness. There she is. Oh. I can't save you. Sorry. I was kind of hoping I would get to choose your side. Although I'm not too sure now, looking around. Your furniture is a bit dubious. Oh my god, what is she, like a demon? Oh, well, she's dead, that's for sure. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, I've got better everything, actually. But it doesn't matter, I killed Piety, she's dead, wait. I feel like this is an important piece of gear. I should probably keep it. Return to the ship graveyard, travel to the Sarn encampment. Okay, back to the encampment. I think so far, Act 3 is my favorite. What about my intelligence? Is it high enough? No, it's not. Great. Let's put a bunch of stuff back in the stash. There you go. I've made some space. Wow, that's a cool effect, I guess. Although I'm higher level than you. What is that? Is that a child under a rock? <laughs> okay. Unlock the scepter of the gods. But first, oh, I can't actually put a point in motion mastery. Oh, I can. I get to choose. It's not the first one. I get to choose. Oh my God, this makes so much sense. I've been missing out. <laughs> I get to choose one of these. Okay, I will take... What am I taking? I don't know. Let's go with 20% increased area of effect while wielding a bow. Yeah. Quest completed. Where am I going next? Is this the end of Act 3? The Scepter of God. Ooh. Okay, Northwest. Here we go. Hey, I already killed you. What the heck? Ballista, Ballista. He doesn't joke around, huh? So I'm not supposed to go to the temple, actually. I'm supposed to go somewhere completely different. I am also supposed to return to the ship graveyard in Act 1. I will get to that soon. Oh, there it is. Imperial Gardens. Nice. Unlock the Scepter of God. <laughs> no biggie. This feels like the kind of fantasy word with multiple gods, though. Oh, I'm finding the freaky crabs again. Meech. What are these creatures? I'm supposed to go... Uh, no idea. The Scepter of God is supposed to be here, actually. Oh, okay. I'm just going to continue through this dense jungle, and I'll find the Scepter somewhere. I know, I know it's important, but I'm focusing on the main story right now. Oh, ooh, Armored Strongbox. Okay, you know what we need to do. Ballista, Ballista. Rain of Hours, go. Rain of Hours, go. Potion, 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 potion. Oh my god. That did not work. But I will try again if the game lets me. Please. Please game. I am good, I swear. I actually can't remember where the box was. I guess I'm not allowed. Oh well. 
Oh, the box is still opened. All right, okay, okay, all right. Ballista, ballista. We know the tr Okay, we know the deal. Yep, yep. Heal, heal yourself. Oh, I've got this a huge flamethrower kind of thing. Kaom's heart over there. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. And I got an- what is that? Coral ring. That looks fun. Ooh, this looks fun. That's about it. Let's have a look at that ring. A token from the sea. Plus 20 to maximum life. Grants level 10 enduring cry skill. What? Do I need this? What about this? Increase armor and evasion. Increase movement speed. Yeah, instant. Instant, yes. Oh, and it's got a green, which means I have a new spell coming up. But I'd have to go home first. I don't want to do that. Oh, I think I found it. I'm so happy I've got movement speed on these boots. Does that have anything? No, ship's graveyard. That's in act one. Got nothing to do with the scepter of the gods. I've got a bunch of things that have to do with act one. I'm going to have to check that out after. I still haven't found the scepter of, of God. I think I've explored the whole map. Oh, there's more to the east, southeast. Whatever you think you've completed a map, there's always some more. This is it. This is it. Oh, the scepter of God is not an item. It's a location. Oh, my best friend. He's down south. Making the open doors. Ridiculous. Where is he? Okay, okay, okay. If I kill this creature... Yeah, I gotta be careful. These are actually doing a lot of damage to me. He's back! Yay! Oh my god. 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 What is going on? Oh. What? Give me the royal bow. God damn it. Royal bow. It is quite not as good as what I have. Oh well. So I've mastered this. Can I put another thing in it? No. Okay. All right. I'm starting to really get it now. Life flags gain one charge every three seconds. Remove a random element. Strange flash chance to gain a flash charge when you deal a critical hit. Enemies you kill that are affected by element, uh, elemental elements. Well, I'm poisoning everybody, so probably, yeah. Probably a good shout. One level at a time, baby. Let's go hunting the other creature, buddy. So are you telling me that every time I kill an enemy, my, my flasks recharge a bit? Let me just use my flasks. There you go. Yeah, 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 a hundred percent. Uh, my speed flask is not recharging. Yes, it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. These animals have like machine guns attached to their ass. Whoa. Hope I'm going in the right direction. I've unlocked the waypoint and this waypoint is the scepter of God. Good. Level 36. Level up. So now what direction am I going in? Poison. Can't change my mind. Poison is where I want to go. Although, bow mastery. <laughs> Increase attack speed. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's just think for a second. I just hope I'm going in the right direction. I never know. I guess if there's enemies, you're going in the right direction. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Upper scepter of the gods. Yes. I'm ascending. I wonder if the ballista is necessary now. Yeah. I'll keep the ballista until I die. Oh, oh this is nice. I like this outside portion makes you feel like this place is connected, you know? Um, stairs. Yes, stairs. You gotta trust your gut that you're going in the right direction. Oh, I think this is the scion. What's this? Who's this? Hello. Who are you? See, nice little animation there. A little bit of a hop. I like that. Ooh. Achievement completed freedom. Nice. You've been in a big machine Ooh, with people in them. The story's quite dark. Like a high fantasy game with colorful thematic. Well, I don't know. Tower rooftop. Is this the right thing? Yeah, it looks like it. Keep on ascending. Oh, come on, boss. I can feel it. It's a boss. It is woman's purpose. Oh, it's one of those games. I'm not afraid. It's quite busy. This isn't the end of the game, is it? Or like the campaign. Feels like it's the end of the campaign. Okay, Dominus to High Templar. Ooh, plenty of things happening here. <laughs> oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Keep going, keep going. Are my ballistas useful here? He's nearly dead. I can do this. <laughs> there you go, you're dead. That's it, you're done. Wow, soaking it all in. Oh, this guy's soaking it all in. <gasps> Phase two, baby! Oh my god, what the freak? Damn it, whoa, this is crazy! Okay. I can do this. Just be careful. Oh my goodness. No! Okay, I don't have to come back so far. Man, that was something. Oh, okay, cool. I just come back here. All right, it's no biggie. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. He's nearly dead. I am doing a lot of damage. I just have to be able to, like, stand still for three seconds. He's dead! You can take it as personally as he wants. Is there any other gear that I've lost that I haven't picked up? Uh, I don't care. Hey! Yeah, what is this? The aqueduct? Find the exit to... Yeah, the aqueduct. Aqueduct? Wow, not bad. What? 
Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Hey, how's it going? Yes, we're chasing creatures again. Not bad. All in all, let's look for Highgate. Our city for Act 4. Or our camp, anyway, for Act 4. Quite a distance to get to Highgate. What is this? A bunch of pigs just appeared out of nowhere. What the this is? Okay, I can do this. Yes. Oh my god, what's going on? Wow, that was really fun. Okay, skill point. Um, so do I go for poison? And then I'll go for bow mastery later on. Okay, high gate, let's go. High gate, there we go. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna take the quest because we'll do that in episode four. Just having a quick look around. Average town, looks good. Oh my God, there's more people over here. Oh, hi. Oh, it's our friends. A little bit weird, but friends and a tiger. Nice. So as I was saying, there is one thing I want to do is I want to go back to the main town in act one because it seems like I have some quests that I should give back over there, like given. The original OG. Oh, it's so nostalgic to come back here. There's a bunch of quests. What's that about? All right, uh, let's have a good quick look at this. It needs 40 intelligence, which means I'm never going to be able to wear it. I need more intelligence points. And I got a new skill point, which will go straight into poison damage multiplier. Absolute win. Look at these. Jeez. When does the costume stop or start at this point? You just look like a ball of neons. Cyberpunk 1600s. Um, should I go to the hideout real quick just to figure out if I can understand what the crafting materials are all about? Oh, it's great. I'm here. I think I want to switch. <laughs> I don't want to stay here, actually. Let's go back to my, my lush swamp. Please. There we go. Got all my stuff here. Shall I try and craft some boots? Boots with increased movement speed. Craft. I need three of these. Oh, I don't craft the boots. I put the affixes and the prefixes right. I actually did have a look at this last time, didn't I? Yeah, whatever. I don't need it right now. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go and try and do one of the challenges at the menagerie. Why not? Why wouldn't I? I got good skills. Create currency item. Create a unique flask. Create a unique body armor. Create a unique shield or quiver. Yes, I would like to do that. Oh, right, 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 right. And then I choose the monsters. Craft. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna succeed here. Oh my god, the damage, the damage. Dead. Done. Done. I've done it. Yes. Cool, where's my item? No, I don't want a round shield. <laughs> I want the quiver. Okay, flask. Screw it. I'll make a flask. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. And that's lost forever, isn't it? It's lost forever. I lost it forever. Gah. Now let's try and go and understand the halls of the dead if we have a bit of time. I did come here the last time. Start a match at the Eye of Destiny in the Halls of the Dead. Now I have read comments on my videos that said there is no PvP here. If you guys have been lying to me all this time, mm -mm, I will not be impressed. The Eye of Destiny. Participate in the Trial of the Ancestors. A silver coin is required. I can do that. This is not PvP. So I, I fight people from tribes and I get stuff for it like for example this thing all right what the hell is going on what is this what 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 is this what in the world is this oh my god oh my god i have to learn another game in this game throws cold spells from a distance why don't you be my escort honored warrior why don't you be my attacker big lizard you will be my attacker you will be my flanker start this is actually super exciting if this is what i think it is oh my god this is cool. Uh, it's not PvP though. <laughs> Maybe you guys were right. I don't believe it. You don't. You don't do damage. You're not killing me. You're not doing anything. Maybe this is level one or something. I'm stuck. Oh, he's back. Wait, I died. I wasn't careful. I died. No, no. This was so easy. Why did I die? Well, I forfeited the match. Well done, me. I'm very embarrassed. I'm gonna do this again. There you go. I'm just gonna kill you. Eliminated on next loss. I've got my warriors. I'm gonna screw. I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna be easy peasy. I'm gonna stick with my attacker. Ooh, quite a bit of stuff going on here. I'm not dying this time. What is this? What is this blue stuff? Oh. Win the game by banishing all of your opponent's ancestral token. Okay, this is an ancestral token. How do I banish you? And to click on it. Okay, so it's not simply a killing thing, is it? There you go. All right, banishing this one. Oh, I have to hold it. I'm dead. This is not happening. Oh my word. Nobody's rezzing me, of course. Okay, I'll just kill this Rakiosa. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Attacker, flanker, other flanker. So you have to defend your posts, basically. That's what I'm getting out of this. Oh, so if you're hit while you're on the po totem, you are stunned for a while. This is crazy. There we go. There we go. That's one. Yes. Nice. I'm going to have to kill her again. Unending. Absolutely unending. Unbelievable. There you go. You're dead. You're dead. Forget it. Oh, man. This is going to take days. 
Come on. Oh my god. How is this supposed to work? It's gonna take forever. Uh, what's the opposite of fun? What are you guys doing? Where are my friends gone? Oh, they're destroyed. Okay, kill this one first. Boom, done. This one next. It's cool, I can do this. No, I'm about to die. No, I can do this. It's gonna take forever, but I can do it. Ooh, it's like they have one less res. Now, there you go, this one. If I get this one, they get one less person that they can revive. Right, they only have the one, so now I can just focus on her and kill her. And again, go. I'm gonna have to kill her one more time, for sure. Nope, maybe not. Hey! There you go. And I win favors with all these tribes. Nice. Ooh, that was fun-ish. Ooh, quests. Oh, this is kind of fun. You get to talk to them. They get to say, well done. Yeah, this is fun. But that's not where we're at right now. We're in Act 4. If there was a battle pass for this, I would buy it at this point because I'm com I'm committed to playing the game. So, Although I don't want it to give me any unfair advantages. So let's have a little chat about how Act 3 went. First of all, I had a lot more fun here rather than in Act 2 where I felt a bit frustrated. There was not there was no real changes going on with my equipment or my skills. This time around, I dropped some unique items. It really changed my DPS and it just made the experience a lot smoother. The quests themselves were as usual, good. Graphics are good. So far, I'm enjoying myself and I'm actually looking forward to Act 4 now, which I will play soon. Yeah, I want to say that the menagerie is really exciting. The hideout features are fun. And even that buried halls of the dead thing, I didn't think I would actually check it out, but I did. And I found a system that wasn't too hard to pick up, although a bit tedious. Maybe I'm a bit early level. I'm too early leveled, I think, to go do it. But I like the idea that you have this side activity that you can do, which I completely thought was PvP, but it wasn't. And you, you get to rank up with different tribes and everything. Like, yeah, I like that. The experience is getting better and better as I go along. That's what I, I want people to take out of this video. Anyway. Anyway, we'll see you in episode four. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tableau 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. Uh, today, we're on episode four, so we're going to be doing act four. And since the last video, you guys have left so many comments on my previous videos. And the one that keeps coming back, because one of my cons in episode two was uh, I wasn't really impressed by the lack of gems. And I swear to God, every two comments was about how there's vendors in each town that sells gems. So I think I owe it to you guys to go buy some new gems and continue the story from there. There were also a few other things that I've taken on board. One was to go to the configuration setup and then have a quick look at that and see if there's anything I wanted to, to disable, enable. I've done all that. I'm very happy with how things are. Last episode, we did a crazy boss fight and I'm here to continue that trend of killing big monsters. I love my gear so far. It's pretty good, especially my torso. Like it's orange. It looks amazing. And I just have a really good setup. So I'm going to keep up this setup. I am going to try and focus on health because I am missing some points in health. You guys in the comments have been telling me you need to put some points in health. Otherwise, you're going to hit a roadblock around Act 4 or 3 or 4 or something like that. So we are at that point now, so I don't want to hit that roadblock. So as soon as we can, we will put the points in. One more thing we're not going to be doing also in these videos anymore is the pros and cons at the end, because every time I bring up cons, people are like, this is so unfair, the game fixes it, or you're not reading stuff properly, which I get. I'm, I'm trying to do these uh, in a certain fashion. I don't know, let's stop put that in. Uh, the entrance to the mines is blocked by Dishret's seal. Dishret's seal, so I need to find Dishret's seal. Okay, so this is a different map. Everything's a bit different here. The seal, the eternal nightmare. I need to break the seal. Find a way to break the seal and gain access to the mines, no problem. I'll start with the breaking of the seal quests. Um, but why don't I look for some of those gems actually, now that I think about it. Although I do like the way things are at the moment, but I do have some space here, green and blue, so let's see. Let's see what I can do. Let's try and find that, that person I can buy. So let's have a look. Oh, trade divination cards. I got a bunch of cards. I didn't know what they were about. The Carrion Crow, for example. I've got one of four. Do I need four? Trade, yeah, I, I do. I do need the four. Okay, okay, I'll be back, old man. I'll be back. Oh, I've also been told to buy some better flasks, especially the Quicksilver one. Do I have that one? Is this? Yeah, Quicksilver flask. Okay, I already have that equipped, so we're good on, on speed, but I might need something better for the life. And because there's no cure currency such as gold, I can just use my scroll of wisdoms, and I've got a few, so I'll do that. Okay, where is the seller? of gems. Maybe there's none on in this specific town. I'll go and have a look at the act. We're on act four. I'm going to go and have a look at act three, the sword encampment, and find someone who sells gems. Maybe I can find some gems that are interesting. None of these. I might think. Am I just not getting it? What about Gregor? Can I help you? No. Have I been lied to? Have I been bamboozled? Has this been an elaborate plot? Confuse me. Okay, maybe I go to the Act 2 village and we'll go from there. I'd like to have some buffs of some sorts. I think that would be useful. Oh, maybe something for the Shrapnel Ballista. What can I put that's blue on the Shrapnel Ballista? 
Oh, this one. Power charge on critical support. Supported skills have 40% chance to gain a power charge on critical strike. Supported skills deals 4% more damage per power charge. Eh, yeah, okay, maybe. Oh, I need more intelligence. I, I don't have the intelligence to, to have these. Not a very smart guy, I guess. Okay, so I'm guessing, I think if I want to be able to find gems that I can actually use, I have to go back to act one. All right, just because I'm very low intelligence, but I do have space for a blue, so I might as well. Oh my goodness, she's got all of them. All right, I can't filter by the ones that I can actually use. It's blast chain mind support, and I don't have the intelligence for it. I'm just a really thick character. Okay, I've got red. Tell you what, I have red. I have life. Let's see if there's anything I can put here. I have a lot of strength for some reason. I can't remember where I put strength points, but okay. So this will cue into Rain of Arrows, which is sick because it's my favorite spell right after Ballista. So let's go with a support red spell. Chance to bleed. Okay, that could be useful. More physical damage. I like it. Wait, what? Ballista totem support? What? So if I use this, it summons a Ballista instead of Rain of Arrows? Wait a second. Are you kidding me? You've got to be joking. Okay, here we go. Rain of arrows. So the ballista now has rain of arrows. Okay, I don't need that, but okay. I mean, it was fun, but I don't need it. I already have ballistas, so unless I'm doing a full ballista build, which I'm not. Although, how fun would that be? Hmm, don't give me ideas. Oh, we also have blues here, but we can't wear. Okay, back to this. So we were thinking of potentially adding a physical support. There you go, maim support. I'll do that. Yeah, they can maim. They're great. All right, I love it. Leave it like that for now. And I kind of wish I had some blues, but I, I am I realizing I've got an agility strength build? That's what I've got. So back to act four I go. This build is feeling stronger than ever at the moment. I just have not had any issues since act three. I feel like my level has spiked. Oh, kill Vault. Just straight up. Is this part of the quest or is this just... What's my E do? Perform a war cry, taunting all nearby enemies. Cool. What does R do? Alchemist mark. Okay, I, I, I remember, I remember. Oh, I've also read in the comments don't use rain of arrows against bosses. These them against group of mobs, which I should have known, to be fair. It's like quite self-explanatory, actually. Gotta be careful. Ballista, ballista, rain of arrows. My rain of arrows is usually powerful enough to clear any group of mobs. If I really have to, I'll just do it twice. Oh, there we go. And I get a Steam achievement for it for some reason. Oh, so I got the banner. This was part of the quests. I get some gloves. I get something that needs intelligence, which I'm not going to pick up. Cabalist regalia, same. Serrated arrow quiver. You have my attention. Let's have a look at that. So it seems to be just a bit more sh shit than what I have, so I'm not going to use it. This, on the other hand, these, these look good. Add fire damage, increase attack speed. Sure, why not? And they do... Oh, and they're, I can't use this anymore. Oh, I'll just put it on this. Prismatic burst support. Choose another element at random and deals damage in the area. Yeah, that's for the shrapnel ballistas. It's fine. Then I have a red and green here, which is actually very exciting because green is agility. New crafting recipe that I'll never use probably. Okay, so now that I have the banner, I don't even have to go further. I can just go back to the city. And now I'm going to... There you go. Back in the city. Into the mines I go. Search the mines for a vein of Voltanix sulfite. No problem. Ooh, the these guys are spicy, that damage. I don't know. Interact to acquire Voltaxic Sulfite, used within the Azerite Mines. Okay. Ooh, so this guy's just gonna pop up every time I bring the mine. I like it. It's a cool, cool little mechanic. Visit mine encampment. What? Don't tell me this is a new mechanic of some sorts. Oh my lord. What am I supposed to do here? Build more sh Excuse my French. I don't even know anymore. Let's take a few of these out. I don't use all of them. I do like the Herald of Agony buff. Put that in. Can I support that with anything? What if I put a red skill supported by a green? Let's have a look if the sun support works with... Yeah. In any case, this is already overwhelming me right now. I will get to it eventually. Is there any way for me to leave? There you go. This doesn't seem like a season thing. It seems like it was baked into the campaign. So what am I supposed to do? Find the Volkai Sulfite deposit. There's three and enter the Azurite mines. Okay, I'll go find the deposits and then we can go to the mines together and figure this out. It's funny how some mobs seem to absolutely annihilate me and some just don't. More Sulfite. Yep. And I'm supposed to find three. And I've got this gauge also. It's disappeared, but this gauge for the Sulfite, what does that mean? Oh, crafting recipe that I'll never use. Maybe I will use it. I just don't know it yet. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, nope, dead. Hence why I need to put some points in life and not just potions. Oh. The damage is real. Okay, here we go, there we go. Bal my ballistas are taking the brunt of the damage here. These ballistas have been life changers. Life changers, life savers since I got them. 
It's allowing me to live my, my dream of having a complete glass arrow build. Although everybody tells me it's a horrible idea, but I'm stubborn. Oh, there's more of them? Okay, ballista, ballista, save my life. These electric things are crazy. Oh. Let's keep going, I guess. Should I just rush? What happens if I just rush through? Nothing good, probably. Uh, I've put myself in a corner. I'm good. Keep going. Oh, there's a mines level two. Okay. The goal is to find more Azerite anyway, right? And I'm gonna guess there's multiple, multiple veins of them. Oh, there you go. That's gotta be one, right? I also want to take a moment just to say that I want to support these devs because I think they've done a great job with this game and it feels a bit weird that I'm playing for free. Not weird. It's just like, it's great that it's free, but I want to give back if possible to the devs. If there's anything such as a battle pass or something that I could use, that I could buy to kind of improve the game, uh, can you point me towards it. I'm like, I don't want to buy a microtransaction to be fair. I just, I'm happy to buy a battle pass or something that's not a visual thing, like a battle pass or like a DLC potentially. Let me know. I have a quest marker north. Okay, I need to make my way to it somehow. That's level 38. What is going on? I'm really enjoying um, the animations in this game particularly. They're very good. And I also love these little challenges that they put all over the place. They're really fun. So did I free her? I think I did. I don't remember that being what a part of this quest, but okay, maybe it is. So find a way into the mountain, travel to Highgate. How am I doing here in terms of... So I need to find a way to the mountain, which is a bit further, I think. The Eternal Nightmare. It should be here, the Eternal Nightmare. Okay, keep going, keep going. The Crystal Veins. Here we go. What's in the Crystal Veins? More rocks and a lot more powerful enemies. Ballista, Ballista, save me. Every time a silver coin drops, I get very excited because it's purple, but then I realize it's a, just a coin that I haven't used yet. Have I? No, I don't think I have. Keep going, keep going. When I can, I just try and get the packs of mobs together and then use Rain of Arrows. Reminds me of classic WoW back in the day where I used to um, have a mage and I used to get all the mobs together and use that ice spell. I can't remember what Lizard, I think it was actually called. Yeah, get a bunch of XP that way. This is coming in handy now. because I feel like this is a good opportunity to use that technique to get as much XP as I can without having to stop every three seconds. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Gosh. Yeah, that'll teach me. Also, I'm missing a spell here. I should just put something in just to get an extra spell. Steel skin applies a buff which can take some of the damage from hits for you before being depleted. Okay. Do I have a free red? I don't. I only have a free green, which uh, gives me the alchemist's mark, which is fine, I guess. I need some more defensive spells. If I can't put all my points in health right now, I should try and plan to have, to have some defensive spells. Plus, I have a lot of points in strength, which means I get a lot of red gems that work. I can put a lot of je red gems in, and red gems usually are about melee or health and stuff like that, so maybe there's a play there. Oh, okay. Keep the potions up. Oh my god, the damage. It's so hard to survive. I'll tell you one thing. The fact that the game does, it punishes you for dying, but it doesn't overly punish you for dying. Not at this point of the game anyway. I don't know about later, but right now if I die, I just start over from the instance, which is acceptable. I'm like, all right, all right, I died, ah, no big deal, you know. I just backtrack a bit and that's not the end of the world. Oh, and hideout, uh, cool. Should I clear it? Clear the hideout if I must. I read in the comments that you can actually import hideouts from other people, which is such a cool mechanic, right? I love the idea of importing things. It reminds me of, again, World of Warcraft, where you could import other people's setup for their add-ons. I guess it's a good comparison in a way, except that these are not add-ons. These are features in the game, which is very impressive. Oh, she's my favorite. Ka Kaom's dream or the other dream. Plenty to chew on is what I would like to say. And chew I must. Enter the Azerite mine, sure. Hideout unlocked. Okay. Well, what should I do? Power the rapture device with the gems from Calm and Dereso. So I need to go into these dreams, kill those guys, bring the gems back, activate this. Oh, I like it. I like the idea that we're going into someone's dream. Chain belts. Okay, so I got a better belt here. It adds a lot to my strength. Am I still able to wear most of my stuff? Yeah, okay, that's good. Do I not need any of these? I guess not. I'm sorry for everybody yelling at me right now. My wife just brought me a nice cup of tea. And that's all I need to play this game for hours. Oh, also level 38. I should probably have a look at that talent tree. I can do this. Okay, let's go. Passive points. Um, Have I kind of pulled, pushed myself in a quarter? I think you have. You can do this. There must be something. Protection mastery. Look at that. That, that might be where I need to go. But if I just put these two points here, I can finish the poison mastery. I must do it. Okay, poisons you inflict on non-poisoned enemies deal 300% increased damage. <laughs> enemies poisoned by you cannot deal critical strikes. Now, considering I'm trying to do a bit of a, a survival build here, I'm trying to survive. 
Recover 3% of your life on killing a poisoned enemy sounds lovely. So I'll do that. Apply the point. I can change it though, right? No. Oh, four refunds? Oh, refunds. That's not what I need. Okay. Next point, I swear to God, is going into protection mastery. It's happening. Um, no problem. Right now, I gotta survive. Oh, my. Arena. <laughs> this might sound a bit weird, but I think I'm created a busted build. I can't take any damage. Let's take some damage and see how much I heal. Okay, I can't take any damage. Great. Okay, I'll, I'll try again. Okay, kill me. Damage me. Okay, I'm damaged. Kill him. Oh, yeah, that healing is impressive. Oh, oh my god. Uh, overwhelmed by possibilities. Iron ring. Here we go. Oh. Plus 17 to all attributes. Adds 1 to 4 physical damage to attacks. Increased damage. Increased rarity. Yes. And it gives me elemental resistance. Yes to all of it. God, I love it. I love a good orange item. I have failed to even comment on the fact that I'm fighting chickens with bow and arrows. Oh, another arena. Don't mind if I do. This is so much fun. My favorite part in any RPGs when they just throw an F ton of. I haven't even had to use my ballista. To be fair, my ballistas aren't poisoned, are they? I might want to change that somehow. Maybe add a poison gem to my ballista. Ooh, entering the grand arena. A oh, completely different type of architecture here. Oh, waypoint. Into the arena I go. Yes! This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful of my potions here. This is so much fun. Okay, should we travel to the passageways? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Let's keep going. Into the arena again. Different arenas. This is the grand arena, so we've got multiple. Yeah, bring it on! The Sword King Salute. Oh, it's one of the cards. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to use my entire repertoire of spells for this guy. Not a problem at all. Yeah, easy peasy so far. Especially since I've added that 3%. 3% recovery of life every time I kill an enemy that's poisoned. Hell yeah. So cool to see the gates open and like lions and stuff coming. I wonder how they're gonna deal with this amount of enemies in Path of Exile 2. Considering the game looks amazing. I might have peeked at the trailer. I might have. I think I have to go south. Am I supposed to go south? No, what am I doing? This is just the same arena. Am I supposed to just kill as many as possible in the arena? Is that potentially what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah, because I keep going into these passageways. Oh, okay, got some bosses here. Oh, like um, a few. Th this is truly an arena of gods and kings and Greeks and Romans. And it's This is a fight. Okay, am I supposed to just stay in this arena forever or until everybody and their mother is dead? Let's have a look at the map. Oh, here we go. The King of Desire. Diala requires the Eye of Desire to activate the Rapture device, but it is guarded by Doresco, King of Swords. Take it from him and deliver it to Diala. Okay, is it maybe here and I just haven't seen it? No, 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 no. Okay, let me leave and we'll, we'll figure this out. Oh yeah, I am I'm right. It's multiple arenas. Ooh, look at this. He's so cool. Okay, I'm in danger now. Or am I? Oh, wow, 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 wow. He's healing himself. God, stop healing yourself. Okay, I'm slowly getting there. It just takes a second. Oh, he's healed himself. Not too much. Ballista, Ballista. I've got the DPS. I've got the potions. You did. The Eye of Desire. Got it. Delivered it, uh, the Eye to Diala. You got it. Back into town I go. And hopefully I'll be able to use the waypoint to get to Crystal Veins, right? Yes. Ah, made it. What's next? Next, I need to go to this other part. No? Calm Stream? I don't need to go there? We sure about that? I'll leave a few things here. Mm, There's a lot of things I can't use. I'm throwing so much stuff away. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe people are yelling at me right now. I've entered here and I have no idea what the objective is. And I should probably spend my points, shouldn't I? Okay, we said we'd go here, we're doing it. Plus one point in strength. We're, we're gonna make this work. We are absolutely gonna make this work. Stone Creek just appeared out of nowhere. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you don't get to just appear and kill me. There we go. And he gave me a couple of scroll of wisdom to say about the enemy diversity in this game. It's just never ending. Sure, they, they might all be kind of like 50 shades of humanoids, but there's some cool creatures too. Some lizards, some scorpions, spiders. Okay, keep our exploration going in the gates of hell. Um, wait, did I not just come from here? The crystal veins. What did I do? What have I done? Nothing good. I just came from there. Silly Billy. Let's try this again. I didn't realize I did a loop. Holy chainmail. Oh, it's um, intelligence-based piece of equipment. Keep going, keep going. I'm surprised I'm surviving all this, honestly, considering it's a pure gas cannon, glass cannon build that I have right here. Just keep moving, keep clicking, you'll be fine. Great motto for life also. I really hope there's a point to me coming here. Where am I? Oh, the King of Fury, that's the one. Diala requires the Eye of Fury to activate the Rapture device. It's all about that phallic Rapture device. Oh, that was nearly the end of me there. 
Is she gonna blow up? Oh my, you never know what to expect in this game. You never know what, what the enemy's about to do. Just blowing themselves up. Oh, so many cool things. Okay, let's get the silver coin. Let's get the crimson jewel, the amulet, the ring, the other ring. Focus, focus. Hey, level 41. What's that? Superior Gilded Soldate and a Scroll of Wisdom. Are these homes or are they temples? They look more like temples. Some boots, some blue boots. No, I don't need intelligent boots. I'm not a smart man or woman. Oh, shackled boots? Maybe, maybe. I'll take it. This looks good too, the gilded, whatever this is. This looks really good. Um, let me just change it right now. Look at that. I look uh, like Judge Dredd. No, I look a bit cooler. I'll take it. Although thinking things through has never really been the motto of this YouTube channel. Oh, God damn it. Okay, it's okay. Let's take a second. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Oh, I got a crimson jewel, which I can put in my passive skill tree. Okay, okay. I think I saw I unlocked a jewel spot somewhere. There it is. Basic jewel spot. Okay, open my... There we go. I have to identify it. No problem. Plus 10 strength and intelligence, 16% increased cool damage, 4% increased attack speed with one-handed melee weapons. Literally none of that I can use, but I can probably swap them over, right? Yeah, it's scared there for a second. I'll just put it in for now. There's nothing else. I am never going to change these rings right now. They're too good. And let's put that passive point to good use. So I need some health. Where is health? Health is... Ooh, life leech. Life leech would be a good direction, wouldn't it? Armor and evasion mastery. Now you've got a good idea. And you know what? I'm going to refund a point. Can you believe it? Oh, I've already got, got the um, refund passive. There you go. And I'm going to go down here. So there's either this thick skin, increased life, or there's armor and evasion. I think we'll go for this first and then we'll go into armor and evasion. Increased maximum life and chance to avoid elemental ailments. Honestly, not bad. We've got this figured out. We, we know what we're doing. Some of these enemies are so powerful. Like this shale slither. Every time I see a melee weapon, I'm reminded that I can't respec. Not right now anyway. I know, I know, I know. The comment section already told me all about how I can respec. And here we go. Look at this guy. These bosses are cool. Ballista, ballista. They're also quite powerful. Got it. I have fury and a really cool two-handed axe that I cannot use. Why do you give those to me? I don't understand. People are going to hate me for this hot take, but at least in Diablo, you only get items that you're supposed to get. And I prefer that. I know. I know. You can unsubscribe. It's fine. I get it. I get it. Grand Arena. The Crystal Veins. There we go. So we've unlocked that part, the Crystal Veins. And now I have the eyes and everybody of everybody. So Fury and Rapture are set. So now we put them in the phallic looking object. And that's awesome. <laughs> That is going to create the belly of the beast level one. Let's go. Oh, it's an actual belly. Okay. It's scary. Not going to lie. You've got parasites. I'm sorry to tell you. Jeez, there's a lot going on in this stomach. I hope I'm going the right way on this stomach journey because either we go towards the top or we go towards the bottom and I really don't want to come out the bottom of this thing. That's level 42. And that's uh, me dead. That is a good moment for me to put some points into life. I think that's fair. Thick skin, plus 10% increased maximum life. And I need to... Oh, I can already put my specialization, which don't mind if I do. Um, plus 50% increased maximum life. If there are no life modifiers, no. Plus 50 to maximum life. Skills cost life instead of 30% of mana cost. What in the world? Oh, thanks. I'll just take the plus 50%. Plus 50 to maximum life. It's okay nearly died there. Barrage. I am interested in that. Let me, let me play around with that. I want to try Barrage. Let's see. Did I get that? Barrage. Okay. Do I have a green free somewhere? Yep. So I do. Take the alchemist's mark out. I got Barrage. Put Barrage in. It's here. I don't think I've ever played around with Barrage to, before. Have I? Let's find out. Barrage. What does it do? Ooh. Ooh, hello. Ooh, this might be my new favorite spell. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this rips. Oh my god. And I don't even have anything supporting it right now. Just shreds. Absolutely shreds. Unreal. I need something that maybe some homing arrows of some sort. It's going to be perfect for these kind of enemies. I need something maybe that can slow people down because these guys run quite fast. What, what was that? Gilded Sally and Superior Iron Mask. That's a bit scary. Let me have a look real quick. Momentum support. Uh, no. I need a green and red. Oh, but I can do this. And then I can do this. And then I can use this to make it stun. I'm full of great ideas. I'm a genius. Belly of the Beast level two. What am I supposed to fight in the belly of the beast? Because the beast is outside. The heart, maybe? I'm getting lost in this guy's colon. Okay, powerful. Very powerful stuff. How can I make Barrage more powerful? I can level it up, of course. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, what am I killing? Oh, I've already killed Piety before. This reminds me of something. Oh my god, reminds me of how I'm gonna die. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. What the world? 
Okay, this is it. This is this is the wall people have been telling me about. I'm dying. I'm just dying too fast. I, I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can do this. I, I, I can't die forever, can I? So I need to figure this out. Let's make sure I got all my potions up. Let's make sure I activate a potion as soon as I get in there. And also activate the ballistas. Walk around, walk around, walk around. People have been telling me to change the key binding for my right click. God damn it. No! Oh, I'm going to have to walk through that whole thing again. That's what I deserve. I'm going to go back to Act 1, get some better gems for my barrage. Then I'm going to kill everyone. Uh, let's see. Blinding is good. So this is for Herald of Agony. That's... Any blues that I can wear, that I can use? No, didn't think so. Or maybe there is. Caustic Arrow. No, that's what I'm using already. Oh, man, there's a lot to think about. Let's go back to Act 4. See if there's anything else I can buy. Withering Touch. Supported skills can do things. Chain support. Supported skills chains twice. Are you serious right now? That is so good. I can put that on Barrage. Oh, there's more. Oh my god, Summon Ice Golem. Are you serious? Summon Flame Golem. Is there a Summon Tornado Golem? Or, 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 or Poison Golem? Okay, I'll go with the Flame Golem because I like fire. No, 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 green. Okay, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. I thought I had something interesting here, but I don't, I don't. This is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna put barrage in, and barrage is gonna trigger this and this, which means chain and ice golem, and it's gonna slap hard, real hard. Keep going. Just selling a few things, buying a few other things. Oh, she sells the freaking gems. Oh man. Oh my God. Vile toxin support. Supported skills deals 5% more damage with hits for each poison on the enemy. Up to five supported skills deals 10% more damage with poison. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know what I'm gonna get out of it, but I'm gonna buy it. Any blues that I can use? Yep, there's a blue one right here. Cast when stunned support. Okay, let's think for a second. I'll take the momentum support out of Reign of Arrows and I will add vile toxins. Reign of Arrows now, huge poison uptick. Every time I read something, I'm like, I, I could do this, I could do that. I could do this, I could do that. Oh my God, there's so much. Okay, chill. Okay, I need to change these links. How do I do this? Where's the link changer thing? Ah, ah, reforges the links between sockets on an item. No, I need new sockets. Reforges the color of a socket on an item. Go. Oh, I, ha I can't have it equipped. Item sockets are empty. God damn it, come on. Here we go, here we go. Yes, hell to the yes. Get the Mirage Archer. Get the Void Manipulation? No, there's more to buy. I can just buy something better from her. Look at this. Cast on critical attack skill and spell skill. So if I had a, a spell in here, it would do both, basically. Skill will trigger a spell when it critically strikes an enemy. What? So if I had a red spell, which I don't. Oh, I do. Oh my god. Is this a spell? Cast on melee kill support. No, no. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, this is going to be wild. One orb of alchemy that allows me to... Oh no, I got that wrong. Sorry. Did I just use an orb of alchemy for nothing? I think you might have. Well done. Doesn't matter. I can still do this. Okay. Summon Stone Golem. Boom. This is insane. What I, what I think this does. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to shoot with Caustic Arrow. It's going to summon a Mirage Archer. Then that's going to, on a critical strike, that's going to summon Stone Golem. Get out of here. Well, that's a lot of damage. Let's give it a shot. No, I have to do everything again. Come on. I need a crit. There it is. And it worked. The Stone Golem was made. That's insane. I have some ideas, let me tell you. It's kind of crazy that the, um, the stone golem thing works out. So. Oh, I just realized, no. Instead of putting the vile toxins on that, I should put them on here. Hopefully vile toxins, supported skills deals 5% more damage with hits for each poison on the enemy. I might have to read a couple more comments to kind of understand where I'm going with this, but I'll get there eventually. I'm sorry, I went on a bit of a tangent there with my gear. Okay, no, I'm not spending my whole life in the belly of the beast. I'm going to figure out where Pieta is. All right, we're back at the bowels of the beast and it's time to try and kill Pieta again. We've got better potions this time though, so I have high hopes. Oh my god, she's completely regenerated. This is the this is the toughest fight I've had so far. Yeah, I might need a dash of some sorts. Oh my god. Stay behind her, stay behind her, stay behind her. DPS, DPS, ballista, ballista, potions, potions. Don't stand in the big red thing also. That'd be a good idea. Where even is she? There she is. She's just be careful. Careful! And uh, she's dead. It only took me a million tries. Thank God she didn't recess. Okay. I managed to kill Piety, or cleanse her anyway. Find Malachi's organs. Okay. We're going to walk a path together. Black core. Kill Malachi's three guardians. In the meantime, I just have not, like, my health any better. You must kill all three of Malachi's guardians and deliver the organs to Piety. Okay, where is that? Find them and deliver them to her. I mean, I want to, but how do I find them? You haven't told me how to find them. Find the organs and deliver them. Okay. Are they going to be in here somewhere? Oh, also, does the caustic arrow, is it summoning the right golems. We're supposed to have a, a stone golem, but also an ice golem. If that does not work, I will have to change it. 
doesn't seem to work. All right, we'll change it. Let's keep going. Yo, these this damage is crazy. Let's try these new um, wraps. Yep, I'm dead. I didn't even have my poison tax activated. Or am I doing? What's on the floor? Why is it all lit up like that? I'm looking at the debuffs. Temporal chains. I don't even have time to read it. Whatever. Uh, damage. The damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, done. I found her lungs. Malachi's lungs. Oh, ice golem. It does work. It does work. I have ice golems. I have stone golems. But you can only have one golem at a time. Ah. So I keep killing one golem for the other. Some tramps down. Dead, dead. Keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. There we go. What happened to the ballistas? So close to dying. Nearly dead. Nearly dead. Come on, buddy. Come on. I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. I'm still alive. Wow, got his entrails. I like how the story kind of changed here where it's like, oh, now you got to find all these organs and all that and you have got to kill all these people. I mean, I, I do a lot of killing to be fair in general on this game, but uh, I do like that you've got these arenas where you go and find the entrails and stuff like that. It's cool, it's cool. Three different bosses, but I don't have to go too far to kill them or to find them. They're just right there. I'm going to have to seriously rework these skills in a bit though. Am I going to have to read a build? I don't want to read a build, don't. I'm not trying to be stubborn here. It's just that like most of the fun for me in this game is trying to figure out my own build. If I follow the build of someone else, I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm just kind of filling in um, an Excel sheet. Does that make sense? Like, where does this go? Put it there. Where do you, I don't want that. I want to make my own choices. Be my own man, goddammit. Oh, there you go. Mali Caro's arena. All right. Hello. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, it might be the first guy I don't instantly die to or don't die to at all, actually. It was a good shout to buy all those potions. Done. I got the heart. Aw, poor guy. See ya. Now, before I go into this pit of despair that is the boss room, I am going to redo my skills, and I'm going to do it in a way where I only have to press two buttons to win. <laughs> that's that's the build I'm going to go for. So to do that, I need to, because I'm not using most of my spells, so I need to be a bit more careful. The uh, auras are good, so I'm going to focus them on auras. Let's have a look. Herald of Agony, very good. Explosive Tramp, unfortunately. No bueno. No bueno. There you go. Two reds. That's good. Which means I can use uh, another aura, which is going to be Vitality, which heals me per second, right? We like that. And then I'm going to look for another red that I could use here to boost Vitality somehow. Well, great. I found nothing that can help me with, with Vitality. Absolutely nothing. Let's go and try the Harvest. You must kill all three of Malachi's gardens to access this black core. Okay. Okay, what? I just did. Maligaro, Dordrin, Chevron. What, what, what? I just did that. I just did it. I did it. <laughs> you want me to do that again? No, that makes no sense. Does it? Does it make any sense? Does it make sense to you? It even just makes sense to me. I don't have to kill them again, do I? Surely there must be a mistake. Maligaro. Oh, you were at a different right, place. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue. I'll just kill them again. So they're there for my, when I'm trying to kill a boss, hopefully they can stun the boss. And all the rest, my caustic arrows there to single damage. And then my rain of arrows is there to kill as many mobs as I can, basically. Okay, this is my least favorite. I just have to be constantly on the move. I'm happy I have minions, that's cool. As a hunter, you kind of want pets. There you go. Killed her again. Okay, so my my golem is taking all the damage right now. Yes. And my turrets. There you go. Done. Easy. Path of Exile is truly Diablo on steroids. Oh, the black core. Found it. Where are we? The Grand Anus. Ooh, look how cool this guy is. Bleh. What? Oh my god. I'm gonna die so fast. Oh, maybe not. You know this guy has a face too. Keep your tentacles, man. I don't even have any of my auras on. Yeah. I can't believe some people play this game hardcore, considering the amount of times I've died. Oh, okay, I think we did phase one. Wait, no. Oh my god. Wait, is that Pieta? Did she, was she turned back into the boss I killed earlier on? Oh my god. Oh, wow. She did. Do I kill her? I did kill her. Oh, she's back. And she's, she's, she's dead. Oh, she got, ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, critical hit. <laughs> oh, I have to go into the black heart now. Phase two, baby.
It's going better than I thought it would so far. I'm jinx I'm jinxing myself. Why is his elf health back? How about that? Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not taking any damage. He's not taking any damage. Do I have to stand on these things to do damage? No, those are just mines. What is going on? Why am I doing zero damage? Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm confused. He's not taking any damage. There must be something I can destroy so he can start taking damage. These things, part of the beasts. There we go, there we go. I've played video games before, I swear. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, and now I can damage him. Let's go. This is epic. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Don't think too much. Oh, okay, okay. Part of the beast. Yes. Yes, oh. See, all the people who said I would die nonstop in act four. You were absolutely right. Because <laughs> I keep dying. It's okay, I'm doing well, honestly. Five stars for the guy who tried the game out of the blue and is now ending up doing a series on YouTube about it. Oh, oh, there's more, there's more. Oh my god. Put some ballistas down, put some ballistas down. You were so in love with death, except in the immortality. <laughs> wow. Yes, I did it. Thanks. Oh, look at all these things I can't use. Mm -mm. This guy's having an epic death. Oh my god, he's dead. Epic! Back to Highgate I go. Everything's normal here. So, talk to Tsumi. Yeah, where is Tsumi? There, there he is. You surely know how to destroy it. My bad. Who are you? Huh? Maybe I would know if I listened. I will make a little detour first to something I completely overlooked, which is the mine encampment. Whatever that is. What can I do here? I can purchase things with Azerite. Right, you get the Azerite and then you use it to buy primitive chaos resonators, which reforges a rare item with new random modifiers. Cool. Anything else it does? Enter the Azerite mines. I am here. Ooh, these are the Azerite mines. Okay. Ooh, okay. Talk to Nico. He's kind of cool, to be fair. Okay, so I need to choose a destiny. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's so cool that they have all these things. Look at this guy. He's doing his own thing. Oh my god, what's going on? Ooh, these, these guys are tough. I am being attacked. Severely attacked. Follow the crawler to find Azerite veins. Yep, that's what I'm here for. Old Star is not dying. I'm dead. Does that mean I have to try again? Why can't I go back? What's going on? I want to go back. How do I do that? Maybe through the waypoint? There you go. Azerite mine. Okay, I just, just want the closest one. I, you don't have to do anything crazy for me. I can drop flares, explode to target location after a small delay. There's many, many things to do. Come on, poison builds. Carry me through this. I know everybody's like the end game is the true game, which I completely understand as I've played, as you've known WoW for many years. I know what you mean by the end game is the game, but if the path to the end game is not good. I mean, what's the point? You can't tell people, oh, just you know, just play this 12-hour adventure and then it'll it'll get better. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It'll totally be totally worth it at the end. Like, I don't like that. So why am I saying that? Well, I don't know. I'm rambling. But if anything, there you go. This game has a great act system and great quests, and every act brings a new feature like this one, which is super fun. I respect the devs just for that. I can't imagine the amount of work these guys must have put into this game. But like the Azerite, I made it. Okay. Why is it nighttime? How does that work? Defeat the monsters. Okay, it's a defending system. Rain of arrows. That's why I should be spawning right now. Rain of arrows. Is there a reason why my mana only goes to whatever? It should be a lot more, right? I must have put a point somewhere and just completely forgot about it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, look. So I've I've done it, right? Collect Azerite. You need me to do more of it. Oh, I need sulfite to reach this, these places. I don't have enough sulfite. Sorry. How do I get sulfite? Ooh, so, and then I can upgrade all this stuff here. The sulfide capacity, for example, with sulfide. Fun! And these are in my challenges, and oh my god, there's so much to do. I like it. It's fun. It's fun. Definitely something I could sink my teeth into. Oh, I can invite him to the hideout. Hey, you're part of my hideout now. Nice, we're friends. Oh, and I leveled up, so I get to put a point in, and I'm gonna go for 10% increased evasion rating and armor, 15% increased effect on, on, of onslaught on you. Yep, yeah, cool. Let's go check out Act 5. Claim the ascent to find the portal back to Oriath. Oh, I didn't realize there was so much more, actually. I'm fighting lions now and zombies. I am out of mana real quick. I'm trying to grab the freaking corn. Oh, I forgot I got a new quiver. 20%, 26% increased critical strike chance. Yes, please. New quiver acquired. Old quiver, dead to me. So I'm supposed to climb the ascent. Okay, let's try that. Is that it? Ooh, ooh look at that. That's cool. Those goat men. Always follow the path. There you go. I'm going up. I got a crafting recipe, so it must be. Oh, hello. Keep going. I think I made it. Activate the resonator. Wow. Again, the animations are on point. Enter 
portal to Orioth. Hey, made it. New waypoint, welcome to act five. Now, this is a good place to end it. Before we go any further, it'll leave the surprise for the next episode. I'm not gonna do a cons list because I know that most of the cons that I might have are actually addressed in the game maybe further on. So I don't need to be reminded of that every two comments on this video. So I will just say that this has been my favorite act so far. The bosses are cool, the enemies were cool, the, the locations were cool. It was all a really good blast. And it's also the act where the gem system really, really shined for me because thanks to you guys, you told me where to get some new gems and I figured out, okay, let's try and see where the build can go. And I've definitely enhanced it a bit more and I'm, I'm looking to like make myself a bit more tanky, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. Now last episode we finished Act 4 and we were doing pretty good. Now before we get started with Act 5, I do have a confession to make. You might have guessed, but I did read a lot of your comments, as I always do, and I decided that this ascendancy thing sounded like a good idea. So I might have looked up where to find the other ascendancies. And with that, and I might have looked up where to find the other labyrinth. Now, I know, I know, I'm, afra I'm afraid I was spoiled by you guys, not my fault, but I was spoiled that you do get some kind of specialization when you finish these labyrinths, which is why all of you guys were telling me how important it was. And the thing is, I know where the last one is, the Catacombs Act 3, but I do not know what's going to happen once I've unlocked it. I know I'll get a new specialization, but I don't know what that entails. I'm very excited though, so I thought we could do it in this video right before we start Act 5 and see how that changes things. Now, that's not the only thing I've done. I've also decided to... Uh, uh, throw a few bucks towards uh, GGG, the company who makes this game, because I've been playing this game for free so far, and I've been able to pay my editor to make these videos. And I also think I should be supporting GGG, supporting this game, supporting this community. So um, I put 20 bucks because that's all I could afford. But I did put 20 bucks into the, the game so that I could unlock this rat key. So I did get like the supporter pack, but I'm so excited to have a raccoon. I bought a raccoon. That's where I'm going with this. And he has his own little barrel. He's so cute. I called him Frank. So his name is Frank the raccoon and he's got his own little barrel and I love him. Oh, look at him. Hey, Frank. So Frank is going to be joining us on our adventures. And also uh, for my points for my 20 bucks, I also got this <laughs> backpack, which is fun. Uh, I'm definitely like leaning into how ridiculous this game is, the look of this game and the, the microtransactions, which is fine. I didn't buy any other visual microtransactions because I just didn't have enough coins or whatever. But I did get some stash, premium stash. Uh, I looked up online which stash I should buy. Uh, so I got a currency stash and some gem stashes. And yeah, that's that's it for now. Now, without further ado, I've been speaking for too long. It's time to start. Let's go with the last labyrinth in the catacombs of Act 3. Instead of launching the game and just like clicking record as soon as the game starts, I've decided to uh, play the game for about like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just to make sure that I know what I'm talking about, because I usually take a couple days break between each episode, because I have a nine to five and a family and all that. So that means it should be a bit more fluid. I did forget to mention that I um, saw all your comments about my passive skill tree. People were cringing so hard in the comments about my choices, but that's the game, baby. I'm not using any guides. I, I want to be able to figure this out myself. I think every game should allow their players to make their mistakes and make their own builds. And GGG haven't been great at allowing me to refund. But what I've done is I've, I had five points to refund and I had some uh, orb, I have two, two orbs of regret. And what I did is I took the points out of critical crit chance with my bow because I understood that that's not going to help me with my poison. And I put them instead in life because you guys told me that I really need to put points in life. And there are some nodes, life nodes here. Um, so I put them here instead um, with an accuracy mastery also just for increased attack speed, which is my favorite. People have been telling me also to remove the ballistas, but that's absolutely crazy talk. I will never remove the ballistas. They're the best thing in this game. If you've been following the other episodes, you know what I mean. Ballista, ballista. Rain of arrows. Oh, that's not rain of arrows anymore. This is rain of arrows. I think my, my build is actually really strong. You guys have also been telling me to just identify everything before I sell it. So I will also be doing this. I do read the comments. I do all of them actually. There you go. That was it. Okay. I finished. I finished the trial. Enter the labyrinth in the Sarm encampment. That's the next step of it. Okay. Where's the Sarn encampment? Oh, please tell me where I can find it. You may now access the Lord's labyrinth from the Sarn encampment. Oh, it's here. It's, it's right where I am. Sorry. 
complete the, the final labyrinth. Nice. The labyrinth. There's multiple ones. Okay, I'm activating level 33 labyrinth. I am level 40, so this should be a piece of cake. Oh, I've also added steel skin. Steel skin to my, my abilities. You guys told me in the comments that it was good. I just need to find, figure out how to make it that so that it activates when I get hit because like I always forget to activate it when I'm when I'm in combat. Ballista, ballista, green of arrows, baby. What am I gonna do with all this gear? There's too much gear on the ground. Oh wow, this guy dropped a bunch of stuff. And this green thing here, what does it mean? Let's try and not die first. Oh my god, the fact that my I get overburdened so quick just puts me off. Rain of arrows. Rain of arrows. Ballista, ballista. Can I just say, guys, that not using a guide, I think is pretty freeing, you know? I am worried constantly about making the wrong choices and stuff like that. But most of the time, I'm just thinking, like, it doesn't matter. You'll figure it out eventually. I'm kind of putting a lot of that on the game, hoping that the game allows me to make it with my own build. And so far, I mean, you guys have been cringing, but I have made it through all of this. Sure, you've helped me along the way. I can't deny that. Although, put some points into vitality. Maybe that will help me in, in Act 5 and 6 and 7. Oh, the current location. Okay, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing rather than talking in this microphone. What does it mean to complete the labyrinth? There must be an exit to this labyrinth or puzzle of some sorts, right? This can't just be enemies. There must be some new ones here that I'm not getting. I've unlocked most of this map. Maybe it was it wasn't the ancestors trial potentially. Or maybe that was a, just another entrance? Maybe over here? Up here maybe? There you go, you, you fool. Let's go. Boss, please. Oh, look at this guy. Ballista, Ballista, Rain of Arrows. Well, I don't, not so much Rain of Arrows. Izaro. Man, maybe it's time I get a dash on that, on that ability bar. What do you think? What do you guys think? Should I get a dash? Did I kill him? I don't, th I don't think so. Oh, it's like he's testing me. Every time he's like, all right, you're, you're cool. You can get to, you can go to the next stage. It's like a um, DPS block of some sorts. I need to keep on top of my mana. Oh, giant life flask. Yes. Okay, here we go. We got some labyrinth stuff. So many things to kill you. Blacksmith's whetstone. Yep. I promise I will have a look at... Whoa, what's this? The next gargoyle you hit will be killed instantly. Okay. What does that mean? Me just walking through these traps. <laughs> Orb of alchemy. I need those. That's what I need. I need the orb of alchemy because that will allow me to buy the ruin, the gem, which will allow me to make sure that steel skin activates when I get hit automatically. I'm sure a lot of you guys are very, very proud of me right now. He's getting the game. He understands. It's kind of bold to have a game that has 10 acts. I mean, like act one, act two, all that. Because not everybody wants to play a campaign with 10 acts, especially as everybody in the comments is like, oh, that's the tutorial, that's the tutorial. I don't agree. Maybe I'll agree later. But right now I'm having a really good time with the acts and the story, which I'm loosely following. I'll tell you what, this series has made me so excited for Path of Exile 2, because I feel like I'm in a really good place to play Path of Exile 2 in a way if that makes sense. Like, I am I am Mr. Casual, you know? I can tell you if the masses will like this. I am the most beige man you will ever meet. <laughs> what, what am I saying? I don't know. I have to put some stuff in the stash. I didn't buy all this stash space for nothing. And I just improved my flask. Oh, oh, ge gems. I got gems. I mean, I got currency. So make sure you put it in the right place. In the currency tab. Look at me. You guys also always want me to press Z, 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 but I don't really like pressing Z. You know why? Because when I press Z, my screen just becomes a animated Excel sheet. I would like to enjoy the game. I'll show you in a second once I've beaten this guy. Ballista, Ballista. Where is the challenge? No challenge at all. I thought this game was hard. I thought this game was for hardcore people. I'm definitely the opposite of hardcore, to be fair. I'll tell you something, because in my review of Diablo 4 Season of Blood, which I really enjoyed, I uh, managed to kill Lilith. Well, Lilith is like the, the biggest boss you can kill in that game right now. And I'm actually really surprised by Uber Lilith, and I'll tell you why. She has these one-shot mechanics, right, which are, in my opinion, not great. It's 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 very much just a if you can't figure out the tempo or if you have any lag actually or yeah if you're in a country that doesn't have the best internet or whatever you will struggle like you are not going to be able to to finish this and this is coming from somebody who's finished every Soulsborne game so 
I feel like I have a if I if I need to, I can have a good idea of tempo. But I wasn't able to get through her her one shot mechanics. So what am I getting at here? Well, I'm getting at the fact that I've fought what like four or five bosses now, and none of them have resorted to one shot mechanics. Like every time I've died to one of these bosses, I've always felt like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I died. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm kind of shocked that the Diablo team was like, how do we make this this boss hard? Oh, why don't we just like make it so that she one shots you if you step in this zone or if you don't dive on this direction. I'm sure they have their reasoning for it because there is a reasoning behind all the, the, the things that they do, but I feel like they could have done something better, potentially, something more challenging. High damage is fine, but like one shot mechanics, I don't know. I had self to Path of Exile for I've gotten that figured out, although Lilith will always have my heart, of course. Her story kind of kickstarted this channel when you think about it. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Hope so. Let me in! Let me in! I'll go around. Fine. Considering how hectic it already is at this level, in terms of like the visual information on screen, I wonder what it looks like. I wonder what end game looks like. Does that make sense? Explosion of colors on screen. Am I going in the right direction? I don't know. Oh, I think so. Ballista, ballista. There must be a silver door. Uh huh. Silver key, silver door. I'm getting it. This is like its own quest. Like it's its own act, isn't it? Maybe maybe this is an act. this. This is such a cool mechanic. Oh, I might not survive another one of those. Careful. Switch. What happens if I get out? Oh, it doesn't move. I'm probably going to need it. Okay, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Oh, who's this guy? Scumclaw. Look, he looks so cool. I found Labyrinth's Throve. Plenty of rings. Is it useful? Where are we going with this? Oh, another boss. Great. Same guy. I love his visuals, though. Really cool. Whoa. Let's get my mana. I am a absolute mana hog. If you guys know how to improve my mana, let me know. Whoa, done. Activate the altar of ascendancy. I'm about to ascend. Also, treasure keys. What's a bunch of loot? Should I keep any of it? Deerskin glove. Yes. Scroll of wisdom. Always useful. Fun. Oh, large mana flask. Because I know you guys will probably want me to. Oh, no, I've, I've already got the sacred mana flask. I don't need the large mana flask. Ascendancy chamber. Okay, it's time to ascend. Oh, look at all this treasure. Oh my, oh my god, look at, oh my god. They've given me a lot of stuff here that I just cannot use. How fun. Oh, I need a treasure key. Right, so if you did all the treasure keys, if you did all the challenges in the labyrinth, I would have been able to open all this. Also, this is why I don't like pressing Z. Look at my screen. Is this entertaining for you guys? <laughs> Do you like this animated Excel sheet? I don't. Portal scroll, portal scroll, chromatic aberration. There we go. And let me enchant these with trigger word of blades on hit. Done. Oh, this is the Ascendancy. Here we go. Choose your Ascendancy class. You will receive two Ascendancy skill points the first time you complete each Labyrinth. Okay, let me think about it. So you can be a Raider, you can be a Deadeye, or you can be a Pathfinder. Some improve projectile damage. Ah, oh, including attack speed? I love attack speed. Mirage archers are not attached to you. Plus two maximum number. Okay, this sounds kind of cool. Far shot, rupturing. Knowing this game, I'm never going to be able to change this ever again. So I need to make sure I am I know what I'm doing. So this is all about flasks. I'm not super excited about flasks though. I am excited about poison though. When you kill a poisoned enemy during any flask effect, nearby enemies are poisoned. Poisons you inflict de during any flask effect have 20% chance to deal. I like it. How exciting? That's not very exciting. What about the poacher, the raider? Oh, the raider, she doesn't have a bow. Yeah, that's because I could have played it differently, but I didn't. So I have to go with Deadeye or Pathfinder. Okay, time to make a choice. I think flasks might be a good idea. It is silly, but like I keep trying to get my flasks up all the time and having the movement speed is really useful. So um, yeah, and I do want to be a poison build. So Max Master Toxicis sounds good. Let's go with that one. 
Oh, what's this? So it just kind of like adds itself to that. And I get two ascendancy points, which I will put straight away in Master Toxus. When you kill a poisoned enemy during any flask effect, nearby enemies are poisoned. Cool. So I just need to make sure that I have a flask effect at all times. Let's try and find some flasks that are dope. And I am done with the ascendancy and I can finally get going for act five, which makes me excited, but not before I buy some new flasks if possible. Now let's see if I can buy any in act six. That would make more sense. Act five, sorry. Let's go. I'm in the slave pens. Great start. I wonder if like having a, um, a flask active, meaning that if I heal, if I'm healing because of, of a flask, does that mean it's an active flask? Because that's what all these bonuses hinge on. Yeah, I think I need to press Z because I do need to see what's going on. You win, I press Z. I gotta kill the overseer, no problem. Come on, ballista, ballista. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, get me out. Oh, this is the... Oh, nice, this is the hub. Oh, I get to select a reward. I don't need any of these, no. I've got, I got like really good items already. And I can purchase items from him. And this is exciting because obviously... Oh no, not this guy, but someone here is going to have really good items to sell. I know that. There we go. Substantial mana flask. Yeah, I need orbs of transmutation, which I have. Immunity to shock. Yeah, I'll just grab this one. Here we go. Okay, so let's have a look at my quests. Death to purity. You have been asked to slay High Templar Avarius. And then in service of science, Vilenta has asked you to find and return her Mayas meter that she left behind in her lab. No problem. And I need to kill Justicar Casticus. He should be located somewhere in the control blocks. So two people to kill and then a scientific apparatus to recover. Let's keep going. Yeah, and that's level 45. Crazy that I'm already level 45. Although I've been playing for a while now. Over 10 hours already, actually, now that I think about it. Never forget you've got a rain of arrows. Never forget. This new flask is so powerful. As soon as I take damage, I'm just full health. Boom. It heals me really fast. Oh, I've got the Maya's meter. Great. So I could return it or I could continue my quest. And I think I will return it just in case she gives me another quest that is on the way. Although, let me find a waypoint, waypoint first. Come on. The chains that bind. Oh, it's a card. Cool, got a card. You know what I miss from Diablo? Don't kill me, don't kill me. But you know what I miss? I miss numbers. I miss being able to see how much I'm doing damage-wise. You know all this Diablo versus Path of Exile and stuff? Not a huge fan of the rivalry, I'm not gonna lie. You know why? Because I just like that things exist a lot that I can play. We should just get along, you know? Just be friends, man. Wow, these these flags are not great. They remind me of another flag. I don't think red with white circle in, in the middle with a black symbol is a good look. Is it a subtle, not so subtle hint to what's going on here? Oh, I love this. This is like a little village. Hey, why do you guys want to attack me? Frightened citizen citizens. Oh man. Am I the bad guy? Actually, I should go back to the waypoint and return those quests before I come back here. Thank you. Oh, okay, these look cool. New flasks, which one should I go for? You guys keep telling me, you know, you gotta be strong. So I'll take the armor or the evasion rating. Which one should I go for? I am going to go with armor. Oh, but just, I didn't just make a really bad decision. But yeah, that makes sense to me. Also, new boots, nah. <laughs> Nah, my current boots increase my movement speed and I'm not going back from that. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So I've got a new flask, which I'm going to use, which is Granite Flask of Tree Moss, which lasts six seconds. Not great, but it should improve my armor, which is what it's all about, you know? Good. Let's sell some stuff. Don't hate me for selling things, please. And let's move on. Let's just pause real quick to see how Frank is. How's it going, bud? How's it going, buddy? You're going back into your barrel? Yeah, yeah, I would do the same. So yeah, I could have gotten a better, you know, more flowy, more showy pet. But I just looked at Frank and I knew. First love, weirdest dog I've ever had. Whoa, starting to take a lot of damage. Rain of arrows, rain of arrows, rain of arrows. There we go. I wanted to like show off this plaque, but then everybody died on it. So it looks great though. Town folk just in the middle of all this. Average day at the market, and that's me, the maniac. I show up with a coffin on my back and Frank. And Frank is obviously the most dangerous of us all, so keep an eye on him.
find High Templar. I'll find him here. There's something about the hyper-religious gone wrong kind of aesthetic that I really like. Although these these flags, man. I mean, oof. I don't know about these flags. <laughs> Superior Hunter's Hood. Have I finally found something to replace my horrible helmet? Let's find out. I think so? Better qual better evasion rating? I think still has like better stats. Although this one has a better light radius. Woohoo. Should I put it in? Yeah. F it. Let's go for a bit of a change. You guys can tell me how bad I effed up in the comments. I'm losing a gem also, but I'm winning a red gem. Gaining? Look at that. I look a bit better. It kind of merges a bit better together. Let's continue. Wow. That's cool. That's a cool way to create an obstacle, like a block. Inverted pyramid in the ground. Love it. Ooh. I just got a really cool helm. Legendary helm. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's just cooler, so I have to wear it. That's the rule. I can still have Herald of Agony. That's fine. I'll even have Decay support. Will I? I will. Herald of Agony works. Why not? Oh, I forgot. I didn't actually activate Herald of Agony. I'm going crazy. I know you guys hate it when I don't have my auras on. I've been surviving fine, guys. Oh, let's have a look at the helmet. It's fine. <laughs> Serviceable at best. I am level 46. I do need to have a look at my passive skill tree sooner rather than later. I've got two points. I'm just trying to be a bit more mindful and careful with my passive tree because in the past I've just tried to like get through it and I, I now know that I can't go back so yeah. I just realized why is my mana so low? Reserved mana? Oh that reminds me of a comment I read about. Oh about yeah about these auras. The more auras I have activated the less mana I can have. Okay okay. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding the game. I am understanding the game, slowly but surely. Oh, this must be it. The Chamber of Innocence. I love it. It's boss time. Let's go. Oh, it's not boss time? Yeah, this is the right place. The Chamber of Innocence. All right. Oh, okay, it opens up. I had no idea. Silly me. The enemy density is getting crazy. I will say I'm impressed that the game doesn't one shot you. Does that make sense? Because sometimes when you sometimes it, I don't know if this makes sense what I'm saying, but when you get to higher levels in some ARPGs, the enemies just one shot you out the gate. And it's never felt this way right now with this game, but I am only on act five. So I'm, I'm only speaking of, you know, 10 hours of experience so far. I'm sure it changes as you go higher. Maybe when you get to max level and stuff starts to one shot you if you don't have the right correct resistance, which would kind of go with what you guys have been telling me about putting points in resistance and being careful of my life and my flasks. Look, look how cool that is. The truth of innocence. The triumph of innocence. It's like a poem. Ballista, ballista. They still work so well. Look at this plaque on the ground. Look how cool that looks. Look at those engravings. What's going on? It's like a corrupted Greek society. This is it. Sanctum of innocence. This is it. I'm going to kill Zeus himself. The world must be cleansed of impurity. Bit of a disappointment, I don't know why. I was expecting to kill the guy in these uh, murals on the grounds, engravings, rurals. Awesome mechanics, love it. Love this fight. Let's get the ballistas on this. Ballista, ballista. Whoa, he did so much damage there when I wasn't looking. I gotta be careful. I haven't died once though. And he's dead. Phase two? Can we get a phase two? There he is. There's Caesar. Oh, yeah. Innocence, God Emperor of Eternity. Okay. Come on, Frank. Help me out. This might be a stupid question, but stupid question, but do these flasks recharge? They do, right? Oh, shh. You that was tough. That was really tough. I nearly died. Yo, this guy's hard. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, bud. He is not going down. And he keeps doing more and more damage. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Dead. No joke, I'm so happy that when I die, I don't have to redo all this. It's, it's, oh my god, okay. It just immediately died. <laughs> okay. Okay, I gotta be careful. Activate all the stuff. Yeah, this guy is hard. 
I thought I was doing pretty good with my heals and all that. Well, my, my nodes, my life nodes. I'm not sure anymore. Like, I, this guy is two-shotting me. I've died three times already. And my pet raccoon is doing nothing to help me. Also, it might help if I actually put points in my passive tree. Come on, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, come on. Death number four. He's kind of nearly dead. His barrier is crazy. Come on. Death number five. I feel like the, the less life he has, the more damage I'm taking. I need a dash. I need a dash so bad. Okay, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, I thought there was a phase three there for a second. What are you looking at my raccoon for? Oh my goodness. That was the most difficult fight so far. And I'm really pissed off I got a great mallet. What the hell, man? Give me a bow and arrow. Here's a bow and arrow. Is it any good? It might be. I don't have enough space for it. Okay. Oh, cinematic. Here we go. So I just killed Caesar. And he was supposed to be innocence, right? And then you've got sin. Okay, something happened. Travel back. Yep. What was that? Travel back through the Templar's courts. Okay, can I go back home for a second? Mm, okay, let me just check this out. The Chamber of Innocence or the Chamber of Innocence. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yes, it seems like I've, I'm missing something here. Okay, let's go back. Regroup. Oh, I've got points also. Can I put points in here? No, I cannot. Okay. Okay, passive points. Um, how am I feeling right now? Feeling good. I will add a point there and I will add a point there. So I have life. And nobody can tell me I'm doing something bad because life is good, right? Elemental defense. I did hear someone say I should get elemental defense, so I'll go that way. Is there a store here or like a, not a store, but like some kind of auction house potentially where I could sell some stuff? Ooh, I get jewels. Got the green jewel because I'm a green person, right? I'm, I'm a rogue. Yes, passive point. I will take it. Thank you very much. And while I've got my mind in it, put the point in elemental ailments plus 10% resists. What's up? So I'm supposed to, the Ralph God. I'm supposed to go back to... Oh, Kitivata has awakened and is destroying Oriath. Travel back through the Templar's Court to Oriath Square and find the entrance to the Oshwe. Oshwery. No problem. We'll just throw some stuff out. Ooh, unidentified jewel. Yes, please. I know that the jewels go in your passive skill tree, right? And I have put jewels here. Strength and stuff. Let's take that out. Haha, -ha, I can take it out. That's great. How do I... Can I... Open one. There you go. Get out of here, Jewel. This is the one. So it's 20, plus 20% 20 increased damage with poison, right? That's pretty amazing. Although this Jewel could be so much better if it wasn't all about claws and one-handed weapons. Mm, don't know how I feel about that. Let's get out of here. Come on, Frank. Oh, cool. So things have changed now. Everything's destroyed. Oh, I like that. That's smart. Of course, because I've killed Caesar, everybody's lost their mind. Classic. He was the only thing keeping them at bay, and I've released them. Have I done? Whoa, whoa, who's this guy? Kato Scholar of Light. This is the true power of, of priesthood. They don't tell you they have these powers, but they do. Oh, and he's transformed himself into a demon now? Well, oh, this is great. This is so cool. Never trust a priest. I'm joking, I'm joking. Where's he gone? Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. There's some great visual storytelling here in the environmental storytelling, excuse me. Really good stuff. Okay, I'm feeling like some of these mobs have phase twos without, like I kill it and then it's it's not dead and it has a different name and it's full life. I'm like, okay, but the, the actual model hasn't changed. But this guy's a lot of life. I'm running out of flasks. Hell, this guy's, this guy's serious. There we go. All these rapiers make me upset. I was supposed to be a melee build. I love my, my poison build, it's fine. You know what? I wonder if GGG looks, has seen these videos or anybody at GGG has seen these videos and gone, maybe we could tweak a few things. Probably not, they're really busy on Path of Exile 2, right? And they have focus groups and all that, like obviously they're not wasting their time watching me. But if anybody at GGG is watching, let me respect it. This guy is, is regenerating his life faster than I can kill him. What the hell is going on? There you go, that's, that's where you get the ballistas in. You know what I'm talking about. Am I supposed to go to the ruined square? It says go find the ossuary. Maybe this is not the place I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, find the entrance to the ossuary. So I am in the right place. Let's find the ossuary. 
Oh my god, the damage, the damage. I'm taking so much damage. Ballista, ballista. Oof. Oh, this might be it. Yes, found it. Oh my god, look at all these gems. Whenever I get to a minion that's resistant to poison, it's going to be a bad day. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Look, look at, look at my screen right now. What is going on? He's taking no damage and I'm taking a lot of damage. Please die. Please die. Please die. Oh my god. Found the sign of purity. I have to put it somewhere different. There we go. Ah, now I get my recipe. Access the cathedral rooftop from the ruined square. Use the sign of purity to defeat Kitava. Before I do that, I'm gonna go make sure that my loot is good. It's also a good opportunity for me to buy that um, gem that's going to allow me to use the steel skin when I get hit. I think that's an important part of all this. I believe that would be the gem here somewhere. It's not cast on critical. It's cast when damage taken. Steel skin works and I can buy it. Boom. Done. So now I don't need vita Oh, vitality is so good. Ugh. Vitality, excuse me. Do I give away the gold? No, I can't. I need two reds, basically. You got two reds right here. You got two reds right here, partner. Okay, okay. Cast on damage taken. It's happening. The gem can only support the skill. Ugh. Triggered when the total damage taken reaches a threshold. And what's the threshold? All right, cool. Got space for all my gems. Steel skin cast when damaged. That's great. I don't have to think about it. I wonder if all this makes sense in terms of my build. Is it good? Is my build good? I don't know. I have no idea. I'll continue my experimental elemental affinity thing I've got going on here. There it is. Is that where I want to put it? Or do I want to put it in here? Crystal skin. Do I want oh, I'll, I'll put it in the shock avoidance. I've seen a lot of shock stuff going on. All right, done. Time to go kick some ass in act five. Okay, find the cathedral rooftop. This map is huge. I'm never going to find it. Oh, I found it. <laughs> okay, perfect. I thought I'd never find it. So let's see if my DPS is enough here or if I really have to start thinking outside the box and rethink my gem system because I think I'm doing a really poor job at my gems so far, to be fair. I feel like there's a couple more gems I could be using at the moment. I'm just gonna let him hit me really hard here so I can see if it activates steel skin as advertised. Otherwise we're in trouble. Oh, he died. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just wait a bit, I guess. Someone will eventually try to kill me. This is getting crazy. Steel skin has not activated yet. Oh, it should have now. Yes, it did. Okay, great. We're good. We're good. Everything works. Yes. Done. Ivory boat. Look at that boy. Okay, there's a lot of things I want to check out. Can I check it out now? Yes, you can. Is this better than what I have now? Kinda. I'm not sure about this. Okay, wait, I need to focus. Oh, this must be it. I've done it. Okay, boss time. Oh, no way. This is so cool. This is the statue from the cinematic. Oh my God, this is where I need to... Oh, I should have had a dash. I still haven't put a dash on my ability bar, goddammit. But yeah, he's taking no damage. Oh, oh, he's taking damage because of the, the item. Noise. Is he coming back? Oh, he's coming back as a demon. Oh man, noise. Okay, I don't, I don't mean to be mean, but I hope there's no phase two on this one. Oh, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Yeah. Yo, nearly one shoning me there. I don't think my ballistas are gonna survive this. I've done a quarter, quarter of his life now. The damage is real. Two deaths and he's 25% done. I foresee a lot of clicking in my future. Third death. Fourth death. Brute forcing my ways through this. Is there a point? Okay, fifth death. Is there a point where I just don't come back? Like where he does where he resets? Cause keep moving. There you go. He's been felled. He's not dead, but something. Ooh, something came out of him. What's that? His heart, his heart, which is his heart was taking no damage. Oh my, he's not taking any damage at all. Oh my God, Herald of Agony isn't on, you freaking idiot. Come on, you need to die now. 
Okay, put, he put his heart back in. You're good to go. I wonder if Rain of Arrows is better on this. Is he so big? Mm, maybe. Let me try Rain of Arrows for a minute. I don't know. It seems pretty good to me. Oh, he's going down again. I'm not dying as many times as I used to for some reason. Is he getting weaker? God, the damage, the damage. My fingers hurt. Finger break. Let's continue with the Rain of Arrows idea. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, maybe when I kill his heart, things will change if for the better for me. Oh, where's his heart? It didn't come out. What's happening? This is exciting. Oh, he's, he's ultimate demon now. <laughs> he just keeps losing a bit of skin. All right. Oh no, he's destroyed the reliquary. Talk to Sin. Okay, so I didn't, it's not a DPS thing. This is the end. And he won. God, what the hell is going on? There is no shame in falling to a god. I'm going back to Lionel's watch, Lion Eye's watch. But we lost. Did we lose? Okay, this is crazy. Wait, I'm back at Lion Eyes Watch. Have things changed? Is this the same one as Act 1? No, we're in Part 2, Act 6 now. Oh my god, what is going on? I don't know, but I'm not taking a single goddamn quest because this will have to wait for the next video. I have to gather my thoughts. I honestly thought I wasn't powerful enough, but it turns out we were meant to lose. That was a great fight. Now we're in this multiverse kind of thing where I'm back at Lion Eyes Watch, but it's step two, part two of the game. I'm really excited to see where we go from here, especially now that I have Frank by my side. Wow. As usual, leave, leave me your tips in the comments of this video. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for dealing with all my quirks. And thank you for showing up every week for another episode in this crazy adventure that is Path of Exile. It's been really fun. I'm really looking forward to Act 6 now. Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to Diablo 4 player tries Path of Exile for the first time. Episode 6. Uh, this time we're going to go through Act 6 hopefully, um, which is a mind twist, mind bender, because this time around we are in part 2, Act 6. And at the end of last episode, I was so surprised to see that we were actually back at Lion's Eye Watch, which that is insane. It's crazy. I'm very excited for the rest of the story and to discover it with you guys. A few things before we start. Uh, I've got three passive point skills here, and I realized that thanks to your comments, there was a lot of people telling me go for spell suppression. That's like important. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I have two refund points. So I'm going to refund this here, which is going to give me five points, and I'm going to go into spell suppression fully. And for my mastery, I'm going to go prevent 3% of suppressed spell damage. So that's going to be really useful for me. Uh, it's going to give me more life recovery from flask, which is cool. And also it's going to make sure that I survive for longer, which we definitely want. Apply points. There we go. Sounds cool. cool. Next on the list, um, quick rundown of my of my abilities. Um, you guys in the comments told me to like look into Scourge Arrow. So in a nutshell, I've got two Scourge Arrows. Um, one is just like my right click. And then we've got my Ballista. Ballista Ballista is now a Scourge Arrow Ballista. And that'll be super useful. I've got myself a Dash. I've got myself Plague Bear, which is a gem I found, which is really fun, which when I activate, I'm absorbing like a bunch of poison. And then when I release it, it just devastates everything everybody in the zone around me. So it's that has been one of my favorite spells for sure. I'm excited for the rest of, of this campaign. Anything else? Oh, yeah. One thing that I've decided to do is have a look at filters. You guys in the comments have told me you have to try filters. It's going to help you out a lot. So let's check it out. The good people in my Discord have told me to check out Filter Blade, which I'm not too sure what it is, but I think it's going to give me one and all filter for all my needs, basically. So let's try it out. OK, so I don't really know what I'm looking at right now. It's quite complicated as it should be. I know there's a lot to do. Uh, oh, it's giving me a really cool preview of the filter, what it does to notable drops, what it does to maps, which a lot of people have told me to check out maps. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, cool. So how do I do this? Save and export. Yes. Let's go with that. Save and export. Oh, I need to log in. Download. Okay, I've got the filter blade. Filter blade filter. So now I go in options, game, item filter. Open my files. Download filter blade. Oh, no, that's not the one. Okay, I think I need to put my filter somewhere else. Give me a second. Five minutes later. Filter blade. There we go. That was easy. Item filter loaded successfully. So you have to put it in the file, which I'm sure I would have read if I just read the small fine print. Okay, I've got a filter on it. I don't know what that means. 
stats. What if I drop an item just to make sure? Okay, let's check it out. I'm just gonna have a look at my stash. Oh, did I mention I purchased some tabs? Uh, okay, drop this. Oh, I can't drop it. Okay, forget that. Let's just play the game and we'll see where we go. So the main quest is the Brine King, search the mud flaps for Nessa and Essence of Umbra, talk to Sin. Sin is a bit lower here, so I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, Sin. Time to get to Axion Prison. So there's two quests here. The Brian King, which is going to be in the mud flaps, which is, I remember it being a bit higher. So let's go check that out. I wonder if the maps will have changed at all, because technically I'm in the same map as Act 1. Oh, don't forget we got Frank. Say hi, Frank. We got our auras on. Let's get started. Okay, what is this? Ballista, Ballista, save me. This guy is not taking any damage, but I am taking a bunch of damage. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Sir. Sir, oh, I can see the filter is doing something. I'm seeing a tomahawk. Do I have, oh, T, 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 T. Aura's activated. I have to remind myself that when I die, everything turns off. Bit of resistance. Yo, what the hell? This is crazy. This guy's doing so much damage. I've just arrived. Give me a chance. What am I missing here? Lightning totems, life regen. Okay, that's a problem. What's with the life regen? Oh my God. Okay, we have a problem here. Do, am I going to have to just run away from this guy? This isn't normal. I was doing fine up to this point. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong. Okay, I'm, I've nearly killed him though, so that's good. Okay, he's dead. No, that wasn't him. Of course it wasn't. God damn it. Okay, you got to get all the buffs going here. All right, come on. Is this guy like poison resist or something? Yeah, I'm just dead. I just die. I just freaking die. Just get the items and then F off, I think at this point. No, but I'm able to kill normal mobs. And this guy? This dog? Okay, I don't understand. Okay, get the better life flask. That's fine. What in the world? Okay, okay, okay. I might have something here. Something's happening. Somehow, he's not damaging me as you... Okay. Can somebody please tell me what the hell just happened? Why did it take so long? What did I do differently? I didn't even have my freaking stuff active. Oh my goodness. Anyway, item filter is working well. If I press Z... No, that's not the one. Alt. What's the button to show all the things? There you go. Chest. So it's only showing me the items that are important to me, I think, at this point in time. This filter, I think. Hey, Nico, come get some stinky stones. I have to press C, right? You guys are always like, press C, press C. Okay, I press C. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so what does this, so the filter, I did read the filter before I did the video, just really quickly. I just wanted to show you guys me applying it, but what I'm seeing here is like blue items. It just shows me the rare currencies, the leveling currencies. It just shows them to me in a, in a better way, in a more understandable way. And then let's see about items. Yeah, it just seems to show me the, the items. Only the items are like quite important and quite good, I think. And it'll have a little star next to the, the really good ones. So I guess I'll pick up a few just for fun. The ones that make sense. Right? I do like that it hides the items that I don't need. That is going to be very helpful. Although I have seen some stuff that isn't also super needed. Oh, Plague Bear is done. I want to show you guys how Plague Bear works in a second. I'm teaching people how to do things here. The student has become the master. No, far from it. So what am I supposed to do here? Find the missing eye first. First, I need to find the missing eye. The gate is locked, but it appears to be missing an eye. I, sh I think I need to put more, more ballistas down. Get a bunch of con mats, consumables, resources, currencies, whatever you want to call them. Super helpful. Press Q, destroy everybody. Q is plague bearer, by the way. So if I say I'm pressing Q, that's what I'm doing. Intelligence club? I don't need intelligence club. Really happy I have my buddy Frank with me here. He's the best. I'm happy I was able to support the devs some, somehow. I'm sure they're, they don't need my money, but I've been playing this game for free, which is quite wild. So absolutely worth something. Considering I've spent $100 on Diablo 4, I didn't purchase any microtransactions, just battle pass. Would you consider the battle pass a microtransaction? Maybe. Okay, what, what's my rotation here? That's what I need to know. Make sure I'm always full of mana. I have to be really careful what I'm doing now. Much more careful than I used to be. Let's continue. See, I am doing some good damage, like, Jesus. I'm just taking all the damage too. Jesus Christ, don't let me die. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is hard. I gotta be much more careful, much more careful. Well, I'm, every time I die, I lose XP. That's something you guys taught me, amongst everything else you taught me. Got a wand, no thanks, don't need the wand. Still looking for that missing eye. These guys are not joking, like not at all. Wow, okay, wow. Oh, okay, I got some stuff. Some stuff has dropped. Eye of Conquest, that's the eye. Uh, a flask, Chaos Resistance could be helpful. And some mats, I do like. The filter is pretty good so far. And I have this new bow, Sniper Bow. Is it better than what I have right now? No, I could Im improve it though. Mm, okay, we'll have to think about it. Uh, I kind of want to go see Nessa though. Let's go check on Nessa. He did this to me. This is a mermaid? Are you a mermaid? Help me. 
Okay, I want to help you. Jesus, you seem in distress. By the way, I have um, Steel Skin, right? Uh, steel Skin activates when I take damage, although it hasn't really helped so far, but Steel Skin has like a on damage gem on it. So that means that it should activate when I take damage because I'm not really good at like kind of pressing the buttons at the right time. So I, w I, w I thought, why not? You know, let it do it for me. Let the game do it for me. And I need to keep an eye on that. Oh, Stinklash the Sin Lord. Okay, killed him. Defeat Tukohama. That's kind of cool. It's got like a Hawaiian vibe to it. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, think, think. Use the potions. Use the speed potions. Use the Ballista Ballista. No more Rain of Arrows, but that's okay because my Scourge Arrow or whatever I have is pretty good. I'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Plague Bear. Plague Bear. Come on. Activate it. Oh my god. Yeah, my life is gone too. What is all the- Okay, kill the totems so that I can kill him, right? I've played video games before. These totems are not taking any damage. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, crap. I'm running out of potions. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm running out of mana. Use the potion. Use the potion. Okay, one more to go. One more to go. Come on, out of mana. Come on, potions, let's go. I really need my mana potion right now. Okay, I destroyed it. Okay, okay. Think, 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 think. Ballista, ballista. All your arrows. All your arrows. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Mana potion. Ballista, ballista. Come on, you're nearly there. Oh my god, I did it. Oh! Kill a god? I just got an achievement. Kill a god. Oh my god. The Pantheon help page is unlocked. Woo! Just let me, let me breathe, breathe for a second. A mace? I don't need a mace. I don't need any of this. Hey, Sin, how's it going? Cool, so you're gonna make me powerful? What is this? What is this? What is this? I've seen this piece of artwork, actually, while looking for thumbnail artwork, but I don't remember this. Soul of Tukohama, Minor God. 3% additional physical damage reduction per second you've been stationary. I can do that. Did I activate it? Let's have a look. Use this panel, panel to switch God powers. You may only have one major God and one minor God power. Okay. Yeah, sick. Woohoo. I did it. I did the thing. Is my path as an exile to kill these gods? Is that the idea? That could be fun. Do enjoy fighting gods. These guys are taking so much more damage than the other guys I was killing. They're still destroying me, but whatever. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You know, earlier on when I kept dying, you know what was really scary to me? Wasn't the idea that I wasn't going to be able to continue continue per se it was more the idea that i had no idea I'm saying idea a lot here but i had no idea how i would change my build or change my gear to be able to tackle stronger opponents like i don't really know how to optimize all this right now and you know me i'm not really fond of i will look at a build if i have to if if like i hit a wall i, I guess i'll have to but i'm trying to avoid that and from reading your comments guys i i remember reading that like you need these orbs of regret to like completely respec and because I don't have them I was thinking I'm gonna have to create a new character and that would make me sad but I am getting through this I wonder if there's a way for me to create a filter that takes in consideration my build and who's like I'm only gonna show you stuff that can help your build that would be sick and my build so far is actually what I would consider a YouTube comments build <laughs> Because <laughs> as much as I've made my own decisions, I've also like the more time has gone by, the more I've kind of looked at what you guys do or what you guys have told me to do. Sorry. And I've just gone with that, which has led me to some very interesting decisions, which also makes me think that I'm just going to be really careful with the ability points I have because I am not leveling up every three seconds at the at the moment. That's not what's going on. Leveling has taken a lot longer than it used to. Did I forget something? I saw an icon on the map. What is that? Do I want any of this? Satin gloves? Why, why do I want this? The satin gloves seem to be something I really need to look into, so. Hey, better mana flask. Wait, oh, I need to identify it. Oh, I need to identify the both of them. Okay, sure. Um, I don't need this. Satin gloves. Why is it? Why are these satin gloves special? They're just not. <laughs> why? Why did I stop for these? What the hell? What? Why do they have all that effects and everything? Is it because the item level is good or... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, wait, I have no idea. All right, okay, I don't know then. That's the actual answer. I don't know. I might need to read this a bit more into this filter that I've applied. Just a second. This item is important because this item I can sell for a one for one chromatic orb. Eh, okay, this filter is making a lot of sense. So you want to identify it and then you want to sell it basically. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, this is a cool bow. This is a really cool bow. This might be the coolest bow. Should I check it out? Should I use it? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Always nice to put something on that changes the way I look. Cool. Got a new bow. Let's keep going. 
Okay, the lower prison. Here we go. Should I go back and sell some stuff? Yeah, probably. Let's go do that. Okay, okay. Time to spend some resource. I think this is what we're doing now. Sell a couple items. And then we're going to spend some resource to reforge this bow to make it better than the bow I have now. So I'm upgrading this weapon. I've already upgraded five times. I didn't know I could do that. It's pretty good. The maximum value you can do is plus 20%, but I'm going to keep that resource. Sorry, what I'm really looking for is whatever I could use to change the sockets. Where is that? Oh, reforges the number of sockets on item. Okay, I'll take the sockets out. Is it going to reforge the links too? Okay, no, that's not good. Um, Show me something that links them. How do I do that? Okay, let's be honest. This gem not connecting is not going to work. So I'm just going to attach all the gems. Go back to that one for now. I, I really want to use that one, but I just can't because the gems are not connected. I will improve this one just a bit though. Plus 5%. Sure, why not? It's completed. Let's keep going. So I know I'm supposed to go to that tower, but I will I will go and do the ascendancy because I know, thanks to you guys, it's a, there's a lot of value there. So let me go do that. Okay, here we go. Found it. Oh, gee whiz. I'm getting really scared when I see packs of mobs now. I'm like, all right, this is not good. Chaos resistant. Damn. I got him. I got him. That was tough. Back I go to the exit, to the next stage. I'm really afraid of the boss of this act. That's like my biggest fear here. Okay. These guys are scary. Life cannot be leech, temporal shield or whatever. These guys are so badass. Okay, out of mana. Really there. I'm standing still because I think 6% increased uh, resistance when I'm standing still. And he, his DP DPS isn't that crazy. I get an axe for it. Great. Oh, uh, what is the point of all this? What is the point of me having these things if I have to go back every three seconds to get them sold? What's this icon? What is this? Whoa, am I, is my soul getting sucked into that? Oh my god. Extra chaos damage. Yeah, that's why I'm destroying him right now of all this chaos damage I got going on. Okay, shall I just go through it? Oh, it's like a mirror. Look, it's me on the other side. I'll just go through it. What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> don't know what's going on. Okay, nobody's dropping anything. I don't like that. Drop more items, please. Fog people. Was I supposed to do that? Was that part of the quest or did I mess myself up here? Oh, large cluster jewel. What is that? Also, I don't- they, it made a little sound when it went down. Adds 11 passive skills. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Why is there a counter? Why is there a counter? Oh, I'm back to normal. Did something happen? Did I miss something? Is there any way to get more tabs in your inventory? Because I'm doing a lot of back and forths here. So, what is this orb here? Large cluster jewel. Where does that go? Go here? 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 No. Here? No. Place- oh, place into an allocated large jewel socket on the passive skill tree. Adds 11 passive skills. Add- two added passive skills are jewel sockets. Wait a second. So if I was to change this one here, although is there any, are there any others that I have? No, I don't think so. So if I was to change this one here, this is a socket. I'm happy you, you can just put them in and out yourself. Oh, I can't put it in there. Oh, because it's a, like a, just a normal socket. I have to find the large sockets wherever that lives. Basic socket. Mm, no, I don't see anything. Oh, 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 I was told control F. Hey, there we go. I was told I could search. So large, let's have a look for large. Yeah, there you go. Large jewel socket. There's one right there and there's one here. Okay. Which one's the closest, I guess. So let me let me get this right. What if I get if I just type health? No. Life, I think it's called. Oh, there we go. Eh, that's kind of cool. I'm done with flask masteries. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. The more you know. Let's continue. Whoa, this guy dropped so much stuff. I, I've, I think less than two minutes ago, I was out there selling stuff, so. Back to the city I go. Well, there might be something here for my gloves. Oh, this might be a good one. Yeah. Though I'm going to lose the plus 15% increased movement speed, which is really not cool. Yeah, I don't need any of the other things. Better sell them. How do I buy these scrolls of wisdom? Can I? No, you can't. So green items in the filter mean good item for agility person, which is me. I'm an agility person. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll change my quiver. Why not? And red means good item for fighty person. This is how I understand things in my head. Oh, sir. What the hell is that? Ceremonial forgotten oubliette. That's too scary for me, I'm afraid. Let me know in the comments if I should do those or if I'm okay just rushing past them. I don't rush past many things, to be fair. I usually like try and kill everything. But those things, they scare me. I wonder if there's a way to make this aura bigger, my plague bearer aura. 
Oh, Orb of the Storm. Nice. Oh, what's this? What's this? Unearthed Remnants. Monster have a 100% chance to avoid being frozen, ignited, shocked. But I've got two of them. What? I've got three of them. What is What is this? Okay, Um. let's try one of them. Okay, let's try this one. Unearthed Remnant. How does this work? Detonator. Press this button or V to place an explosive. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh no! Otherwise I would have done- I would have put him all everywhere else. I can do this again, right? No, I want to do these guys. No! <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. I got nothing for that. Oh man, I'm pissed off. I wish I could have done that again. Ah, uh, I wanted to read, but I was getting attacked. What do you want me to do? I'm on the rooftop. Oh, this feels like a boss. It feels like a boss. Kill Chevron and Brutus. Ballista, Ballista, Ballista. How many Ballistas can I have at a time? Three. Okay. Life is looking okay. If I can't kill Brutus, I will just try and go craft some stuff, put some passive points in and try again. So far, it's not looking great. Can I kill her? No, I need to kill Brutus first. I'm putting the ballistas separately from each other so that when he does his wave of attacks, what is she doing? Sorry, so that when she does her waves of attacks, we can evade them. Okay, so I think I killed him. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I think I killed him. So now onto the books and onto her. Chevron. Chevron. Die and be reborn. I'd rather not. Oh, Brutus is chilling out here. You know what that means. Phase one, phase two, phase three. Where's her life bar? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no way. Are they one now? Or am I just fighting Brutus again? Oh, Brutus with more damage than ever. Okay, you gotta be careful now. You gotta be careful now. Yeah, that's okay. I can keep going fast. I've got a dash. This is super doable. I haven't died once. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself so far. Obviously, I'm, I've just jinxed it. Take your time. Take your time. One two, three ballistas. My ballistas have become clutch for this build. Absolutely clutch. I can do this forever. Is that it? Okay. I think that was supposed to be harder than it was. Chevron's Manifesto. So we're helping this guy, Sin. Sin is a cool name. Sin, did we just get a new god power? No, that was not a god. Okay, figures. What now? Talk to Tar Clay for your reward. Wait, there is an exit, right? Yes. So I came from Chevron's tower. Now I need to go to the cha chambers. Prisoner's Gate. Travel through Prisoner's Gate to the ship, ship's graveyard. That's where I need to go. I will go to the town real quick. Oh, I got a mace. I can't use it. Cool. Okay, let me go back to freaking Mind's Eyes Watch, please. Thank you. Keep selling, keep selling. Who else do I get to talk to? Bestel. I need to sell things. Yep, yep, sell that. I'm running out of, of Scroll of Wisdom. I don't think I'm going to be able to... He doesn't sell them. Does anybody else sell anything? Yes. Ooh, ooh. Masks, but I already have a purple, amazing orange mask. I don't need something new. This, my noble tricorn. And here, this looks a lot better. Maybe I should check this out, actually. Should I? Should I not? I don't know. This just feels better. And it looks so cool. I mean, it's all relative, to be fair. I will keep it in my stash, and I will let the comments tell me if I'm supposed to wear it or not. You guys know better than I do, anyway. Let me go back to, like, some of the Act 1, or Act 6, sorry, um, encampments, and see if I can find anyone who can sell me, who can sell me some, um, scrolls of identification. I got portal scrolls, but not the other ones. Maybe Act 1? Nope. Nope. Okay, they don't, nobody sells these portal scrolls. I must be able to create them in some way. It's really problematic because I currently don't have any um, Girls of Wisdom. Okay, let me have a look at the help panel. The help panel doesn't seem to have anything about these. <laughs> I say that, I have barely looked, but I, I need a search filter on this one. There is a lot of things that I need to look into. Uh, okay, I'm going to do these secondary quests first. Let's go. Uh, wait, first I need to sell some items, but I'm going to sell them without having identified them. Oh, I don't like that. That's the only thing I can do. Okay, here we go. Scroll of Wisdom, there we go. Oh, oh. Look at this. I know this. It's the the event. Actually, this is the, the event that excites me the most for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I've done a lot of seasonal stuff that made it into the final game, of course, but two scroll of wisdoms. So let's go. Okay, let me clear the road a bit, and then we'll, we'll try some stuff. So I have four explosives to place, and you get expedition stuff for it, okay? I'm needing items, like really good items, so let me have a look at these and see. Artifacts? That could be helpful. Oh, there's one here. Monsters have 30% increased attack speed, cast speed, but you get more currency. Yeah, sure, why not? You guys ready? Let me put some ballistas down. Detonate. Oh, this is this is so fun. What? Yeah, bring it on, guys. <laughs> I just ran through them. Oh, I can haggle for items. We got some eye jewels, and he only takes like black scythe artifacts, which I'm gonna guess comes from these excavated chests. 
So I can haggle with some lesser artifact, but he needs quite a bit. So loved it. That's a really good little mechanic. Come on, Frank. Let's get out of here. Whoa, this guy dropped a soul for flask. You can get epic flasks? Like orange flasks? 4% increased damage. Create concentrated, concentrate, concentrated ground on use. Okay, let's check it out. That's fun. Oh, more stuff. 42% increased charge recovery. Yeah, fun. Whoa. Where does that fit though? Okay, I'll change the armor one for a second, although the armor one's really good, so. Oh, I've got another flask here, which would be very good to get. Gaining immunity to blessing. I forget they have effects. I really do. Oh, this is a good bow. This is a very good bow. This is a very, very, very good bow. I should probably look into this bow. Can I use it now? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's check it out. Oh, this red maim support's gonna not survive. Okay, um, decursive bow. Nice. So it's got increased physical damage, which I'm, I don't care that much about, but it does grant four life per enemy hit, and I do hit a lot of people. Anyway. The manuscript, got it. Time to go home. Oh, cool, I get a new belt. This belt is old. Let's see what we can get. What about this cool belt? This, the belt I have now gives me more life. It, it does give me more flash charges, recharge or whatever. I should probably, probably take it. Get all my currencies in, get my gems back in. What about these, these jewels? Do I have a jewel? No, oh, I don't have a jewel tab, unfortunately. Oh, hi, you guys. I didn't realize I had all these things. Probably need to sell them all. Flasks, yeah, I wanna try this orange flask, looks fun. Sell everything else. There you go. All right, let's move on. You know what? Because of this new filter, I'm actually excited when items drop. I didn't realize, but that's really good. It's a really good improvement. So I need to travel through here, wherever I am, to defeat Aberath. Let's go. The Western Forest. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Let me check on my map real quick. No. No, I need to destroy the other one first. Do I? Let me get go in here first to check. Yeah, no, I've skipped a part. Go to the prisoner's gate first. I'm a bit scared because I've replaced my flask that gives me armor for like a, a flask that gives me extra damage. I wonder if that counts for my chaos damage though. Does it? 4% increased damage. Yeah, I mean, I surely. All damage counts, right? That's level 53. We're definitely slowing down on the on the leveling side of things. Oh, this looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Well, no. <laughs> so, I thought it was one. Oh, Valet of the Fire Drinker. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Quick check. Yeah. Oh, dope ass music. Aberath, dope ass boss, let's go. He's taking no damage. No damage whatsoever. Where's he gone? And this is sick. Where is he gone? Do I need to continue? I think so, the, the way opened. The Cloven Pass. It's kind of sick that there's like multi-layered bosses. I like that. Like the idea that it stops now, you need to like continue a bit. I mean, I'm sure on the six, sixth time is annoying. Oh, is that the, is he sending me all these meteorites? Is he trying to kill me? Okay, I need to get going then. Valley of the Soul Drinker once again. Okay, and he's half life. Okay, cool, cool, all right. Okay, be careful with the life, be careful with the life. He's taking damage, he's taking damage. I'm doing damage. It's so weird that a dog at the beginning of this act nearly decimated me like 10, 10 times, 20 times. But two bosses in a row now that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna manage to kill in one life. Insane. There we go. Is this a minor god? Souls were hard enough to come by without that parched old goat. Yes, yes, nice. So now I can get another point. 60% less duration of ignite. That's a bit meh, sorry to say. Not much to it. Well, nice to see you, Sin. Now I need to go and defeat. Oh, talk to Bestel for a reward. Where is Bestel? Oh, he's back at the watch, of course. Hey, bud, I killed the goat. Yeah, passive skill point. Love it. I don't have to sell anything. Nice, quest completed. Now what? Oh, the puppet mistress. Yeah, let's freaking do it. Let's go. I actually really need to have a look at my passive skill points now. Let's have a look. What can I do? I've got five points. What can I do? Spell suppression, that might be good. I already have a bit of it, but I could get more. It's funny how some of these skills are would change the entire game. Like this aura skill, for example. Poof. Oh, chaos. Okay, they, that's what I need, chaos mastery. Because I do chaos damage, you guys told me in the in the comments. How do I get there fast? <laughs> what, what about what I said about maybe getting some life? How about that? Let me just check for life, maybe that might be a better idea. Oh, I need to take some points out of this. This is useless. Let me refund a few passive points here. Mm, but maybe it's not useless. Crystal skin looks like a good thing right now. Yeah, I'll take that one for sure. That's an easy one to take. So if I come over here, what's over here? It's kind of like when we start mixing stuff up, right? We can get some more flask. But it's true that the flask does improve my maximum life in terms of percentage, which could be really useful. There you go. Look at all that maximum life over here. I need to get to here. Look at all this maximum life. That's what I need. Okay, okay, okay. How do I get there? One, two, three, 
four. Okay, I've made it here with a bit of dexterity. I'm sure that was useful, right? Right? Oh man, so scary. <laughs> All right, done. Continuing with the main quest. I haven't really looked at my gems also. I have one green one. I have two green ones and a red. I'm gonna need to do another session of just gems. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my God. I just got instantly killed. I have to find the puppet mistress, which I'm sure is gonna be a really fun fight considering the name. Take that, seems important. So the filter tells me, I'll bow to the filter. Oh yeah, it's one of those mirror events. I have no idea what that means. Madness approaches. Yeah, bring it on, man. What is going on? Let me through, let me through. This guy is so powerful. Whoa, he just dropped so much stuff. What a cool event. The map is full of events. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that was. Rogue marker. Create a portal to the Rogue Harbor from a town or hideout. Okay. And this is a contract. What is... What? It's so funny how it keeps... You know, you mostly think that you've kind of figured it all out or that you've done most of the content. You're like, wow, that must have been the big piece of content. And then you just go one level deeper, baby. And there's more. And there's more. And there's more. I mean, is Path of Exile 2 just going to be like game of the year? 2024? Because I mean... Considering the level of detail and stuff to do here, if they do just 25% of any of, of all of this with better graphics potentially, then woof. As soon as we got these lightning totems on the board, I die so fast. No, there you go, dead again. I need, yep, yeah, and again, and I resurrected a town like an absolute freaking idiot. God damn it. Oh my God, I gotta walk the whole way back. Okay, okay, okay I can do this. The puppeteer should be somewhere around here. This guy's life is not going down. Come on. Oh my God, I nearly died. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> my life, oh my gosh, that was really close. Oof. This game keeps you on edge, let me tell you. Like, I'm gonna need to take a break from taking a break and playing video games. <laughs> Cause this is so intense. Come on, come on. Yes, got him. He was very powerful. And we've unlocked a new recipe, awesome. Defeat the puppet mistress, made it. All right, here we go. Hello, puppet mistress, what's going on? Oh. No, no, I don't want to go down there, do I? Yes. Got some cool mechanics here to play around with. Be careful of the poison. Although I'm made of, I'm made for poison, baby. It is, this is what I live for. Oh, another nest. Okay, I got to clear the nests first. What a cool mechanic. And I mean that, truly. It is a cool mechanic. Okay, go back in the middle. No, there must be another one here somewhere. It's funny how I can, they don't seem to have chaos resistance, these guys. Although the boss will probably have a lot. Whoa! Life just yo-yoed a bit there. A bit more here. I can do this. I can do this slowly but surely. Come on. What's going on? What am I trying to say? Oh, there she is. This is not what I expected when I thought puppet mistress. You know what I'm saying? Is she another one of the gods? That would be so sick. More? Yeah, more. Still haven't died once, baby. No lightning damage means I live. <laughs> That's the truth. And now you die. That's true. Aw. I, I was expecting more. <laughs> yeah, she was a god. He's sucking her up. Doesn't sound right. What do I get? Life flask gain three charge every three seconds if you haven't used a life flask recently. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. That sounds fun. Mission complete. All right, let's go back home. No, I say no, because I am going to go and do this other quest, which is here, which I died to the other time. It's basically saving Nessa because she's a, a mermaid now and I need to go save her. He's doing lightning. I don't like it. Level 55. This bow is maybe the best bow I've found so far, but it still does less damage than what I have right now. Although it does extra elemental damage potentially. Let me equip it and see if there's any difference. Oh, it's not connected though. Oh no. Um, Scourge arrow with Mirage Archer. Seems like the way to do it. I'm gonna have to redo all these anyway. Okay, let's do it this way for now. I'll get there. I'll, I'll get to where I need to be eventually. Does it support dash? It doesn't support dash. Okay, not good. Okay, just put it to the side for now. Then hope will be oh my god, Please. Nessa, what happened Take to you? Okay, let's see if I can save Nessa. I'm at the beacon and I'm supposed to use the black flag to summon the black crest. Let's check it out. This must be it. Crafting recipe. Oh, no, maybe not. Wait, where's the quest? There it is. Refuel the beacon. Okay. I feel like the map just unzoomed for me. Like the UI just unzoomed. Is it because it's a specific part of the map? Potentially, potentially. Oh, is there another one? Okay. All right, that was the first one then. First beacon, second beacon. There we go. That's the second one. Time to light the beacon, baby. Let's go. 
What now? Oh, throw the black flag into the flames. Okay. So do I have to do that manually? No, 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 no. Talk to Whalem Roth at the beacon. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's the guy who transformed Nessa into a half fish, half woman, right? I'm going to the Brian King's Reef. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to take a break here and come back in the morning because it's late and I've been playing forever. This is probably the longest act I've played so far. Okay. Let's pause it here. Two days later. Okay. I'm back after actually two days of not playing Path of Exile because life caught up with me. So I remember I need to go kill the Brian King, right? Let's go check that out. I remember you transformed someone I like into a sea creature. So it's time for vengeance. Oh, here we go. The Brian King's throne. There's Nessa. So courageous. Such a fine example of womanhood. I simply knew you wouldn't disappoint me. No way. The twist has been twisted. I thought we were friends. I shall always treasure your company. Whoa, what? What the hell? This is crazy. Oh man, I was not expecting this. That is so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Taking a lot of damage. Slowly but surely, I can do this. What's going on? What? Oh my god. <laughs> He's in there on her back in her Oh my I don't know. She's in somewhere around him. Oh, I'm never eating crab again. What? Oh, didn't even get a chance. Okay, first death. First death. Oh. Run, run, run. Ballista, ballista, ballista. I didn't realize I could put down three ballistas. She's there again. Oh, with the water and everything. Unreal. So cool. Lots of damage here. Lots of damage. Taken, by the way, not given. I don't feel like I'm damaging nothing here. Come on. All right, he's taking damage. Maybe just two deaths could be what I'm looking at right now. Run away, run away. I've got to figure out a better way to use my dash because my fingers are over the numbers. So at the top of my keyboard, right? One, two, three, four, just because of those health potions, right? But I also have my dash on W and I'm bringing my finger down to W gets confusing because I always want to have fingers on one and two. Anyway, why am I saying that? I don't know. Focus on killing the crab. Is he a god? Is he a demigod? Oh, done. Killed you and I got achievements to Solagoth. So yeah, he was he was a major god. Wow. Hey, hey, Wylem, that's crazy, right? Sail to the bridge encampment, please. Thank you. Wow, that was insane. I love that. I was not expecting that at all. Wait, is this Act Seven? Oh, it's this is Act Seven. Okay, let's go back and give a few quests in because Act Seven is next video. This one has been very long already. I'm not gonna take any quests. I'm just gonna go straight into Act Six. This is funny actually because Act Seven is not happening where I thought it would. I've never been here, have I? Oh yeah, I have. Okay, I have been here. Okay, all right, all right. Just take it, take it easy, take it easy. Overwhelmed with things right now. Okay, plenty to give in. There you go. Sell this, sell this. Get all the resources. Can I have my passive point now? Hello, sir. sir Oh no, don't tell me. I think what happened just happened. Oh, reward. There we go. Oh, I got so scared. Yeah, give me my passive point. Thank you very much. Ooh, volatile dead. I can explode things. I can explode corpses. Lovely. Um, also, she's telling me to use a rogue marker to open a portal. Wow. Where are we going now? What is this? Wait a second. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, I think this video has been long enough. I think I'm, I'm just looking at all these people and all these quests. I will get to this, but not this video. This video is long enough. Although I am very intrigued. Something to look at during act seven. Well, I think this is my new favorite act, actually. It was definitely the longest act. Um, I don't really have any pros and cons. I just had a great time all around. Um, what an experience this has been. I'm still struggling a bit with what items to pick up. That's for sure. But I think I'm getting there slowly but surely. So I guess my roundabout conclusion is that this is still super fun. I'm having a great time. I'm not bored. I'm excited and I can't wait for act seven. I think I'm, I'm feeling super hyped because it ended on that crab fight. That was fun. Oh, look at these doggies. <laughs> Cutie pies. Stay away, Frank. Stay away. All right. On that note, <laughs> we'll see you all in Act 7. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll have better gear in Act 7 or better looking gear on Act 7. Don't make me buy cosmetics, please. GGG, please. All right. Um, thanks so much, everybody. And we'll see you in the next video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. This is episode seven, if you can believe it. So we're going to be doing act seven today, and I have a few hopes for this uh, act. I hope we can get some new gear to make me look a bit cooler because when I'm standing next to this dude over here, I feel a little inadequate. Everybody say hi to Frank. Frank. There you go. Wait, wait a second. There we go. Let's put him in his house. And come on out, Frank. Say hello to everybody. Yeah. 
Hi guys. Um, so let's have a quick chat over what I've done since. So I've been playing, before recording, I played for about 30 minutes and I've been looking at my gems and I've basically added a few things based on Lily because Lily is a seller, a vendor that I unlocked last act and she's got all the gems, it seems, which has been really fun. And I've been looking at what I can add to my setup here to improve. So the one of the few things I've done is I've bought a few support gems. So second wind support to go with my uh, dash. So my dash is on a lower cooldown and also a chance to poison support on a spell, which I'm really looking forward to trying, which is Volatile Dead, which explodes corpse is, corpses, which is great because I, I played Necromancer on Diablo 4, but I play it anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to explode some corpses. On top of that, I've done one thing you guys in the comments have been telling me is to put steel skin on my left click. So hopefully I'll be using it a lot more. And before we get started, let's put a few points in here. So so I could go northeast to suppress, I'm saying northeast, top right to like suppress some more spell damage or I could just do it here. And that would also increase my evasion reading, which I guess is good. What's over here? Ooh, increase life. That might be a good shout. I already have a life mastery, but Path of the Warrior, that doesn't seem adequate. Constitution, yeah, I feel like Constitution might be a good shout because I've seen some comments saying like, I can't believe he's got this much health and he's still surviving. So why don't I go that way? And I can get evasion rating here. So let's do one, two. Yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll do the strength, but only because I want to get to these increased life. If I can put like three points here and three points here, that's like 30% life increase. So let's go for that. Hopefully my DPS won't suffer too much from me not putting points in there. Okay, so I finished these quests. Now it's on to act seven. Let's go. The bridge encampment. Never been here before. Oh, I know you. Ah, yes, you do seem to have a the relic. Yep, I'll do it. Meet Alva at the causeway. Sounds good. Okay, we've got our quests. Oh, talk to Sin. Where is Sin? Where are you at, man? Oh, he's down here. You know who Sin reminds me of? I don't know if you guys have watched The Sandman, the show on Netflix, which was also a comic book. He reminds me of one of these characters from that series. Right, the Pantheon. I'm remembering things now. Yes, yes. Oh man, I forgot how cool this this got after Act 6. Act 1 to 5 is fun, but Act 6 was like something else. All right, let's have a look at our quests here. So we have a few here that we don't know where to go to. Uh, oh no, I need to kill Maligaro so I can harvest his soul. Not a problem, can do that. Silver Locket and more stuff. All right, let's get this show on the road, guys. Oh, big boys. Oh, okay, I see. I'm using seal skin like a lot. Orb of change, I'll take that. Let's zoom out a bit. You guys also told me to channel as much as I can my Scourge arrow rather than pressing it nonstop, right? So that's what I'll do. Okay, now let's see. There's a few things I want to try. So I also have Plague Bearer. Never forget Plague Bearer, it's dope. Just get, do so much damage with Plague there. Love it. Yeah, lots of stuff going on here. Lovely. Will I pick up everything? Not sure. I really need to explode some corpses. Let's see. How does it work? There's, there's some corpses over here. Let's try it out. So if I press R. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a proper magic spell. Oh, dirty lockbox. Let's, let's check that one out. I wonder how long Act 7 is going to be because Act 6 was long. Mana, mana, mana. Oh, yeah. Anar is here. Let's capture some beasts, my dude. DPS is looking very good. Whoa, jeweler's orbs. Nice. Okay, we're gonna need some ballistas up in here. And I can have three. Jesus Christ. I'm still getting DPS to shit. Come on. All right, there we go. You've been captured, which means I'm gonna go back to the bestiary later on and probably fight him again. Oh, I forgot, I got Defiance Banner. Right, so Defiance Banner was a red gem. I had some red slots and I was looking for stuff that I could potentially put down. And what I figured out was like, okay, maybe just Defiance Banner sounds like a really good gem. So let's try it out. So it should it's a boost, basically. It's like a, an aura. Let's try it out. Oh, blue item, silver coin. I'll take it. Casting once, taunt enemies, yeah. Yeah, enemies taunted, deal. So wait a second, I have it active or I place it. Oh, interesting. Okay, casting once reserves mana to carry a banner, which increases the armor and evasion of nearby allies. That's including me, right? Yeah, and reduce, that's why I read and I was like, yeah, cool, I need, I need to survive. And reduces the critical high chance of enemy. Yeah, cool, let's just do that. Increased armor and evasion, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. Okay, we found the silver locket, we're gonna have to deliver that. Let's do that. And maybe I'm just gonna go craft some movement speed on, on this bloody boots, you know? Carve my own path. Oh my god, this is one of them where your guys are going to be screaming at me to pick a certain flask and I'm just going to not get it. Ooh, increased damage. Armor, global critical strike chance. Should I go for the critical strike? Just kidding. I'll go for the evasion rating. 
Yay. I did good, right? Right, right, guys. Okay, heists. How does this work? No idea. Oh, put it in the thing and then click on the thing. Oh, this is a heist locker. What about my rogue markers? Oh, yeah, I can put them here. Actually, I'm going to... Ooh, bunker blueprint. Am I deleting things here? Because... Oh, no, this is just like a place to put my stuff. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to... Let's create a portal and go to see these guys. See what they're all about. Oh, there's a million quests. If this is not part of... Act seven, I don't know if I should be doing them. Okay, I can purchase jobs from this guy. I can sell items from this person. Prepare heist. <laughs> I'm excited, but also terrified. Should I try a heist? Requires engineering, why not? Okay, I'll try a heist. Is it like GTA? <laughs> Prepare a heist. Hello, I would like to prepare this heist. Oh, the contract level is too low. Completing this contract will not grow. Oh, okay. Is there a better contract? 50? Okay, let's try 50. Mm, no, but it is going to give my team lockpicking level one and I can assign someone to this. I have signed the contract. <laughs> What's going on? I'm excited. Break into the facility, steal the urn without setting off the alarm. That's never happening. I am the noisiest archer that's ever lived. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So I can get items, but they're locked. I need to get away with them. All right, let's give, let's give it a try. Secure locker. Oh my God, the alert level is going up. Am I either I'm going too fast or I'm going too slow? Ooh, boots. Purple boots. Okay, okay, I know what this is. This is a does do everything as fast as you can. Okay, ballista, ballista, come on. Begin the lock picking. Oh, this is great. This is insane. So alert level is pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna open all the things. Oh, alert level just went up. Where's the exit? I, let me just get to the exit. Chaos orb, chromatic orb, damn. Orb of chance. Yeah, so you gotta kill them quickly. Okay, blunt arrow quiver, orb refusing. Yes, quivers, love me some quivers. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Well, oh, wait a second, I'm supposed to steal this. This is not even the exit. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, contraband. Steal the urn without setting off the alarm. Escape the facility. Oh my God, this is so cool. How am I supposed to do this? I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, 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 I can do this, I can do this. Oh my God, they're like preparing for us on the other side of this wall. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Let's go, boys. Oh, this is insane. I apologize in advance if I'm not picking up the stuff you want me to pick up. I am just hyped up right now on adrenaline. Oh, they're waiting for us there too, what? You know what I love about this? It's such a narrative event. Amulet, I'll take it. Come on. Plague. I pressed on plague. God damn it. Plague. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Oh my god, we did it. That was so fun. That was so fun. Scroll of wisdom on this one. And I got some boost. 10% increased movement speed. Let's go. Oh, that was so much fun. I would do more if I didn't have to get this video out of the way. Not out of the way, but otherwise my editor's just gonna <laughs> scream at me because I'm giving him six hours of footage. Reveal blueprint details. I've got blueprints. They're in my stash, I think. Oh my god. You know, it just goes deeper and deeper, my guys. Reveal room. Extraction point. Wing. Yeah, I'll reveal this room. Can I do that? No, don't. Keep. Okay, okay. Uh, I must be missing something. All right, that's okay. We'll pause it for now. I had a taste of it and I like it. I don't like it. I love it. Got some so she can make things to improve the people I take on my heists. Yeah, I can give them stuff. Jeez, this is so cool. This is so cool. Why have I never heard of all this before? I feel like, am I living in a bubble or something? Let's have a look at the planning room for a second. Ooh, planning table. Right, right. Confirm plans, no. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to find who I can exchange these things for. Actually, no, you know what? I'll just do the contract. Do the contract. It's, it's too fun not to do it. Sorry. Contract done. Sell the urn to Faustus to get myself some coin. Cool. I did complete my first contract. Thank you. Time for me to go back to whatever the hell I was doing before this, um, which was not as fun. <laughs> okay, fell shrine crypt to kill Maligaros, which is, I hope, I hope uh, another boss, another god of some sort. Every video should now start with one hour of admin because that's the reality of the game, really. There's so, so much admin to do. Or maybe it's just because I'm not following a guide. Okay, the crypt, here we go. Ooh, this is also a place to solve the trial of ascendancy, which I definitely will do. Trial of Ascendancy. Oh, container of sins. Oh, I found a map. And okay, now I need to get to the trial of sins, apparently. But first, I want to do my trial of ascendancy thing. You guys told me how important they were. Can't skip them. Found you. There you go. Trial of, of Ascendancy coming up. And we're done. And we got a crafting recipe. Great. So now that that's done, where do I go? Oh, I need to go 
the complete other way. And I also need to go talk to Helena, which I will do now. Oh, this bow is pretty amazing. Gain one mana per enemy killed. Well, 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 you have my attention. I'm going to sell these other two anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the base. Okay, um, is there any way I can improve? Improve my boots. I basically need the same setup that I have here, please. That's that's what I would really like. So the way to do that, first of all, let's put all these currencies back in here. That's the way to do it. All right, all right, okay. Reforges the number of sockets on an item. Yes, yes, one more. Yes! Okay, I only have one of these reforges the links. So first of all, let's reforge the colors. No, 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 no. No, yeah, kind of. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. The RNG gods shall favor us. Okay, this is where it could it make or bust. Reforge the link between sockets. So, unfortunately, I don't have any space for my banner anymore. So, Divine's banner has to go. Yeah, sorry, but Steel Skin doesn't. So, what else can I put to support Steel Skin? That's the real question. And I am pissed off about Defiance banner, but it is what it is. Maybe I can just change the stun support, put Defiance banner, call it a day. It's not bad. Okay, I need two greens that can support my Steel Skin. Maybe I can just make my steel skin insanely good, right? That's that's a good shout. Gems. I need uh, green gems. Okay, nothing there, so I better go back to Lion's Eye. I need two gems that can support steel skin. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna have to re-roll the colors. Oh man, that sucks. Back to currency. Reforges the color. It's it's my only chance. It's my, it's the only thing I can do. Uh, not quite. I need red. Nah, red. No red. No. Okay, I'm f I'm effed. Yeah, cool. Spent all that money for nothing. Awesome. Let's sell some stuff. Am I selling this? That's the real question. No, I think I'm gonna use it somehow. Volatile dead just didn't work out for me. So what I'm gonna do is unequipped, put it on here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting Scourge Arrow, putting Scourge Arrow on it. Volatile dead did not work, was never gonna work. Not for me. Chance to poison, I mean, I'll just keep it in on the side and I will sell the other bow for seven jeweler's orbs, pretty good. What green support can I use here that would go with my Scourge Arrow? Supported skills deal 30% more damage with ailments. Wait, before I buy it, is my poison an ailment? Oh, more damage with hits and ailments per stage. Okay, so ailments is a good thing, right? Should I use this one? So I should be doing 30% more damage, but then 80% less damage with hits? Uh, is that good? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out. There's so much going on here. I don't even know. I'm kind of like put off. I don't know which one to take. Okay, let's put some gems back in here. Thank you guys, you've been great. Let's try this out. And if it works, cool. If it doesn't, eh. Is there any other green, like, um, spells that I could use potentially? Summon Ice Golem. Why not? If I do this, Second Wind is a cooldown. Uh, okay, I need to think about this. Poisonous Concoctions. What if I do that? And what can I use to support Poisonous Concoctions? Oh, pretty much freaking everything, apparently. Void Manipulation, more damage. I think I have that in my stash. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, a chain. I could chain it. That could be fun. Chain support. Well, I've really gone into the um, ridiculousness phase of all my skills here, uh, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Uh, okay, let's also put some points. I really wanted to get up here, so that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna get to plus 20% maximum life, increased life. That's great. Apply points. Boom. Done. All right, let's go back on my mission. Oh, activate all my stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. yep. Forget to, forgot to activate the things. At least I got my banner back. Give me a second, guys. I need to activate all my stuff. So I have so many auras. More damage over time. My banner's there. My god, the damage. What have I done? Why can't I? What? Why can't poison concoctions be used? Requires an empty main hand. Well done, idiot. So what do I want to do? Do I want to do seismic trap or flamethrower trap? I'll go with flamethrower. And now I need to change. Poisonous concoction was a terrible idea. There you go. I hope I can use it. Of course, my other gem doesn't support it anymore. Good times. Oh my god. Oh, multiple trap support. There we go. Two additional traps. Nice. Back to the fun. Why can't I use it? Why can't... Oh my god. Wait, maybe it's because I'm out of mana. No, I don't have any mana. Oh, it's because of all my bloody auras. What have I done? Oh my god. I thought I was being smart. I was not being smart. Okay, let's put a trap down. Trap! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was fun. I don't know if it's very useful in terms of damage. Why is there no poison traps? Oh, I do remember there was a, a gem to create poison. Wait, I'm taking a lot of damage, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, steel skin, I forgot. Okay, first things first. Mana, trap, ballista, 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 mana, and then I can start DPSing. Oh, there you go, Chamber of Sins. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? 
god Rala Kesh I need to kill. Okay, was this flamethrower trap really worth it? No idea, who knows. Tell you what was a terrible idea, that malevolence aura. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, more belts, nice. So, open the map of Maligabaduru, right? So is that what you call a map these days? Doesn't feel like a map. That's a lot of portals. Enter the sanctum of Maligabaduru. That's good. Oh my god, the damage, that they're, they're seriously hurting me. Okay, you're forcing me to get my traps out. Oh, you didn't walk on the trap. Good for you. Okay, I need to search for the Black Venom. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Oh, and I've, I'm have i not in the thing anymore. I need to survive all that. Oh boy, did I do something wrong with my gems? Probably. I should have, malevolence should not be a thing. Okay, let's change malevolence. Flamethrower trap is also a bad idea. I know it sounds cool, but it's not. Or is this? What if I get a trap that will explode and deal poison damage? Okay, I've got a chance to poison, get that. And then it does support flamethrower trap. Aha, uh -huh. all right, we should be good. I need to try the trap real quick as soon as I can. See if the poison thing does work on these guys. I mean, kinda. Maybe as I level up the gem, it'll get better. I found him. I found Malagaro. Okay, let's go. The damage is real. I can do this. Whoa, cool spider. Dodge, dodge. Oh, I have dash now. Don't forget. Oh, they're both here now. Oh my God. Oof, oof, oof. I can do this. I can do this. You're not helping, Frank. It's emotional support. Oh, new spider. Two, three, keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, first death. Oh no, do not tell me that I need to do this whole thing again. I better, I better get good because there's no second chances. And there you go. Ballista, ballista. There you go, whoa, crazy, whoa. Black Venom, what is that? Back to Yelena for a reward. You know what I hope it is? A better mana flask. Oh, obsidian key. Okay. Use the obsidian key to access the gate. Okay. There's a lot in here, isn't there? Use the obsidian key to access the den and from there reach the forest encampment and defeat Relikesh. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna guess this is what the obsidian key. Yep. But first, back to Helena for a tasty reward. Um, should I sell some of these? Yeah, keep one. Strength. Life per second, stack could be good. Yeah, I just go with the one that has the bigger number. I'm gonna take the flame thro thrower trap thing out because it's really not good. It's insulting. These all go back to the stash. Also, yeah, can I get a reward please? Ooh, I just got boots, man. I just got boots. Why are you giving me boots? I just got boots. Oh, these are supposed to be better somehow. 121 evasion rating. There is an issue though. No movement speed. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I've been messaged on Discord about my steel skin build. Well, my setup anyway for steel skin. Someone said that I should put a sniper's mark on that. And I'm not sure why, but let's check it out. Sniper's mark, sniper. Okay, curse is a single enemy, increasing the damage they take from projectiles and making projectiles split when hitting them to hit other targets. Targets. That could be useful. I'm just gonna have to do a steel skin. Okay, so now I have a sniper's mark. Okay, that uses mana, by the way, which I don't have. Let me ask him. Apparently, if I put a mark on hit, supports mark curse skills. It's a support thing that will go with sniper's mark. And I think that's going to apply steel skin? No. What's that all about then? Oh, mate. Oh, okay. I get it now. It's not supposed to improve steel skin. It's supposed to be better defensive setup, apparently. So mark on hit support. Supports mark curse skills 30 percent reduced effect on marks from supported skills triggers a supported skill when you hit a rare or unique item with an attack oh my god it puts the mark all by itself that's amazing that's amazing oh uh oh the realm is restarting in 30 minutes okay so this is a better setup apparently um i guess we'll just have to try it out guys you gotta help me with my stuff here i don't know what i'm doing in terms of gear i'm not doing a good job you guys gotta help me let's put all these gems where they're supposed to go first Oh, 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 po uh, po um, mana, mana. I need better mana things. Okay, to do that, I'll go to the latest one I can find. Let's have a look. The latest seller. Sorry, guys, I'm rambling. Excuse my words. Purchase item. Yeah, okay, give me a mana thing. Recover 700 mana over time. There you go. I need something better than that. Well, I don't need actually 700 mana over six seconds. I need, because I only have 400 mana, so maybe something better but less. Does that make sense? Maybe there's a way for me to improve this with currency. I remember seeing that somewhere about this search function is so good. Improves the quality of a flask. <laughs> You've been improved by 2%. Can I upgrade the flask? No. The flask? No. Oh, okay then. All right, forget that. Let's go beat some bad guys. Use obsidian key to access the den. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, how do I know if the mark is working, guys? 
I'm not sure if it's working. Is it working? Oh, the effect of the mark is reduced, but triggers supported skill when you hit a rare or unique enemy with an attack. Oh, like steel skin? Does it trigger steel skin? No, it doesn't support steel skin. What's going on here? Did I do something wrong? Oh, oh, the mark, the mark, it's right there. It works. It's just a non-hit thing. Oh man, that's amazing. What's going on? Why are they? Oh, yeah, that's not me. Moving on. Yay, I did the thing. <laughs> Sunder. And a better quiver, potentially, with attack speed. Maybe I can, like, improve it. Use some gems or something. Yo, it's a hideout. Yes, I'll clean it up. Cool. Hideout unlocked. I think I prefer this one. It looks dope. Yeah, let's go for this one. Um, Which one is this? Baleful hideout. Love it. This my hideout. This my hideout. Wait, no. How do I get back to where I was? Forget it. The den. What's this? Unearth remnants. Hey, Rog. Oh, I know what this is. It's my favorite thing ever. I actually really like this. Um, It's kind of a mechanic I haven't really discovered went into too, too, too much because the, the heist thing kind of took over. Okay, okay, okay. So let's put a detonator there. Let's put a detonator there. Let's put a detonator detonator here but a detonator there i do not know what i'm doing rog it's thank you for reminding me let's get some mana in let's put one two three of these and let's detonate the explosives <laughs> oh my god oh this is so fun oh that's a shame i died i bit off more than i could chew does that mean i, I like i lost everything like everything i could lose basically no no we're still going for it i think yep all right et yep let's go oh man died it again i'm not doing this right Back up a bit, back up a bit. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Yeah, ballista saving my life once again. And we're done. And we got these excavated chests. And they don't seem to have much. Oh, well, there you go. Did it. Finally, a better quiver. Nice. Also, potentially a better flask. How about that? Yeah, that could be useful. Let's, let's give this one a shot. Let's try it out. See how, how it feels. Currently, it's not full and I'm not sure why. I think I need to kill things. Yep, I need to kill things. Oh, I'm in the Ashen Fields. And there's another explodey exploding thing to do. And I'm fighting monkeys again. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. So I'm going to put some ballistas down. One, two, three. That's near the explosives. Let's go. Ballistas? Yeah. Keep going, buddy. You can do this. Nice. Oh, I'm just realizing the... Oh, okay. The chests have nothing to do with where I blow it up. I kind of. Or it has everything to do with where I blow it up. The If I blow up one of these things with it, then I have modifiers. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning, guys. I swear. Okay. I can't see the expeditions yet. I'm not fancy enough. That's fine. Exchange items. These are artifacts, but I don't have any... No? Yeah, I don't even have any coins or anything, so there's no point. I'll get to it eventually. Oh, there is Grust Lord of the forest yes and you're marked which is awesome although he is not dying let me tell you all right come on ballista ballista i always say it twice but i should actually say it three times because i always get three ballistas they call me nix no dash because i never use the freaking dash it's only because my fingers are on one two three four i'm having a hard time going to w oh my god no die oh Still alive. Ballista, ballista, ballista. There we go. Got a few things. Relic Cash is done for. So I got a new one of these guys. Relic Cash, where are you? There you are. Reduce physical damage over time taken while moving. Moving while bleeding doesn't cause you to take extra damage. Cool. New. No. I think I'll keep the life flask thing. It's just much better. Where am I now? So I'm supposed to go back, finish this, which I probably should do. All right, let's do that. And go sell a few things. I will sell this unique item. It has been sold. I hope I haven't made a huge mistake. Get the passive point, put these two points in life, because that's what I need. And I think keep going, pretty much. Yeah, let's keep going. Orb of Regret, finally got one. Only 57 more to respec. Not that I would respec right now, I've worked so hard on this build. It'd be kind of hilarious to like add my build to an official site and call it the Nyx Vellum build. It has no use whatsoever. <laughs> it's probably not that unique. I know I got a lot of comments after the first episode saying, oh, you're going in the right direction. This is like a normal build that you would take. Um, so I obviously got lucky somewhere. The Dread Thicket is my next port. Uh, is that a good place to be? Uh, probably not. Oh, wait, no, go back, go back. There was a few things. There doesn't seem to be any quest markers. Shrine to Arakabuili. No, I think I've, I've gotten here a bit early. Oh, I say that. There are quest markers all over the place. What's that about? Let's go check it out. Oh my god. Fireflies? 
Okay, got myself a firefly. Uh, got three fireflies. Let's go back to the shrine. Maybe that'll help. Master Explorer. What the f- What is this? What is this, dude? I'm just- Incursion help page unlocked. Oh my god, more things to read. Incursions? Incur Once you have reached Act 7, you may court encounter Alva Villai. Alva is trying to find the location of the Lost Treasure Temple. Oh, it's Indiana Jones. This is insane. Absolutely insane. We are restarting the realm. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna have to disconnect and I'm gonna be forced to grab some dinner. This is when the leak starts, right? Oh, okay, cool. Disconnect away, baby. I've activated the shrine. I must now go home to talk to Helena for some reason. Let me just kill these guys first. I have a lot of quests. This is gonna be another long act, which is good. I have to go kill the mother of despair. Oh, search for the fireflies in the dread thicket, then deliver them to Yina. All right, nope. The mother of spiders, temple incursions, Lord's labyrinth, so much to do. All right, back to where we were. Although actually, league is ending in one minute, so I'm gonna take a 15 minute break and eat some food. See you on the other side, exile. One eternity later. And we are back after actually an hour. It took a bit longer than 30 30 minutes for everything to get sorted, it seems. Let's do these quests. Let's go. So I think I'll go for the lighting the way, because I don't think I don't think that's the main quest. Not sure anymore. Oh hi. How's it going? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Anna, I had to cut you short there, but I'm getting attacked by a million people here. So I'm super excited to continue playing. I was actually upset when I had to stop. <laughs> it's okay, I had to feed myself somehow. Alright, here we go. It seems like I have a quest for Einar, Einar, Einar in this uh, zone, which um, is kind of new. Usually you just kind of find him and then there's beasts to kill. But this time he actually appeared and he was like, hey, I, I need your help. And I'm very happy to help my buddy Einar. Oh, new boat. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Whoa, I got one shot. I just got one shot. Whoa, what the hell was that about? I'm actually scared now. I got one shot by an enemy for the first time in Act 7. New boat. There it is. It's still there. Okay, how are we going to do this? I'm terrified. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. Heal. Okay, ballistas will take the heat off me for a bit, and I'm able to DPS him then. Ballista, ballista. There we go. Ballista, ballista, ballista. There you go. Nearly dead. Yo, create a unique one, new recipe. Okay, whatever, but like there was this huge sound and then I took a gajillion danger damage. Instantly nearly dead. Oh, I need to also travel to the menagerie. All right, let's continue our quests. All right, cool. So we've got one quest, two quests here, which is Queen of Despair. I have to kill Gruth Kull, the mother of despair. And the other one is search for the fireflies, then deliver them to Yeeha, <laughs> whatever her name is. Whoa, what are these items? Why do they have a special thing on them? Let's have a look here. My defense is chaos resistance minus 30%. Anyway, yeah, okay, we'll have to look at all this later. Uh, I'm gonna pick a few of these and sell them. Kill Gruth Cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cool. Okay, how many times am I gonna die to this guy? Let's try zero. More likely two. Oh, although he's taking damage. Ballista, ballista, ballista. The only issue I've got here is that my flasks are not recuperating fast enough. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I gotta be careful of these fissures on the, in the ground. That's why I got one shot last time. Oh, dude. So that's two. Well, guess what? Guess who was right on point? It's two. I died twice. Why do I have all these amazing items that I cannot use? Sniper bow. Any good sniper bow. Yeah, really good sniper bow. Whoa. Oh, well, in terms of damage, anyway. But this raven mask. Yeah, I might as well just carry this. This, I get better accuracy, more life, more mana, increased stun and block. Good contender. Okay, back home to sell some stuff. Sorry, Sin, I'll be right back. Oh, I can talk to Sin here. Makes it all the same. Did I unlock something here? Yeah. Oh, 5% damage reduction. But flask is still a problem, so keep the flasks in for now. Do I need to go back to the dread thicket? Yeah. So who's Yina? I need to deliver them to Yina. There she is, Yina. Hey, can I give you these? Here, can I give, can I give you them? No, no, can't. So how am I supposed to give you these fireflies? Uh, silk? Okay, I'll look for the rest of them and get back to you. I think I need to get all the fireflies. Could have given me a, a number of fireflies. That would have been helpful. Oh, yes. I forgot about this whole thing, this whole mechanic. Everything's dark. Yes. Am I supposed to destroy these totems? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Three, two, one. Did I fail? 
No, I got some stuff. Bring the fireflies to Yina in town. Right, so I did get all the fireflies I needed. So that was the last one. Let's go back to the bridge encampment. Please take these fireflies. Do I get to purchase new things from you? No. You didn't need seven fireflies to burn open the entrance to Araki's temple. Deliver them to her at the entrance of the temple. Cool, I've got them all. Let's do it. Wait a second. I had You said you'd be there at the entrance of the temple. Oh. I guess the entrance of the temple is not where I thought it would be. That's just a shrine, it's not the entrance. Okay. The rest of the quests are all north of here. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Going through another portal. Oh, I've got this this gauge at the bottom left of my screen that's filling up. I guess that's to like unlock items. Nice, I get like a cool... Oh, okay, cool, done. I have unlocked the chains that bind, the gem cutter, the, gladi the gladiator, sorry. Oh, but there's more. Ballista, ballista, ballista. These guys die easy, which I love. That's level 60, GG, GG level 60. Let's put some items. So this seems like a high value item. I need to do this in, in sequence. I remember, I know things. Time to blow it all up. One, two, three, ballista, 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 detonate. Come on, survive, survive, survive. Out of mana the whole time. Okay, look at all these chests. Gonna have to go through all of these. So many good things. Cool chests with a hunter's hood, which I could upgrade, and I need to look into that. Highborn bow. Yep, back to the town I go. Storm hunter's bow. Hunter's hood, sorry. 20 dexterity. A new hood, potentially? What do you guys think? There's a lot of elemental resistance here that I'd be missing on, though. Increased armor? Doesn't matter, I get more evasion rating, right? That's good. Cool, let's try it on for size. Just for a minute. Hey, new hood, who dis? One more destination I can put down. Oh, come on, I can put it here, no? I mean, no, I should be able to. Oh, well, I've done it now, so. All right, ballista, ballista, ballista. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Some more exploration within Jaya Jones that I would love to do and get to it in a second if I don't die first, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I have to find an item here on the causeway. That's that's actually what I need to do. What the hell? What is attacking me like this? The damage is real. Keep going, keep going. Crafting recipe, I'll take it. Waypoint, I'll definitely take that. What the hell is going on with this voodoo pole? <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, time to die now, sir. Thank you. And my bags are full. My bags are full. They're always full. Oh, could this be the jewel I'm looking for? Yeah, I think it is. Nice. Got the star. Try not to die. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Always rely on the ballistas. The Vale City. First, going back to town. Identifying and then selling straight away. I'm supposed to go see someone now, no? Yes. Delivered to Whalem. Oh, yeah, it was like his kid's toy or something like that. Okay, let's keep going. We've got three quests to do here. The Explorer, once again, I will get back to you. Just give me a second. Found the waypoint and Yina, the entrance of the, the temple. Cool. So I need to go into the temple and save our friend Silk. He got himself in a bit of a bit of a pickle. I wonder if spiders have like inherent chaos resistance or not. Is there any way for me to make this aura bigger? Be a lot of help. Would up my DPS by quite a bit. Let's continue. God, I hate these guys. Do you know why I hate them? Because they do exactly what I do. Just worse. Oh my god, we've made it. We've made it, guys. Oh, well done. I've got four points to put. Passive points. Uh, I need to pause and figure out where to put them. If I keep dying to Arakali, then I will. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. Once again, out of mana. Ballista, ballista, ballista. So far, so good, guys. Keep praying. Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I say that and then all goes to crap. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. Spread them out so they don't die immediately. Oh my god. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. The animations are so nice. Halfway there. One, two, three. Ballista, ballista. Okay, now it's just shotgunning us. Yeah, yeah, okay. I swear to god, if this game just starts getting futuristic, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, one death. Not too bad. I've had worse, right? Ballista, ballista, ballista. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Oh, I'm dead again. Okay, what is going on? Put some points. Um, I think I'm going to go for a bit of extra spell suppression. That's all right with you guys. There you go. Let's hope I didn't make a huge mistake. Okay, one, two, three. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Jeez. Just, yeah, there you go. Just get away from its front when it's shotgunning you. Come on, I can do this. Oh. I'm going to put a portal up because just in case I click on the bring me back to town or whatever. Okay, uh, dead three times. I think I'm, I'm getting slower as the night keeps crawling on. 
Oh my god. I thought I'd just put some spell suppression. I should be like way better at this right now. Let's activate everything that needs to be activated. Yeah, we're doing well. Stay away from its front. Come on. Oh my god, it's got rolling balls now. If there's a phase two, I'll scream. Shark, shark. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Use your dash. Oh god, I can't I can't believe I haven't used my dash this whole time. I can do this, come on. There we go. Dash. You can do this, you can do this. He's nearly dead. She's nearly dead. It's nearly dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. 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 Well done. Oh, it was a big god too. The exit to act eight is now open. Oh, cool. But wasn't there another quest I needed to finish? I'm doing every quest. That's a pretty revealing dress. Um, anyway, on to the Sarn rampart, Ramparts. Meet Sin at the Saren Encampment. Oh, of course, it's the Saren Encampment. Right, so this is Act 8, so I will leave it at that for now. Actually, no, I'm gonna get to the camp first. There we go, we made it to the Saren Encampment, and things look a little green. wonder what's going on. Whew, we'll get to it eventually. Um, let's just go back to Act 7 for a second. I want to check out this rogue thing. Okay, I've sold my stuff. Now, let's go to the rogue town. Oh, it seems like there's a bunch of people to talk to. Yeah, I know who you are. We've already spoke. Okay, I've already spoken to all you guys. Why do I have to introduce myself? We, we've gone on things together. We've, we've had these conversations before. Right, there's a contract. You complete the contract. Okay, I've done all this stuff. I've done all this stuff. I don't need to do it again. I mean, I really want to, but I'll probably do it off camera if I do it at all. Just because we got to wrap this video up. It's been the longest video to date. Okay, so that's a complete the contract kind of thing. Right. And the temporal incursion. Ooh, I'd be doing myself a disservice if I don't do that. I am never going to bed. <laughs> I'm never going to get some rest. Let's just, let's just quickly have a look. Let's just quickly have a look. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the, the Vale City. I believe, which is a place where there's Indiana Jones, no? Where's she gone? I need to find her. Okay, I find her a wrong way, I think. So where is the, the oh, the, it's in the Dread Thicket, right? I think that's where it is, the Dread Thicket. That's where I found her last time. Okay, let's try and find her again. Okay, I remember her being here, but she's not here anymore. Did I miss that forever? I hope not. Oh man, maybe I'll find her in act eight, who knows. If I do, I'll definitely do an Indiana Jones mission. Let's do pros and cons. And overall, in terms of pros, the game is incredibly regular at delivering quality content. That's a pro. The more I play this game, the more I think I've found everything, only to realize that I haven't even scratched the surface, really. I have been having a lot of fun, that's for sure. Another pro, the voice acting, the quest, the lore. It's incredibly impressive. Another pro, I'm still excited to finish this campaign. And I've been playing for a long time, in my opinion. And for a free-to-play game, that's quite impressive. Oh, I nearly forgot. Another pro is the heist system. I think it's my favorite feature from this game so far. It was such a breath of fresh air. It's a testament to the creativity of GGG that they're able to create this content that has such a simple idea as a heist, but apply it to an ARPG, which you would never think about being stealthy in an ARPG, but they've somehow figured it out. It was really impressive. 10 out of 10 on that one. Now, I do want to talk about a few cons that I've thought about this playthrough. Act 7 for me dragged a bit. I found it to be long, but also I don't mind a long act. I found that a lot of the content I was doing, not like the seasonal content and, and the hideouts and all that, that was great. But most, a lot of these dungeons and a lot of these maps, I was kind of going around in circles looking for an objective, which I guess is normal, but there was a lot of U-turns in my opinion. I was going around and around a lot, getting into dead ends, stuff like that. So I've mentioned length as a con. And I'll give you another con in my opinion. Um, I've done what you guys have told me to do. I've applied the filter, the most popular filter at that. And I'm still baffled by by how quickly my inventory fills up. And every time I have to stop playing the game to go back to town to filter through my inventory is a real headache. Maybe this is a not a problem when you're max level at end game, but right now it's a bit of a bummer for me. Another con, it's probably me. I still haven't replaced my chest piece, which I really wanted to. And my character has just looked the same for the past 50 levels or so. And maybe that's on me, but I feel like that's kind of a big bummer, you know? There's no actual evolution on my character the stronger I get visually. And I believe that's a big con for any game. Overall, guys, I'm having a fantastic time with Path of Exile. It's been so much fun and it's even better knowing that you guys are helping me out, helping me figure out the game, helping me figure out the mechanics. 
um, at the beginning, I wasn't sure at the beginning of this series, I wasn't sure about making a series on an ARPG that's kind of famously hard without a guide. But I realized now that I've made a really good decision because it keeps me engaged every time before I record. I spend a lot of time kind of figuring out like what gem can I put in? And, and that's a lot of fun to me. That's like what most of the fun is all this playtesting I'm doing on the gems. It's really cool. Before we go, I want to thank everybody in the Discord channel and everybody in the comments for helping me out, figuring out how to play the game and how to understand all these mechanics. You guys have been great. If you want to support the channel, there's multiple ways to do this. I've got Amazon affiliate links in the description, but also I've recently launched a YouTube member subscription. If you want to support me and buy me a beer or a coffee every month, that'd be amazing. Of course, no pressure at all, but I'd love to have you. The perks aren't insane. It's just a few emojis and a badge next to your name, um, but you have my eternal gratitude, of course, if that helps. Uh, and please come into the Discord, come have a chat. I'm on there most days uh, talking to everybody and just like really enjoying making friends. All right, on that note, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I'll see you in Act 8 uh, in the lead up to Act 10, which I believe is the last act. I'm getting a bit sad because I feel like I'm going to lose all my new friends. <laughs> um, I, I hope not. Of course, I'll continue making Path of Exile content and Diablo content. It's just it feels like a coming to the end of a journey um, altogether. And it feels like we're kind of sharing something special altogether in a way. So yeah, thanks again, everybody. Um, and on that note, thank you again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Diablo 4 player tries Path of Exile for the first time. We're doing Act 8 today, and I heard it's got the hardest boss in the game. Well, in the campaign anyway, and I'm looking forward to it. So first of all, let's get Frank out of his hole. Hey, Frank. Frank. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I need to click on the barrel. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Yeah, there's my boy. You ready to go on adventures? Because I am not. Uh, I haven't picked up any quests. Let's talk to the Sin. Is the insidious infection. Good to see you, if so. Stay out of the shadows. So funny enough, the Labyrinth Plaza has a gateway now, and I have to complete the Labyrinth. I think this is another one of my quests, right? So it would make sense for me to do this. The Lord's Labyrinth. Yeah, I should do this again. Let's give it a shot. Uh, oh, before I start, actually, I'm just going to move my dash from W because I'm starting to really need it. And W is just not working for me. So I'm going to change the input from W to my mouse 4, which is where my thumb is resting. So here I am at the labyrinth activation device. How do I do this? I select it and then I click activate. What would it, is it a challenge or is it just going to bring me back to that path? Let's give it a shot because I feel like I've already done this, but it says complete the labyrinth. Well, jump right in. One thing I really want to do also this play session is to find that blue gem or buy the blue gem or get a blue gem slot so I can get some mana regen because mana is a real problem for me at the moment. I'm just realizing that this is just not difficult because these guys are level 33, right? I thought I was doing so good. I'm taking no damage, which never happens. <laughs> Okay, I got some resources, but nothing else so far. It can get quite confusing when you have all these features in the game and you're someone like me who just started. You're kind of like trying to remind yourself of what is what. I also got some really good feedback from you guys on, in terms of items, like what to pick up, what not to pick up. So I'm gonna try and find a new helmet because my helmet right now is not great and also sell everything that has four links basically. Have I done this before? I've done this before, have I not? I've killed this guy before. Yeah, I've already done this. Yeah, I'll do it again, see what happens. Also, I just realized that I replaced my ballista button with my dash. That's not gonna do, I need ballistas. So we'll move the dash to mouse four and we'll move the ballista to mouse five, which is right next to it. Oh, so I just realized you do these extra labyrinths so that you can get more ascendancy points. That would make sense. Well, technically, I don't need to kill these guys at all. I just need to walk through them. The goal here is not to kill them, is to get to the end of it. All right, this should be the last time I need to kill him. And then I think the labyrinth's done, right? I've done this before. Starting off by doing something I've already done was a terrible idea. Although I didn't know I was doing it at the time. Come on, time to die. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Come on. 
There we go. I'll pick up a few things to sell as I'm going back to town anyway. All right, what just happened? I completed the labyrinth. Congratulations, me. Now what? Oh, I forget. I get a bunch of stuff. Transform a skill gem to be a random transfigured gem of the same color or add 8% quality to a gem. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's actually quite good. I'll use my scourge arrow, put it in, add 8% of its quality, right? All right. Bit anticlimactic. I'm not going to lie, but all right. Whoa, moonstone ring. Oh, all level 33. I did this to myself, didn't I? I really did. What What happened? What just happened? I saw like a unique come out. Oh, there you go, a wand. Oh, I need a, a treasure chest or whatever it's called. Well, I got a wand. I'm gonna sell it. There you go, awesome stuff. Your character has been granted a one full time passive skill reset. If you allocate or refund any other passives before using this opportunity, then it will be lost. Oh no, <laughs> what do I do guys? You know what? I wasn't expecting them there to be like a full passive skill reset. I'm still not sure why, um, but I wasn't expecting it. And if I was to reset everything right now and follow a build, it would just, there would be no point to the series. The, the point of it to this series is to see how far I can go as a person who knows nothing about Path of Exile, doesn't follow a guide, and is just trying to follow his instincts as a Diablo 4 player, while also, of course, listening to you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any reset. <laughs> it's just not happening. I'm not resetting all my passives. Did I get an extra point here, though? Now, oh, well, there you go. That was that was lame. That's a lame way to go to go spending like 30 minutes. Let's get back to the quests. That's what I really like. Oh, there is this ring. It's pretty good. Increased cast speed isn't going to help me, is it? Tell you what, I'll just I'll just try it. I'll change my normal ring for that one, my yellow ring for that one, and I'll just try it for a bit and see if my gameplay changes at all. And I'm going to sell the rest. Clarissa, let me sell some stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, currencies. Let's put them in the ta in the stash. Yeah, there you go. Leave it at that for now. So I need to kill Doedre and find a way through the sewers. So the sewers are probably down there, not up here. So let's go to the sewers. Zombies. Love it. That's the damage. I know. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Let's keep that mana up. Cannot be stunned. All right. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Dash through him. There we go. That's the gameplay. I need to keep up this act. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't like lightning. I don't like lightning. What is going on? Ballista, ballista, ballista. Oh, nice. Come on. You can die, die. Tide sentry. You can die. And he dropped nothing. That's a shame. Elegant sword, though. Yeah, can't do anything with it. GG me. I need to find a way to upgrade my aura, my plague bearer aura, to make it larger. Because that's a big DPS uh, output. Is something wrong with my filter? I think it might be. Failed to load item filter. What? I'll look into it next time I get, I go into the, into town. Oh, well, I'm about to go into town. All right, so how did I sort that out last time? POE filter, filter blade. That's the one. Right, is it because of affliction? Affliction is up now, so. Oh, presets, there's presets. Leveling archer. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Preset added. Warning, one change were invalidating. Leveling rare melee progression. Okay, but that's okay because I just uploaded the, the other one. Okay, let's save and export. Okay, I've replaced the old filter with a new one. Let's try it out. Yay, item filter loaded successfully. And I think I've managed to download the preset for an archer. So that'll be fun to try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nearly died there. Gotta be careful. I feel like my damage is pretty good, honestly. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. My resistance is though, not great, but we'll work on it. So many of you. And I didn't get any items. Oh, there are a few items, but the filter isn't picking them up. I hope I set it up properly, you know? It's kind of scary. I see frost. Oh, okay, I got some stuff. Pure map, what's that for? Void sphere. Void sphere, that's good, right? Okay, this guy's taking no damage. It's okay. Let's get some ballistas up here to help. There you go. The power of the ballistas, man. Oh, new bow, new quiver, why not? They're only blues though. Can I upgrade a blue to a unique or like a, a gold? Can I do that? Oh, we're about to kill our first boss, Doidra's cesspool. Fingers crossed it goes well. Oh, Alva, the master explorer. I promised that I would try her thing. This is the one. Enter the incursion. I didn't have time to look because there was enemies around. Time portal. Oh, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, there you go. That didn't work well. Let's activate the auras and let's try again. 11 incursions remaining. View temple. Let me enter somewhere. Let me enter. Well, okay. My damage is fine. Resistance, not so much. So how can I up my resistance? Gear? Skills? 
gems, abilities, my my life is just not doing great. I know I'm standing still, but I'm just trying to focus on goddamn potions. Path of Exile is like trying to play guitar sometimes. You're just trying to hit all those chords with your fingers. I thought we were gonna kill Dodre, but apparently not. Or maybe this is his thing. Ooh, look at this. I'm hearing an electric guitar. Oh my god, he's wearing one of those squirrel things. Like Super Mario Squirrel, he gets to fly. Is this him? Yes, it is. Okay, let's think about this. Let's be tactical. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Don't forget you have a dash. Use your potions, always. I'm turning the valve. I don't know why. I turned the valve, though. Is that gonna help? Ballista, ballista, ballista. I'm sorry for everybody who's getting sick of ballista. Oh. Oh, valve? Oh, something happened with the valve. What was that? Press the valve. Okay. I don't know what it does, but sure. Frank is freaking out right now. Oh, no. Okay. Death number one. Dash into nothing <laughs> when it's not needed. Press the valve. Oh, nearly died there. Press the valve. Yo, <laughs> I keep nearly dying. I'm doing all right, except my dash is against the walls, but... Oh, of course. I shouldn't have said that. Jinxed myself. Death number two. She's nearly dead. I can do this. Although I feel like my ballistas are doing most of the damage. That's the valve. Come on. You're nearly done now. You're done. Not quite. That's it for you. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, Dodri. I was like, Dodre. I'm not very good at pronouncing things. You might have guessed that by now. But my bow. Oh, it's just a blue bow. I've got better bows. I've got better everything. All right, it's all going to the cellar. Oh, a ring that has one socket. That could be useful. No, resistances, resistances. Okay, so resistances. Let's think about this. My resistances. I could use some chaos resistance and some lightning resistance. So I'm just going to sell a few things here first. Yep. And I need to find the Ankh of Eternity for her, which is somewhere else. Okay, off I go. Let's get comfortable here. It feels kind of weird that the devs were decided to add that, you know, minus 30% resistance or whatever after Acts 5 or 6. I can't remember. You guys told me in the comments. Like, it's kind of a black or white, you know? Like, minus 30% for everybody. Oh my god, this guy hits so hard. This dog... It's just invincible. He's definitely from the UK. You can see the steroids. Oh my god, I'm going too fast. Dash, 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 dash. I'm out of mana. I can't dash. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can run fast though. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. I'm still alive. I got some whaling essences. Cool, I think. What am I to do with those? Who knows? My brain is full of information. Too much, one would say. Maybe I don't need all this information. The Grain Gate. Yeah, level 62. Why not? A new map, a new bow. Though I can't pick it up. Do I want to pick it up? Well, this tunic is actually quite impressive. And this bow is also quite good. Okay, throw this out. Take the bow. I cannot? I can. Like, how good is this one, really? When you think of, when you look at it, is it better? It is better. Okay, okay. All right, food for thought. Well, food for thought right now, actually, because I've come to a waypoint. All right, first of all, Let's try and upgrade these. Stash, go to my currency tab, which I purchased. Okay, here we go. Upgrades are a normal item to a rare item. Target is not normal rarity. Is it not? So this is a rare item already. I didn't even realize. Okay. Oh, target is not rare either. What, what rarity does this item have? Okay, this one has improved the quality of an armor. Oh, but this is just like the plus one, minus one thing, isn't it? Yeah, the quality plus two. Yeah, okay, that's not great. So how do I upgrade them? Can I? That's disappointing because these guys have some really good like gem systems going on. Like I'd like to use all of these, right? I mean, I guess I'll have to sell them then. Ah, huh. it's a pain in the butt. You guys know better than me. Just leave it in the comments and I'll figure it out next video. I'll sell it for now. There are always more items out there. Uh, What about the bow? Yeah, I can't upgrade the bow. I don't know how to do it. Man, what a bummer. All right, back to the quests I go with, unfortunately, no new gear. Uh, lightning, lightning. I hate lightning, though I have a bit more resistance to it now that I have my ring, right? Ooh, superior Owen Wand. Somehow I want this. Why is he showing me these things? I'm talking about the filter, of course. Oh, I died. Well, there you go. I gotta be more careful, man. And I gotta use more ballistas. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Is Frank still with us? Frankie! I don't see him. Oh, there he was. There he was. There he was. It's a bit hidden as all. Well. Let me see if I can get him out. Sorry, buddy. You blend in. 
There we go, Frank, let's go. Let's me have a quick look what the quests are. Because as you know, I do all my quests. Mara Moa has asked you to kill the gambling legionnaires at the Green Gate. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for. Rogue markers, always useful. There we go, I gotta kill these guys. Okay, make sure I move, make sure I move. Wow, wow. So did I do the quest? Wow, okay. Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, what else do I need to do? Love is dead. Oh, I missed that one. I still need to do the Lunar Eclipse one though, so I'll go for that. Which means continuing forward on this adventure. Let's remind ourselves what I'm here to do. I'm here to search the Lunaris Temple for the Moon Orb and use it to summon Lunaris herself. So I'm gonna guess she's the goddess of the moon. And while we're at it, I'm gonna sell a few things at the store. This bow is very powerful. I should use this bow. So to do that, I need to change the links on that. Like I need to link an extra link, please. So to do that, I go into my gems, no, my currencies, reforges the link. And there we go, we did it. Yay! I understand Path of Exile. Let's put this here, put all the gems in, sell that one. Nice! Does it look cool? It looks okay. More damage is always welcome though, especially since I can use some of this currency to upgrade it. Oh, I can't. This is for armor. Where is the weapon one? There it is. Look at all these improvements I'm making. There you go. Quality 10%. Why not? All right, back on our adventures we go. The Imperial Fields. Ooh, yes! I love these portals. I mean, they're hard and everything, but they're fun. I couldn't even tell you why they're fun. I just like the change of the mood. Oh. Four seconds until the delirious realm ends. I'm loving these insects and uh, the enemies are getting fun. I mean, I'm pro I've probably already seen them before. I'm not sure, but yeah, these enemies are fun. Oh, all my gems just leveled up and at once. How is that possible? Ranger bow. Whoa. Oh, it's not as good as the one I have now. Still though. Ooh, 20% more armor. Should I keep that one? Well, apparently once I have my gem that helps might with my mana, I won't need the mana flask anymore. So maybe I can get like an, an armor flask in there. The Solaris Temple. Wait, I've been there before. Have I not? Search the Solaris Temple for the sun orb and use it to summon Solaris himself. I've not done this before. I'm getting confused out of all the acts. I think it's to my detriment that I have to, um, I play like one act a week. There's a reason for that, by the way. It's because I want to read all your comments and like go from there. But then I get back into the game and I'm like, wait a minute, who am I? What year is this? Well, we're all here together now. So let's just enjoy the ride. Okay, this guy's not taking any damage. I keep saying that in this video, don't I? This guy's not taking any damage. It's because none of them do. Also, my flasks are not regenerating, so that means my mana's not regenerating. Maybe I can find some enemies so I can regenerate some flask. Thank you. That did not work. Oh no. Oh no. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Clutch moment. Clutch moment. Come on, ballistas. Yes. I did it, guys. Try and deal with them. Have a look at these items. They look fun. Epic wool gloves with red and a blue, which is great because that means I can do steel skin and I can do my mana aura. Two point arrow quiver. Is that good? No. <laughs> wool gloves, anything good here? No, no. Oh man. Ah, uh, so disappointing. Okay, whatever. Am I still at the right place for the Solaris quest? I am not. The Solaris quest is still behind me. I need to go back. I will be back. All right, back to the Solaris temple. Let's go find the sun. Wait, maybe I should look at this ranger bow. Oh, the damage is way better than what I have right now. And it's got 81% increased physical damage and you guys told me that that's really good. Okay, well, um, let's go back to town for a second. Again, it's just not my favorite mechanic to go back to town every time. Every time you get one thing, you're like, uh, let me open my stash. Let me go to my currencies. Let's try to figure out how to reforge the number of items on an app. Yeah, two, three. Can I get a fourth? No. Is this gambling? This is gambling. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Reforges the color. I would like, please, a bleu, a blue, please. Okay, one more time. Oh yes! This is why you guys watch these videos, because they're freaking, it's its gambling. You guys just like watching me gamble. That's all it is. Okay, I've got my blue gem. Yes. Okay, this is all the stuff I'm selling. You guys could tell me I'm, I'm making bad decisions. I trust you'll do that for me. You're good friends. Okay, so blue means I need to get myself a gem that will allow me to regenerate mana. Mana. You guys mentioned this. Uh, I don't seem to have it, so I'm gonna go back to Lion's Eye Watch from Act 6 and buy it from that nice lady with all the gems. Oh, what? 
This guy's huge. Why is he so big? Why is he so big? Why does he look so cool? Why don't I like that? I, I, why don't what is? Why do I look like that? You know, I'm so pissed off about the way I look. I've looked the same for the past five videos. Like I'm so pissed off about it that I've just decided to. I refuse to buy a cosmetic for my torso. Like nah, it's not happening because the game should reward me for my progression visually. I think that's just good game design. No, not saying I'm. I know better, obviously, than the people who make the, made this game. But still, still. So I'm looking for an aura, which um. Oh, this is the one. Boom. Clarity. This is the one you guys told me to get. Cast an aura that grants mana regeneration to you and your allies right in my veins. Awesome. Let's try it out. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. I'm guessing I'm going to level it up a bunch and it'll just feel a lot better. Okay, so now that I finally understand how this works, I'll plant this here and I'll plant this there. Then I'll plant this here. This is great commentary, by the way, isn't it? And I'll plant this one here. All right, let's get ready for death. Probably, let's be realistic. You gotta be realistic about these things. Nope, nope, don't, don't let me die, don't let me die. Dash, dash, dash. Level 63, Ballista, Ballista, Ballista. Woo, that was fun. I need to figure out what I'm to do with all these currencies that I unlock by doing these um, events. And a new Sapphire Flask. Plus 50% to cold resistance. I better keep it just in case like the final boss of this act is a cold boss. What's going on over here? I see a, a symbol. What's this? Oh, it's the Indiana Jones. Cool. Will I be able to do better than last time? Because I instantly died last time. I don't like my chances. Enter the incursion. I should really read what's on that screen instead of just clicking the buttons. But it's shiny. I like it. Ooh, nice little effect there. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. So complete the temporal incursion. Monstrous killed. I need to kill as many monsters as I can. Okay, it's not very Indiana Jonesy, is it? Is this the boss? Good job, Exile. What? What just happened? Quest complete for some reason. All right. Oh, I'm bummed out. I really wanted to do that. I really wanted to. Sur I survived too. I don't know what happened. It's like some kind of AOE that popped me out. Oh, fair. There is a new league that started and you guys have asked me if I'm going to be playing it. And I think I should, right? Maybe on a stream of some sort, but I'm going to go melee. For sure, I'm going to go melee. I want to see what melee has to offer in this game. Oh, oh, she's back. Alva, Master Explorator. Can we try again? I'm not really sure what this means. I like the way she looks. I want the same gear. All right, the incursion still same thing. Kill them, kill everybody. I can do that. Oh, I only have two seconds left. Oh no, I, I keep getting extra seconds. All right, I don't understand anything anymore. <laughs> oh, you're back here. I'll try again. This is such a weird event. Maybe I'm just supposed to be like killing everybody like way faster than I'm killing them right now. Come on, I can do this. More, more, more. I've got nine seconds left. Five seconds, six seconds. Come on, I'm doing good. She's dead. Continue, continue, two seconds. Zero seconds. Ah. Oh. Okay, I got a couple of things. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, don't forget, I need to go kill the moon or the sun, one of them. I think this is it. Harbinger of Solaris. All right, let's see what the damage is like these days. This is gonna take a while. And he's dead, no death. Is this divinity? What does that mean? Am I becoming a god? Am I gonna be a god? Is the path to exile to become a god? Find the moon orb. The moon orb is further. Okay, but what does that mean in terms of my inventory? Because my inventory is taken up by the sun orb. It's just too much stuff in my inventory, guys. I'm gonna change my quiver because this one has more resistance on it. And that's that, I think. All right, now that that's done, time to continue the other quests. Let's go to the toxic conduits and go to the K. Okay, so what am I supposed to do in the K? Search the K for the Ankh of Eternity and bring it to Clarissa so she can revive Tolman. I think Ankhs are ancient Egypt, right? And they're from ancient Egypt. Could be interesting. Maybe we're gonna kill someone called Nefertiti or Tutankhamun. Ah, uh, 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 dash, dash. That's the one, come on. Oh my God, the sound. Wow, that was obnoxiously loud. <laughs> that is dead. The grain gate. No, that's not where I need to go. I need to stay where I am and find the ank, right? Yeah. I've just had a epiphany moment. The crafting, I think crafting would allow me to upgrade a blue item to a gold item. Am I wrong? Maybe I am. I'll have to try it out. Die already. I think I found the ank. Kill these guys first. Onk of Eternity. Dunzos took forever, but I got it done. 
All right, so I can go back home. Do I have any blue items? Because I want to try my idea here. The idea of upgrading a blue item into a gold item, yellow item using crafting. So maybe I can find one in my stash. That might be helpful. Search the cave for Clarissa and give it to her. Oh my God, I didn't actually finish the quest. I have to do it now because I really don't want it to reset. Okay, find Clarissa at the K and give her the Ankh. 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 I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh no, I'm having that moment where you think you've cleared all the map and you're still looking for something and you're like, oh God, what did I miss? I cleared the whole thing. I really did clear the whole thing. What's going on? Much, much, much later. Oh my God, I think I found it. I nearly missed it. I really nearly missed it. I mean, it could still not be this. Resurrection site. Is this Clarissa? Yes, I found her. Oof. Oh, she's in love with Tolman. I'm not good enough for you. Oh, there you go, the Ankh. Oh my god, what's she doing to him? Let me put myself in front of you. No. <laughs> Zombies! Alright, time to kill Tolman. And he's got some serious debuffs. Sheesh. Okay. This video isn't sponsored, but if it was sponsored, it would be sponsored by the Ballistas. Ballista, 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 because they are doubling my DPS easily. They're becoming more powerful. There's just no way around it. There we go. He did. The dead should stay dead. So I'm guessing he was dead. She was trying to revive him, which created all those extra guys on the map, those zombies. And then unfortunately, he was really dead. So a, that's a shame for you. All right. So back to my initial plan, which was to figure out if I can craft items from blue to gold, yellow, whatever. Oh, book of skill. All right. I need a blue item, please. Oh, actually, keep the ring just in case I can reforge it. A uh, blue item in my stash, potentially? Would I keep a blue item in my stash? Well, there's this death bow, which is a gray item. Maybe that'll help me understand magic and not magic. No, I only have gold items, so I'm not going to be able to craft anything right this instant. But let's try it here. Upgrade a normal item to a magic item. Is gray normal? Yes, blue is magic. Okay, and yellow is rare. So that means that I should be able to upgrade from a magic to a rare. I think I've seen that. So magic is blue. Okay. Magic is blue. Upgrade magic to rare. Yes. Ooh, I only have one of those. Interesting. And then rare is yellow, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I think I'm starting to get it now somewhat. Let's go to our hideout for a second. I need my crafting bench, please. I would like to change this, the ring. Can I not? Is this not part of what you can do for me? A reforge? No, can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. All right, that's a shame. I guess we'll go back to questing for the minute being. Big rock in my bag. All right, so I need to make my way on the left here, I think. I think those are gonna connect on the map. Those two are gonna connect somehow. So I need to go west. And awesome, portal, let's go. Large cluster jewel. I also need to spend some time looking at my passive tree right after this. Make some choices you guys are gonna hate me for. Oh yes, Indiana Jones, I would like to do another one of your challenges, please. I think I'm nearing the point where I don't need a mana potion anymore. Uh, Yeah, that's a correct mana potion. Enter the incursion, let's go. Oh my goodness. Keep on going, keep on going. 13 seconds, looking good, looking good. Come on, come on, come on. 15 seconds, still looking good. 12 seconds, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Cloister, go. Oh, I don't have the item. Six, five, let's go, let's go, let's go. Monstrous killed. Also, I'm coming up to the monstrous killed limit. What does that mean? Two, one. Sparring room. I don't think I made it. Well, that was uh, something. They're so fun. I like them, actually. Didn't think I locked them in the beginning, but hey, more. Sure. Why not? This time I'm going to go for like full completion of the kill bar. I think that'll be a good idea. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Can I go this way? Five seconds. Oh, this is not going my way. This is not going my way. Two, one. Oh, so close. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job. So I'm looking for some wings in the bathhouse, which is, uh, which is a phrase I never thought I'd be saying ever, but here I am. Here goes another time portal. Uh, I just don't have the DPS. I just don't have the DPS right now. I'll get there though. Okay, I found the bathhouse. Perfect. Time to find those wings. Kill Hector Ticutius. 
Yes, that guy. He's got the wings I need. Though I don't see them, but he probably has them in his back pocket or something. He's taking a lot of damage. I'm loving it. He's already half health. You know why? That's right. Ballistas. Hold on. When in doubt, Ballista. This is when you find out he has a face too, right? When they're too easy, they always have a face too. A bit of a dum-dum. He keeps just walking in straight lines. Well, there you go. Oh, I don't even have enough space in my backpack for this. Oh my goodness. All right, there you go. I'm going to bring those back from the bathhouse. Yeah, there you go. Let's use a house portal, home portal, and do our usual little routine. Oh my god, misclicked. Sorry. Try it again. Oh, I get a jewel. Green, please. Thank you. All right, you know what time it is. It's time to check our passive skill points right after I use my scroll of wisdom to identify what's going on here. Oh, there's some really cool jewels here that I should be using. Oh, so I get a pantheon of major gods and of the lower gods too. Okay, so life gain from the flask is good. And then 10% reduced damage. Yep, like it, love it. So I am not resetting my passive skill tree. This passive skill tree is legendary at this point. I need to just be a bit more smart about where these next points go. Projectile damage, no. To toxins? Maybe. Modifier to critical strike multiplier. Um, is there any resistance over here? Or? Nope. What kind of resistance can I get from here anyway? Oh, maybe more mana, because I'm always out of mana. So strength is down here. I don't want it. I already came up here because I wanted the constitution bonus, but I don't want to stick too long on the left there. There's no point. I think health wise, I'm OK. It's more of an evasion thing at this point. Is there like an evade mastery? Maybe that would be a really good idea. There it is. Evasion mastery. Perfect. I'm right next to it. OK, one, two. Phasing. What is phasing? 4% increase evasion rating while phasing. I don't know what that is. I'm scared. Go back. Maybe there's another evasion rating somewhere else. OK, there's this could work. This could work. Evasion rating over here and I'd get the evasion mastery. That might be a good idea, you know? I have spell suppression, poison. Is there anything like a chaos mastery or? I don't think so. Oh, there's cold, so they must be chaos. Oh, basic jewel. Perfect. And then I can put my latest jewel. Wait, apply points. Yes, I'm not resetting. Ooh, I've done it. I've done it. Oh, no backsies. <laughs> Uh, okay, moving on. So what do I want to do? Damage or do I want to do evasion mastery? There's this evasion thing right here. And this one has elemental resistance. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. 10%. Oh, wait, maybe not. Because maybe I can go a bit higher and work my way towards poison ma mastery. I found it. I found chaos mastery. It's right here. I need to get up there. But I also want my evasion to work. So there's an evasion mastery here and it increases my life. That could be a good one. Okay, maybe I can go like up, boom, boom, and then get to the chaos. Does that make sense? No, I don't think it does. I think it's, it's better if I just go straight, straight, straight line. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll two, three points here. Easy peasy. Oh, do I take the movement speed? Oh, you know, I'm a sucker for movement speed. Ugh. What do I go for? Probably, I'm always going to get hit, right? So maybe the 40% increased evasion rating if you've been hit is a good idea. Done. And then I'm going to go up there and go for the Chaos Mastery, I think. I think that's a good job. Oh, I'm such an idiot. There is a search bar. Chaos Mastery. So there is some chaos up here. Oh, chaos Mastery is only there. All right. Oh, I don't have any more points. All right. Well, there you go. I just got some evasion. Sure. Why not? I'll evade all the attacks, hopefully. Okay, back to the quest. I need to get to the High Gardens. Off I go. Back in the bathhouse. That's where I belong. Oh, he's back. Hector. Should I kill him again? Nah, just get me out of here. Eye Gardens, that's where I'm gonna find 50 Shades of, dude, what's he called? Yugul, Reflection of Terror, same thing. Ooh, a unique leather belt. Seems good, seems really good. Get away from me, skunk. Increased duration of all elemental ailments. Ignited enemies by you have 40, uh, okay. Enemies shocked, so I need to do more. Let me just try it, let me just try it. No more energy shield, I think. I wasn't using it anyway. Abyss, Abyss page unlocked, what's that about? Wait, what's going on? I'm following this this thing. Oh, I'm dead. So close. Oh, I lost my R? What was my R? <laughs> I'm scared. Did I do the wrong thing here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like my R removed the sniper's mark for some reason. Why? I have no idea why that happened. You guys all need to help me because I just I have no idea what that was about. Why can I not use seal skin if I change my leather belt? My leather belt right now is not great. Is it because of the energy shield thing? Oh, God. Don't kill me! Here we go. Here's the boss. Time to kill Yugu. Fifty Shades of Reflections and all that. Oh, he's like silver. Nice. He's taking damage. Ah, I'm taking damage. Look at me using dash. You proud of me, kids? Move out of the pool. He's like the silver, silver surfer gone bad. Yes, here we go. 
Oh, so close. Birth's death. I, I sent Frank home without being careful. Oh no. Let me open his cage up again. Although maybe stay in there, Frank. It's dangerous out here. Look at me using my dash like a pro. I swear I'm learning. Come on, don't let me die. I can do this. This is such a cool enemy design, by the way. I love it. And I'm dead. I ugh, that's on me. That's on me. Should have been more careful. It's all right. Second death. Not too bad. Yes, done. Yugul. I'm gonna have to fight Sin at the end of the campaign, aren't I? I can feel it coming. So back to the bathhouse, probably. Back to home, home first, so I can sell some stuff. Let's say I want improved physical damage on my bow. There you go. I need eight gloobs. Can I craft it? I seem to have crafted crafted it. Cool. Can I do that again or? You guys told me physical damage was super important, so... Oh, replace? No, I don't want to replace. I'm happy with it. Oh, it's just a... Okay, so I've done the prefix. What about the suffix? And I do not have a sufficient currency anyway. Not even in my stash? No, no, I don't. Well, you say that. No, you don't. You don't. Talking to myself. Can I upgrade it to a really cool item, potentially? Ooh, I did it, but it's not as good as what I had before. All right, kind of screwed myself over there. What about the bow I have now? Yes, I can add physical damage. I did it. Yeah. Awesome. I still have two quests to do and one over there. So let's go to the bathhouse. So the Grand Promenade or the, I need to go to the Lunaris Concourse, which is in the north. This Lunaris temple looks fantastic. Love the aesthetic here. The contrast between the Solaris temple, it's really nice. Ooh, I got frozen. I got frozen. There was nothing I could do. Damn. The hell? Get me out of here. Okay. You gotta use your dash. You gotta use your dash. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. God damn it. Oh. Okay, I think I'm nearly there. Gotta get that moon. I think this has gotta be it. The portal. Here we go. Okay, he's taking danger. He's taking damage. He's taking damage. Oh, I'm taking damage too. Yeah, easy peasy. Jeez. Not even a death. I've done it. Well done me. So now I need to go to the harbor bridge. So I'll go back to town, sell my stuff, you know the drill, and then see where we go from there. I'm excited. I, uh, who am I supposed to kill considering I'm, I've got the moon, I've got the sun, Neptune? Guess we'll find out. Just chaos resistance is terrible, so if it's a chaos enemy, not good. <laughs> Back to the Lunaris Concourse. Lunaris Concourse. And I'm going east. The Harbor Bridge. Good. Okay, this has got to be it. Take the Moon Orb to the Harbor Bridge. Okay, and the Sun Orb. Both orbs. The Sky Shrine? Is this the place? I think I'm at the right place. The Sky Shrine. Look at this. The moon and the sun having a kiss. Didn't mean to rhyme. Okay, here we go. Kill Solaris and Lunaris. Oh, what is this? This is so cool. They're fighting each other. I don't even want to attack any of them. Do I have to? Oh, they're not doing really much damage. Although the sun seems to be a bit more powerful than the moon. All right, let's get this party on the road. Ballista, ballista, ballista. <laughs> I'm scared. So Lunaris is taking a back seat. It's all about the sun right now. I'm actually really happy I got I kept my unique now because I can't be ignited thanks to that chest piece. Look at me using my dash. So proud of myself. Zero deaths so far, doing pretty good. Although it is not by much that I'm alive right now, I have to say. Guys, I'm using my dash. It's starting to become a reflex, you know? Boom! Killed the, killed the moon. The moon is no more. Although, you know what this is? I know what this is. This is phase one, isn't it? And then they're gonna become one. They're gonna merge, just like Dragon Ball Z. Just like that piece of artwork that we're fighting on top of right here. And then I'm gonna have to fight the moon sun? The sun? The mus? Mu sun? Mun? Sun? Mm -hmm. Mus? Mun? Boom! Oh! No, I don't have to. There's no face to. Ooh, shark tooth arrow quiver. You're starting to look a little different, Sin. Sun and moon. Who do I go for? Moon or sun? Increase movement speed. Yeah, there you go. That's the one I'm taking. 
Nice. I think that's act eight done, guys. GG. As usual, I'm just going to get to the hub and then I'll do some pros and cons. One thing that I promised I would do to my good people in the Discord was to do a slash death after this boss to figure out how many times I've died so far. Uh, let me guess. I'm going to say 50. 48. I'm going to say I died 48 times. <laughs> You have died 99 times. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I'll admit, I died a lot. I literally twice as much as I thought. I said 48, right? Well, in any case, that was a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, we still haven't changed any of my gear except my bow. But uh, maybe you guys can help me with that. You guys tell me what I'm missing. Uh, pros? Easily the environment, the artwork, the level design. I think we've peaked the Solaris and Lunaris temples were gorgeous even though they're the kind of the same thing with a different hue they weren't they had a lot of details to it no i really liked it uh, i thought it was great another pro but i think that has to do is just my experience so far as i think i'm getting powerful i think like my build is is coming through pretty well and i think i'm going to be able to finish the game i was really scared i wouldn't be able to finish the campaign which is what i'm talking about of course but actually now eh, i think i could do it i think i can do it that means is what is there 10 x or 9 x Mm, probably 10. So that means we've got two more videos to go until I'm done with the campaign. And then what are we going to do? I don't know. Anyway, I think that's it for pros. Cons, my gear still hasn't changed. Visually, I still haven't changed. That's not good to me. But it's okay. I've got Frank with me. That's the best thing. Although Frank costs me money, so mm, I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, no visual progression so far, which is a real bummer. Overall, I'm having a great time, and I can't wait to start Act 9. See what happens in Act 9. I'm also super curious about what the big boss at the end is going to be. Is it going to be like a climactic battle, or is it going to be anticlimactic, and it's just going to be a bit meh? Let's find out in the next episode. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. Don't forget to join the Discord come and say hello you can join my cabal on youtube if you want to support me that's a great way to support me or click on any of the affiliate links down there all right all right all right we're good we're done we'll see you in the next episode thank you guys so much and we'll talk again very soon Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. We're going to be playing Act 9 today, the one before the last one. But first, let's say hello to Frank. Hey, Frank. Hi, guys. Always good to see you, Frank. You ready for an adventure? Now, before we start, I played for about 10 minutes and I had a quick look at my gear and I equipped this legendary belt that I had in my inventory. And I realized that that removed strength or it took back some of the strength that I had. And now I can't apply steel skin anymore. Well, for now, steel skin is to the side, which sucks. Let's put some stuff in the stash and then we'll get started. OK, let's get started. So we were last time back at high gate and everything was under blood. It was very bloody and it rained blood and everything was red. Have a chat with Sin, have a chat with everybody else, grab all the quests. Ooh, what happened here? Who's this person? Taking a nap. <laughs> Let's go see my favorite monk, Tasumi. Oh, I can trade divination cards with him. Let's go pick a few up. I want to see what happens when I trade them in. Ooh, unveil items. Place an item with a veiled modifier to the slot to unveil its options. Then select one to place on the item. Uh-huh. Oh, man. It's hard because I play these chapters like once a week to keep up with comments and make sure that there's enough space between them. And that means that I sometimes I jump back in and I'm like, I don't know anything. Who am I? Where am I? What year is this? All right. So we've got two blue quests and then recurring nightmare. Sid needs you to find some threat threat th 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 powder and basilisk acid so he can burn a new entrance into the beast is this the act with where there was this beast thing and i was i remember actually going into somebody's colon or something the immortal syndicate jin wants you to help her find and dismantle the immortal syndicate all right cool and then there's a bit there's some more labyrinth stuff which i'm still a bit unsure about but yeah sure whatever i wonder how fast i'll be able to go through this campaign once i roll a new character for the new season okay all right all right all right everything's activated i think we're okay i know how to dash now that's that's new. DPS isn't that bad. Let's just take it slow for the beginning. Now, last video, you guys left a bunch of comments telling me that I don't have to pick up everything. Everything that's six linked apparently is very rare because you guys have been yelling in the comments about me forgetting to pick some of those up. It is what it is, guys. Oh, don't forget. Ballista, ballista, ballista. There we go. He's dead. Oh, I heard about this toxic rain. Yes, I've heard this is good. I should check it out and I will. All right, I've cleared the zone. Let's go to the next. Maybe I'll get a new chess piece this uh, act. Who knows? Anything's possible. Although it's been four acts now with the same chess piece. Having this experience with you guys and playing Path of Exile for the first time, discovering the game, but also figuring out builds, you know, not using any guides has been eye-opening for me in terms of ARPGs. And I've decided that for the next season of 
Diablo 4, I'll, I won't be using a guide during leveling. I'll create my own build. I'll, I'll try to do something funky, but I realize that that's most of the fun. I encourage you guys to try it out yourselves. Like, if you're just following a guide sometimes, it feels like you're just filling in the blanks, if that makes sense, or like following an Excel sheet, you know, where it says X, you put an X kind of thing. And there's so much to play around with when it comes to creating your own builds. I mean, I say that, but I, I did follow your advice for most of this campaign. By the way, GGG, if you hear me, give us some free respects, man. You know you want to. I'd like to hear the other side of that conversation. Like, why shouldn't we have free respects? You know, if you know, put it in the comments. I want to read about it. I want to try and understand. Only fools don't change their minds. So I want someone to change my mind on that one. Stormblade is also one of my quests. Find the Stormblade in the desert and deliver it to Petrus and Vanja in Highgate. Gotta find a weapon. It's funny how GGG has still, was still able to maintain coherency when you look at like the amount of enemies they've put in this game. Like one of the cons that I still haven't had to bring up is repetitive enemies. We've got humanoids and insects and animals, sure. Those are repetitive in a way, but it, it's there's a lot in there. Obviously, the game's been live for 10 years, so there is that, but yeah, it's quite diverse. Oh, here we go. I see something. Storm weathering chest. That must be the one. Let's put some ballistas first. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Escape potion, whatever. And defeat the mummies. Cool. One of my favorite movies from when I was younger. Kind of fun that we get to fight some mummies. Put some more ballistas down. I'll tell you what, not being out of mana every three seconds has completely changed the game. Feels so good. There we go. Got myself the storm blade that I can return back to camp. Come on, this has got to be better in every way, right? Look at this piece of gear. Evasion rating, like nearly a thousand. It just doesn't have the physical damage with ranged weapons. <laughs> so I'm like, oh god. Okay, maybe I can try it, right? Maybe I can try it. Oh, I would lose on Ballista Totem support and Defiance Banner. So that's not good. Unless I can put them somewhere else, like... No, not really. That's not good. Well, I can reforge the color. Hey, there you go. I got myself a red. So technically, Define Spanner can go here. Scourge Arrow can go there. And this can go here. And this can go there. And look at me. I've got a new chess piece. That's a bit better. Not bad. Anyway, let's go back. Ooh, and they want to give me something. Well, I guess I'll go for the Ranger Bow. Is it better than what I have right now? Not really. Mm, maybe. Like, I could improve it by going back home for a second. Although, I don't want to do that. Oh, Sin wants to talk to me. Hello. Oh, and then Petrus wants to talk to me. Again. Hello. Cool. I get bottle storm. Why not? Um, actually, how am I doing on item management? Tell you what, I'll put this bow here for now and I'll come back and craft something dope later on. Ooh, toxic rain. Well, how does this ballista totem support know to use scourge arrow rather than toxic rain if I put it there? A mystery it is. Let me try and put toxic rain on there. Let's play around with it. Toxic rain. Ah, ah it does both. Wait, I could just specialize myself in ballistas. <laughs> I've got ballistas for toxic rain and I've got ballistas for scorch arrow. How about that? Call me the ballista queen. Or I could just take toxic rain out, put it here with the vile toxin support. That might be helpful. Interesting. Because I can't add ballistas. Like I was hoping I could have six ballistas, but that's not the case. Anyway, let's continue our search. What's this? What is this? Ooh, 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 damage, damage, damage. Okay, ballista, ballista, ballista. Uh, I know how to dash. Yeah, toxic rain. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind dying. That's okay. I'm still learning. Ooh, Sin has a daughter, apparently, named Shikari. Use the bottle storm to clear the sandstorms in the desert and enter the oasis where she resides. Cool. Oh, the enemy killed me, so... Oh, no, there he is, there he is. I thought that was it, but there he is again. Gloombade the Wretched. You are about to die. So is this a seasonal thing, or this kind of earthquakey thing that he was doing? Oh, my God. Nearly done. So he's dead. Now I need to kill the other one. Done. Ooh, compound bow. It's not that good, actually. I like Raid of Arrows. No, not Rain of Arrows. Toxic Rain. Yeah, it seems fun. Complete the Immortal Syndicate encounter. Is, is someone trying to kill me? Oh, is there an assassin? Who's this guy? Defeat the Syndicate member guarding the fortification. This guy. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, okay. Fortress Wall. I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. Happy to be part of it, I guess. Oh, now I gotta kill the people inside. Oh my god, what the hell? This is incredible. What is going on? I'm scared. I'm excited. I think I'm doing a good job. Oh, okay. And now I get, uh, I don't understand. Oh, wait, just a second. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, click on Haku. So I interrogate or I execute. Execute. You wanted to die. And what about this other guy? Guff. Interrogate. I don't know what's going on, but okay. Oh, and you can unveil these. Is Are these items from the veil? Ooh, look at that. So this shield, I can unveil this, and then I choose the thing. Ooh, oh, oh, very excited, very exciting. Okay, I don't need this shield though. You can keep it. Let's continue. 
There it is, the oasis. I figured it out. That's where the Queen of the Sands lives. Boss time. Boss time with no steel skin. Let's see how that goes. Sigil of power, okay. Oh my god. My auras are getting smaller and smaller. Like, the fact that I'm using so many auras means that my mana is getting lower and lower in terms of what I can use. Is that going to be a problem at some point? Might be. Okay, time to kill Shack. Oh, no. Is this another seasonal thing? Right, we're doing an investigation. We're investigating who the head of this is, right? Who the head of all this is. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Although it doesn't seem like I can do much here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Dash. There we go. Whew. I'm slowly reminding myself that a dash does exist. Somebody that is just not taking damage at all. Come on. Taking forever just to kill one mob. You can do this. No joke. It's been five minutes. Surviving, but like nothing really is happening. I'm just picking away at his life. Ooh, a six-linked battle plate. A highborn blow, bow, wow, okay. I didn't expect that. I don't have enough space in my bag though, so I'll just take the ax. I wanna identify this bow. What about that other bow, sorry. Other bow, putting it here, identifying it. That seems better to me. 83% increased physical damage, chaos resistance. You guys know better than me. All right, I'll take those two. The, the rest can wait outside in the cold. Actually, you know what? I'll go back to town, sell a few things. Okay, back on the road we go. All right, I'm dead. Nice, 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 nice. You gotta start being a bit more careful, bud. Uh, all, that's all I needed, a chaos-resistant enemy. That's all I am. I'm 100% chaos. Oh, I'm gonna die. My, my fly- Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take my time a bit more here. Just chill, relax. I feel like my flasks need, used to recharge a lot faster. What's going on there? Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. I miss steel skin a lot right now. Trying to use toxic rain as much as I can. Leveling it up, you know? Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna pick it up. But I, they only have one gem slot. I wonder if I could... I, I could probably check right now because I have a few. Oh, corrupted. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but okay. Can I change the amount of links it has? No, because it's corrupted. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to stop the corruption somehow. Oh, I found her. Kill Shikari. Another... Well, the other one was a... I was gonna say another spider, but no, this is a, a scorpion, right? I know things. Ballista, ballista. Ooh. That tail uh, has a sting to it. Where did she go? She just disappeared. Is this one of those like go to the next zone? I think that's pretty cool that they do that. Actually, I'd like to see that in Diablo games, like where bosses take multiple zones. I don't think I've seen that yet in any other game than Path of Exile. Oh, I'm in quicksand. Oh, that's cool. The sand is impeding my progress. Oh my God, what am I supposed to go? There's like four different directions. Okay, not this one, apparently. Or did I get that wrong? I think I was right, actually. I needed to go this way. Yeah, it was weird. Okay. Oof. Animations are always great in this game. Love it. This quicksand is no joke. I love that the scorpion just pops out and does a backflip. You're like, what? I'm out of flasks. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, first death. It was 100% a flask thing that I died. The reason why I died earlier on. That's kind of funny. I wonder if we're gonna see these guys again after the campaign ends. I hope so. They're quite unique and fun. She hits hard. She hits hard. When she comes out of the sand, she hits really hard. How is this Sin's daughter? What freaky stuff has that guy gotten up to? Ah. Oh, done. Can't pick up the bow. Hi, Sid. There you go. Killed your daughter. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've picked the soul of Lunaris as my major god, which gives me a bit more survivability. Oh, there you go, Shikari. 50% less durations of poisons on you. Whatever. We're done with that quest, I think. Let's go back to base for a second. How do I uncorrupt this bow that I've received? Replace that with this. There we go. Anybody else I need to talk to? No, I think I'm good. All right, next quest. Let's go with finding the powder, the basilisk acid. Actually, that'll just come eventually. I have to find the fabled Maraketh relic, the calendar of fortune, somewhere in the foothills. All right, sounds good. Let's get going. Off we are to the foothills. Find the calendar of fortune. Oh, new enemies. Not new enemies, but... Ooh, that looks like a new enemy. What the hell is that? Yes, found the waypoint. That's always good. The boiling lake. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Yes... What's going on here? This feels a bit ominous. Why is there a person mummified here? Wait, just a second. There's, oh, there's an icon over them? No? I am dead. What happened there? What did I, what? Uh, so at the end of this beach, if you can call it a beach, there is someone who's encased in something. Look at that. Oh, there's another person here. Okay, what happened here? Somebody please explain this to me. It looks like Pompeii, you know, the volcano and all that. Oh, the basilisk, that's who I'm supposed to kill. He's not taking much damage right now. That's okay, we'll take our time. Oh, he's encased me. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's a lore thing, like like Medusa. He can transform me into a piece of stone. Yes, yes, that's what it is. Okay, you gotta be careful. Don't stand still, basically. Boom, golden mask. How about that? Okay, so I've got some stuff. 
Where's the other stuff? I need to go back to the foothills. Let's put that legendary in here. The rest can be sold, I think. The gem can be put away. No, it's not that great, actually. I'll sell it. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go northwest. Kill Boulder back. Who's that? Oh, there he is. There you go. Was that part of a quest? I think so. Boulder back is no more. I do still have to continue and find that powder, so I'll do that. I like this map. Look at like the cliff and everything. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, it's a mine in the tunnel. Okay, nice. Solve the trial of ascendancy. Okay, there's also a trial here. Tunnels usually mean trial somewhere. And that's level 67. It's actually hilarious that nobody in the comments has ever told me what the maximum level is. And I'm dead. Let's try that again. You know how I died? Lightning. Still something I have a hard time with. I need something that's good at single target damage. I feel like that's what I'm missing also. Maybe I'm wrong. This guy is not taking any damage. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. He is taking a bit of damage. For a bit there, I was a bit... For a while there, I was a bit scared that he was not gonna die. Oh, I cannot level up clarity anymore because of my intelligence. Oh, it's the trial. I didn't realize I was doing a trial. <laughs> Done. I think I realized that if, if I'm not allowed to level up a gem because of my lack of intelligence, which is insulting, by the way, um, then maybe I need to get myself another steel skin gem, put it in, and then just level it up as much as I can with my current intelligence. Does that make sense? Oh, well, for steel skin, it'll be strength. Oh, this is the guy who killed me. The trail of lightning, dude. I hate him so much. Die. There we go. Do you guys use all the seasonal events at all times or do you just like focus on the most recent one? It's boss time. I can feel it. Oh, maybe not. This guy maybe? Oh my god. He has like a green effect? What the hell? Oh my god. The damage? The damage. Hello. This guy is powerful. Maybe he's the guy with the powder. And what's with the, the, the green, like light green modifier? Done. I need to have a look at my bloody skill tree in a second. I'm just a bit scared to open it up. I've got three points to put in there. Shrine of the Winds. Come on. This is a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Oh, hey. Who's this? Ooh, okay. Garuk Khan. You know, I read your comments and you guys were telling me that people are able to like finish the campaign in three hours or so. Do they just blast through these bosses? Because I am not blasting through these bosses. Not even a little bit. I like her armor too. I wonder how many dollars she paid for it. This is going to take years for me to kill this boss. If there's a phase two, I'll scream. Oh, we have a new boss, Kira, Servant of Garu. Oh no, there's like a mini boss, I guess. The semi smaller boss than the boss, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> it's getting harder to navigate this boss arena with all these sand wormholes. Sand worms? Sand holes? Ooh, still not dead, still not dead. The hard part is that I don't get any damage numbers, so I can't compare it with anything else. I can't just go, I'll change this and maybe I'll do more DPS. I have no idea. Look how well I'm using my dash. I hope you guys are proud. And I'm dead. There are bursts of DPS where I see her health going down real fast, and then it kind of chills out for a bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's my ballistas. She brought her friends around. Rain of arrows coming in clutch, hopefully. I think my scourge arrow is de facto better just because of all the other support gems I have on it. Stop following me. Okay, full on DPS. Come on, let's go. I can't believe this is not even the boss of the act. It's just random boss. I'm afraid of what the boss of the act is going to be. Yes, done. Oh, I just got a feather. I thought I was here for powder. You were too beautiful for this ugly world. I guess this has nothing to do with the powder. So what was her name? I cannot remember what her name is. 60% reduced effect on shock on you. Eh, I'm all right, back out I go. Still not the place for the powder. Let's continue our little walk. At least I'm doing all the side quests. That's gotta be worth something, right? Oh gosh, darn it, I died. Let's try that again. Oh, I got a few things here. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Okay, just one thing at a time. One thing at a time. All right, so I got an amulet, which is strength and intelligence. Absolutely useless. And then I got this thief's garb, which I might be able to do something with. Let's identify it. Uh, it's not as good as what I have right now. Shame. Well, actually, I'll keep it because I can sell it. Right? The refinery. Oh, this is sick. Bit of machinery with a bit of ancient grease. F off, lightning, whatever you are. Nice. Got some essences. Here we go. This is a boss here. Oh, first I need to kill his General Addis. All right, can do. Oh God, all this electricity, you gotta be careful. It's like a Wrath of the Leech King boss or something. Like, like lots of things to evade. It's like a mini raid boss. I like that. Oh my God, he's taking no damage. What's going on? This is the, the boss with the biggest health pool in this game so far. I've been at it for a while. Like, a while, while. I still haven't died, and it's taken all my focus. Absolutely all my focus on this guy, because he could one-shot me if I'm not careful. Plus, I've got the electricity things to worry about, so. I cannot imagine playing this game in a hardcore mode. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. 
Yeah. Wow. Nearly died there. It's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. He's not even like 25% to his death. I'm out of flasks. I'm out of flasks. Oh my god. I'm in the electricity. I'm out of flask. Jump, jump, jump. Flask is slowly regenerating. I'm doing pretty well. I haven't died yet. I'm gonna jinx myself. I haven't died yet, but it's just taking forever. Oh god, this guy's tough. And this is not even the boss. This is the guy before the boss. He's nearly dead. Finally, after four hours. Oh, I got a little nonsense thing. Great. All right, moving on. Oh, thank God, that was that was actually the boss. It wasn't the pre-boss or whatever. Woo! Got it. All right, back to hometown. Who are these guys? What the hell are these guys? All right, I will comment. Why are you giving me a book of regret? This is not the time. I have items to sell. I don't want to sell this, but it's corrupted. I don't know what to do with it. Let's put some stuff in my stash. Look at this. This is a 1-1 one, one card. Maybe I can exchange it straight away. I'm gonna throw a steel skin here for a second. Okay, so uh, I need to get a steel skin orb, so let me just do that real quick and come back. So I'll go back to part six, lines, eyes, watch. Talk to the nice lady. Oh, this is such a badass skin. Oof. So uh, steel skin, please. There it is. Thank you. I'm missing a red slot. <laughs> I thought I was doing good. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. This is a good time for me to craft some crazy stuff. So I'm going to go to my very cool hideout and craft this item into a very rare item. See if that works, if that's even possible. So hello. I would like to look at this. I'd like some physical, physical stuff, please. Let's get physical. Okay. So none of this works. None of this works either. How do I upgrade this? Oh, and what do I do with this? Two sockets, four sockets, two linked sockets. Oh, is it? To ah, it's the, I, I nearly bamboozled myself. All right, forget that I did that. Let's have a look at the stash, see if there's any items that I'm able to use in my currency tab to improve the rarity of this object. Upgrades a normal item to a rare item. That's not going to happen. Okay, well, the bottom line is I couldn't figure out how to upgrade this item for now. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments if you don't mind. This six linked thing will stay back and I need to reforge. Oh, I'm a bit scared now. I'm a bit scared to change some of these auras. Defiance banner. No, I like defiance banner. Ballista totem support. Obviously, I need that. Okay, well, this is not good, is it? Ugh, maybe I don't need it. You know, maybe I don't need steel skin. Maybe I don't need it. No, I, I definitely need it, don't I? Oh, God. Okay. Got myself momentum gem. I have a scourge arrow. We'll see. I don't want to mess up with this too much. Uh, I think I'm going to have to sell this corrupted item because I can't use any items on it. Like I can't reforge the links or whatever you want to call it. I can't add anything. So it is what it is. All right. I would like though to potentially go and check out this map thing. Is it a map? No, this card. I should be able to give it to the monk, right? You got to stay curious. Okay. I should be able to trade this. Ah, see, I completed it one, one, so I can trade it for 17 chromatic orbs, right? Look at that. I got an achievement. Nice. One thing you guys told me to get is withering touch. So I put it on my scourge arrow. See what happens. I don't really know what it does. I'm guessing it's going to boost my DPS. So where am I on my quest log? Well, only one quest left. I need to get to the quarry. Sounds good. Let's go. Oh, I also added momentum support <laughs> just so I can go faster. I don't know. Actually, where did I put that on? I can't remember. Hopefully it'll help me just with my movement speed. Shame on you guys for not telling me about momentum support because I've been struggling with my movement speed for eight episodes now. Why am I not able to use Plague Bear? What's happening? Just a second. Right. It's a mana thing because my defiance banner has gone up a level. It's time for a new tactic then. Instead of the defiance banner, we're going with steel skin. I don't see that being a positive change, but we'll try it. So let's put steel skin here. All right. Hopefully that'll help somehow. I'm scared. All right. Burn a hole in this person. I don't know if it's a person, this monster. I'm going in into the belly of the beast. Yeah, you've been here before, buddy. You know about this. Oh, smuggler's cash. That's good, right? Yep. I'm a bit worried because I haven't seen my sniper mark apply on anybody in a while. I, I wonder if everything's still okay. That's that's what I'm worried about. I, I kind of feel like you never really know. Oh, there it is. Mark on hit support. We're good. Is the momentum thing working or am I doing it for nothing? Momentum should work on Herald of Agony. I mean, it supports it. So, ooh, maybe I need to put it here. Is there a difference to like where you place the gem, I wonder? Like in a, in a on one item, does that change something? Lots of dead ends. It's funny because we're literally in the bowels of a huge monster. It's like an IBM simulator. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, gosh. I went too fast. Too far too fast. Oh, my God. You're so lucky. This is edited. Some of you guys were like, show us the unedited part. No, you don't want to see the unedited, unedited part. You don't. 
Oh, what the heck? I gotta keep moving. Maybe it's a good moment to have a look at my passive skill points. Last time I was here, I really wanted to get the Chaos Mastery because that felt like the best one I could do. So I'll go up there. Chaos over time multiplicator. Absolutely. There you go. Plus 5% Chaos damage over time. That's what I need to focus on. I do Chaos damage, so it makes sense, right? Things have gotten a lot smoother when I stopped picking up every item I found on the ground. All right, we made it to the Rotting Core, AKA the liver. Ah, pa, 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 pa. keep dying, I keep dying. I gotta be more careful. It's just hard being careful when the screen is on fire at all times. Okay, the black core approaching. Oh, I remember this boss. This was sick. I can't remember his name though, but I remember having a lot of good times here. Malachi. Oh, let me fight him again. Defeat the spirits of Chevron. Chevron. Chevron Sorrow. Oh, okay. I need to go into all these portals. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I like how it's a bit unique though. Okay, is Chevron here? Looking for Chevron. Chevron's Arena. There we go. How do you pronounce it? Chevron? Chevron? Chevrolet? Oh, she's taking damage. She's taking damage. Ah, she's dishing out damage, as we say. Did I fight her before? Are we just redoing last um, act? Which one would this be? Act four, I guess? I don't remember the fight being like this. I do remember all the books, though. Done. Okay, two more to go. Is it ice? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I tell you what, Toxic Arrow is not too bad. Not too bad. Toxic Rain. Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty good, especially with the plethora of spiders here. Well, get out of there. Get out of there. Where's my dash not working? What would I do without these ballistas? Yes, I leveled up. That's good. Level 68. That means I get a huge DPS boost if I remember my skill tree correctly, which I think I do. Nice. All right, so normally here I can get plus 10% to chaos damage over time. Yes, done. Let's go to Maligaro. Oh, I remember you, buddy. You were not a um, ghost back then. He is 50% dead. He's half-life. No big challenge so far. The one before didn't kill me once. Again, it's just like the, the health pool of these guys is quite big. That's my only issue currently. Oh, he multiplies. Cute. Keep moving. Keep moving. Never stay still for long. Okay, the fight just got a lot harder. A lot quicker. Nearly dead. And he's dead. I think that's good. Yeah, one more. Dordre's Despair. Oh, this is the one with all the debuffs, right? Kind of speed running through this. It's just one corridor. So there you go. Whoa, she nearly just one shot me. What was that about? Oh my god, my, my plague aura wasn't activated. I don't know why. Even during that fight with the boss before? Oh my gosh. So embarrassing. Oh, I'm I'm suffering with damage. <laughs> Again, her health pool, crazy, insane. I need to break these um these stones because they debuff me. So the comments have helped me understand since last time I had to fight this one. Oh, first death. I thought I was doing really well too. It could have been a perfect, you know? That's okay. And she's dead, finally. Oh, I just got bonked out, I guess. All right, there we go. Kill the depraved trinity. Sounds good. The black heart. Ooh, yes. Whoa! Pose for the thumbnail, pose for the thumbnail. What is this? Oh, that's so cool. This has got to be the end boss of the act, and I am here for it. It's chaos. It's just pure chaos on my screen right now. Nearly one shot me by slapping me with one of his books. Wow, the damage is real. Ballista, ballista. Okay, how, how many times am I going to die to her? Obviously aiming for zero, but I'm expecting two. Just because this uh, requires all my attention. At some point, I'm going to slip. I know it. Oh, where'd she go? Oh my god, I hope there's no phase two, by the way. Ooh, spiders. Uh, very hard-hitting spiders. And I'm dead. That's death number one. So intense. In terms of fight, this is super intense. Oh, second death. It's okay. I'm not allowed to die anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to delete my character. No, I can't do that to you guys. Can't do that to myself. I don't have that, that kind of time. Restart all over again. So the books explode into lightning. That's good to know. Oh, I forgot. We got these guys. Man, the depraved trinity just looks so cool. It just does. It's such a mishmash of body, bones, teeth. It's just so gory. Love it. I wasn't paying attention, and at some point I must have really damaged him, her, they, because it's got 20% life remaining, 10%, maybe 15. Come on, Ballistas, finish the job. Oh my god. Nearly done, nearly done, guys. Yes, I did it. Cool, I got some good stuff. Where am I? Oh, hi. You are both very hostile. Back to Orioth for Act 10. Is this it? Is this Act 10? I don't want to open anything. Yes, this is it. This is the last act, guys. Oh, bah, wah, wah. I mean, I'm not going to pick up anything right now because that'll be for next video. Right now, I just want to have a quick look at what I've got. So I just got this chain belt. I'm not sure if it's better or not. You have phasing if energy shield recharge has started recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look into all this. Yeah, okay, let's do some pros and cons. I'll go to the Act 10 home for that. What an act. 
So it's not the longest act so far. And I like that. It was actually quite snappy. I think we're, the pros and cons are going to be quite short on this one because I don't feel like we've um, pushed the needle further in terms of features or anything like that. Pro number one is that I've got a new chess piece and that is worth its weight in gold for me. Uh, I look like an assassin, uh, like I should do because I am an assassin, a poisoned assassin. Another pro, the bosses, the visuals. Uh, let's just go with the bosses first. Like the bosses have been fantastic. This act, they've been so different, all of them. And there's been so many of them also, which I really appreciate. I don't know if this can still be a pro because I keep bringing it up, but I think the visual identity and the visual art style is fantastic so far. It's so unique. You know what I mean? These guys at GGG, they really went and decided to make their own thing. They decided to innovate and I really respect that. At the same time, I do miss like a medieval dark fantasy setting, but hey, whatever. I applaud them for their work. In terms of the cons, the only con that I have at this point in this act has been the health pools of the enemy. So either I'm just not DPSing enough, which is fair, or there's something a bit off. But uh, yeah, I think the health pools were really high this act. I felt like most of the act was just kiting bosses and going through the bosses one by one. And they had a lot of life. Overall, it's a bittersweet goodbye for me today because it means that the next episode is going to be the last episode of this series. I'd love to hear what you guys have thought about the series so far and where you want it to go in the future. Um, as always, guys, I just want to say a huge thank you. You could have spent that time you had today anywhere else, but you decided to spend it with me and I appreciate it so much. If you want to support me, you can join my YouTube membership or you can just come and hang out on Discord. Uh, come and say hello. I'd love to have a chat with you. All right. With that said, thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4 player tries Path of Exile for the first time. This is our final episode in a way, because it's the end of the campaign, and then we'll move on to better and greater things. It's Act 10 today. Let's say hello to Frank and just jump right into it. Hey, Frank, come out. Man, he's shy. But Frank, oh, I need to click on it. Bonk. Let's get going. Before we do this, I did ask my Discord like, hey, how do I not make a fool out of myself in Act 10? Because I got a lot of flack for Act 8 where I picked the wrong labyrinth. So I was told that I need to finish the other labyrinth first before I do Act 10. So let's go back to Act 8, I believe, the Sarn encampment, and let's go try out the other labyrinth. Now, I have made a few changes since uh, last episode as I was playing for like an hour before just to get ready. I was told to take out clarity and to add life tap support. So that means that it costs me life when I'm using Scourge Arrow and I'm a bit scared of that. I tried it out on some low level mobs and it's fine, but I don't know if my flasks can support that. Then I also added chaos damage support. I was told to do that and uh, malevolence as a new aura, which uh, increases my skill effect duration and my damage over time, which I do a lot of. Okay, so last time I got here and I did Labyrinth level 33. Don't ask me why. This time we're going to be doing doing the cruel labyrinth and maybe the other ones too if I can. I hope my DPS has been improved a bit thanks to my life tap, thanks to my malevolence. Oh, also Plague Bearer now. I can't activate it right now, but it has a way bigger area of effect, which is awesome. Ballista, Ballista. That's a great way to start. The only thing that scares me a bit with the life tap support gem is that every time I upgrade it, I take more damage every time I use a scourge arrow. So should I upgrade it like or should I just leave it where it is? Do you guys also like not augment anything sometimes? They don't you don't augment a gem just to avoid the downfalls of the requirements from the gem. OK, that was fast. Ballista, ballista. Come on, buddy. I'm not scared of you. Oh, my God. My life is going down. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought it only takes some of my life at the end. Anyway, let's get this guy low level. Let's kill him. This is the accumulation of all my teachings. Ten episodes, completely blind. Well, completely. I listened to you guys a few times. Not always, though. All right. First stage done. I leveled up and suddenly all my gems leveled up. What's going on? I didn't even level up. I leveled up a bit ago, 8% ago. Why did all my gems just suddenly level up? What happened? All right. There we go. Fully leveled up. I'm afraid of casting Scourge Arrow. No. Yeah, it's going to eat in my, my health pool. But as long as I've got mana flasks, um, sorry, as long as I've got life flasks, I should be okay. Another Labyrinth mini game. I don't mind these. They're actually quite fun. I think this is a bit harder than the first Labyrinth. Once again, something happened. What happened that made me level up everything? No idea. Well, I don't mind. Done. Hopefully this will help my DPS. All right, here we go. Round two. Ballista, ballista. Oh my God, the damage I just took was quite something, eh? Ballista, ballista, ballista. Dash. Conduit of Storms. Can I activate it? Oh, he gets like powerful on this stuff. Okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Oh, stack. done. There we go. Step two done. See you in step three. Act three, whatever you want to call it, bud. Your ass is mine. Oh, right. I remember I need to get as many keys as I can because at the very end, I'll be able to open a bunch of different chests with them. Something along those lines. Let me through. Oh my God, let me through. There we go. Silver key. Useful. Silver door, silver chest. Something will be opened with this silver key. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, the day it releases, I should be probably doing my very first Twitch stream. Some of you guys have asked me to stream on Twitch these adventures, and I'm gonna do it. Starting right now, I should be having a look at the end game. How very exciting. I mean, am I even gonna be in end game when I'm done with Act 10? I guess I'll find out. All right, here we go. Round three. Oh my God, there's spikes all over the ground. No. Why do we have to make this hard? The damage is real. Oh, dash. Nice one. Just stay in the middle. Hey, I'm done. I don't really need any of those. Well done. Oh, I only had the two. That's fine. Dunzos. Transform a skill gem to be a randomly transfigured gem. What's that mean? Sacrifice gem for treasure to keys. I'll sacrifice. I'll give you explosive arrow. Aha, two treasure keys. Oh, so it's mostly a uh, currency, which I, I need. I'll take it. And here we go. Altar of Ascendancy. So I get two points of Ascendancy now. So two points. What do I want? I can go for Nature's Reprisal. I could go for Nature's Adrenaline. Flask gain three charges every three seconds. Hell to the yeah. That sounds great. What about this? Magic Utility Flasks applied to you have 30% increased effect. Nah, I am going for Flask gain three charges. Thank you very much. And that's me done. Although there's still more to do. So why don't I just jump in. Why don't I just get it done? I'll spare you having to follow me through all this. Oh, you must have completed all trials and all previous labyrinth to activate this labyrinth. Oh, I'm missing one. It's probably an act 10. Let's do it. Let me sell you a few things, by the way. I pick up things I think I'm going to use and then I don't mm, sell some flasks. That's cool. So we have two quests to do. Aid the archivist, travel to the ossuary, ossuary? To search for the Mortinomicon. I know the Necromonicon, Necronomicon, but not this one. Safe passage, Bannon is trapped on the cathedral's rooftop by Catavis Cultus. Find him, save him. My pleasure. Here we go, on to the rooftops of the cathedral. I can't believe this is the end of the campaign. I'm, I'm excited, but also sad. That excited, ex sad. Everybody's dying quite fast, I like it. Now there's some guy on the rooftop that I should be able to help. I wonder if he's here. I mean, he should be. I'm so happy that the ballistas have made it with us from the very, very beginning of Act 1 to the end, Act 10. They're my favorites. I wonder if there's much point in me going through the end game with this character, or should I just create a seasonal character and then do all the campaign and then pick up from where I left off at that point on? Oh, found him. It's back where I defeated that boss that one time. Oh my god, okay, this is a tricky one. As soon as I take a lot of damage though, mm -mm, it becomes tough. Oh, I'm all right. I'm okay. Talk to Bannon. Hey. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I kind of wish um, we could celebrate the end of Act 10 by giving Frank some kind of armor because he's been walking around in this birthday suit this whole time, running after me, dodging God knows what. He deserves a little suit of armor, you know? GGG, please make it happen. Also, if he could pick up some items, that'd be great. You know what game did a really good job in terms of pets? Do you remember Torchlight? Do you remember the game Torchlight? I've been meaning to get back into that because I played Diablo, of course, when I was a kid, but like Torchlight 1? Mm, the memories. I got to try it out again. Oh, look at these guys. They're so... Well, I don't really see the enemies anymore, but wow, they look cool. What's this? Fright Claw. Oh, it's a claw weapon. All right. I've been here, haven't I? I remember when I was back here, I was fighting some kind of religious Roman, I'm going to guess fascists also because I saw the flags, uh, enemies. And now these guys are the same, but also different. They're all messed up. Oh, first death. That's it. Beginning of the end. I got one shot. There goes my expectations die. I wouldn't get one shot in this game. Just got absolutely decked. Okay, let's try this again. The character model of this guy is just fantastic. Well, the enemy model, I guess. I love they've, they've got some really good enemy design in this act so far. Finally found it. The ossuary. Let's go. The bone pit's right underneath it. Oh, wow. The ossuary. Look how cool this looks. They really went with um, skulls for the skull throne, right? Ooh, the light's turning on as I'm walking around. Hell yeah. I love that. We're still alive. Even though I definitely shouldn't be. I'm still here. I'm still kicking. There we go. Smuggler's cash. Whoa. I really have to check this out soon. Ooh, a map. I heard those are useful. I was told keep all your maps. Damn, who's this guy? Look at him. He's huge. Nice. Oh, there we go. Sealed chest. I found the elixir. Oh, there's also a trial of ascendancy, so I definitely have to do it. That way I can go back and do the labyrinth. It is quite important. Oh, I stumbled upon a quest item I was supposed to find. Oh, the book of the dead. Love it. 
Done. Oh, another claw. Wow. If I was a claw build, this would be a great day. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that is not the case. Can't believe it. I got two crazy claw items. Oh, man. It's okay. Oh, there's a, another hideout here. Yes, please. I love the skeleton look. I'll do it. This place is this literally this is the place. And she's like, wow, this, uh, this is an amazing place to live. I mean, uh, real estate, location, 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 right? I mean, a bit dusty. All right, what's going on? What What is going on? Just fire for fire's sake. Oh, my goodness. Survive, survive. Yes, got it. I would like to select this as the main hideout, if you don't mind. Skeletal hideout. That's my favorite. Oh, no. How do I leave? No, don't do this to me. No. <laughs> what did I do to myself? Okay, well. Oh, it's fine. It's right next to the ossuary. We're good. Kind of. Let's continue. We need to find a lab. We need to find the labyrinth. People called it lab forever. And I was like, a Labrador? A laboratory? I didn't understand. There we go. I can see it on the map. Nice. Oh, this was really easy, actually. Oh, maybe not. There's a second one. Yeah, not that bad. Done. Okay, how am I on my quest now? I need to go back home. Let's do it. And maybe I'll jump right into the labyrinth. Get those points, you know? Ooh, ooh, okay. This is important. I'll go with the divine life flask. Ah, I'll go for the life one. So this might be very painful for some of you, but I don't need these two. So bye, my lover. Bye, legendary items. You're done. There you go. Got myself some better life flasks. Nice. Visit the forbidden sanctum. That's a thing? What's the forbidden sanctum? Hello, where am I? What is this? Interact to start a sanctum run. Yeah, cool. Why not? What does this do? Oh, wait. Place the totem in the altar. Yeah. Place this item on the relic altar. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. What am I not doing right here? Let's do that again. So we're looking for relics. Okay. Sweet Jesus. You need to explain to me how to do this. Wait, there's, there's always a help. There's always a help panel that I can't search through. Button. And it's also not alphabetically done. Okay. All right. Okay. I can't find it. Let me try something else. You have found a relic altar in the entrance to the Forbidden Sanctum. Place a Forbidden Tome and a relic in it to open the Forbidden Sanctum. Okay, 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 okay. Forbidden Tome, right here. The Nor the Mortinomicon. There we, there we go. There we go. Now we understand. Put the relic inside. Confirm. And now it's time for a Sanctum run. Fun! Let's do it. Sanctum map. Oh my god, this is Slay the Spire. Okay, let's just go through it. Chamber of Inscriptions, please. Here we go. What's my resolve? What is that? I'm, my resolve is suffering. What does it mean? I'm dead. That did not go well. Can I do that again? No? Well, that was fun. God damn it. Maybe I'm not high level enough. There are other things to do. Let's go back to the Orith docks. Hey, Book of Regrets. My favorite. Oh, I was also told there was a Christmas thing that I need to open. I love Christmas things. Let me just put a few of these in here first, if that's okay. So I'll run to the labyrinth real quick, do that, and then come back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? I need to open up my free uh, Christmas thing, right? No, I don't see anything free. So probably got it wrong. And then we have the core supporter packs, which are a bit expensive for me, I think. Wow, you can spend $500 here. That's crazy. Maybe I just need to try the new um, season and then it'll unlock somehow. And I really thought I'd get myself a little Christmas thingy, but no, apparently not. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Well, never mind. Let's go and do that labyrinth. All right, the Merciless Labyrinth, level 68. All right, here we go, round one. Ballista, Ballista, oh my God. His damage output is really good for him, not for me. Ballista, Ballista, keep a cool head, keep a cool head. I'm dead. Oh, resurrect in town. No, no. My day is ruined. Tell you what, I'll add my evasion potion back because I feel like that'll keep me safe. All right, here we go. Back at it. Round one. Ballista, ballista. Keep your distance. Use your dash. Keep smart. Use your flasks. They recharge quicker now. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. All right. Round one done. Two more to go. I'm guessing if I die at any moment now, it's just back to the back to town. The Neely level 69. Good opportunity to put another point somewhere in my passive skill tree. There is danger living here. Let me tell you. Maybe if I stopped face tanking everything else, it might be a bit easier. I want to be the assassin. I want to be the rogue. But inside, I'm a barbarian. Level 69. Nice. Round two, Ballista, Ballista, come on. Come on, Frank, I believe in you. Come on. Keep the Ballistas up, keep the potions up. You'll be all right. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm learning how to use the dash, let's go. Ballista, Ballista. He's half health, come on. Ooh, a map. Oh, oh my God, oh. Nearly died, nearly died. 
I did it. I did it. Round two is done. Yes. Yes. Okay. Breathe. I could die. I could die here. I could die here. Okay. All good. All good. Just gotta be careful. Use your dash and breathe. I'm not even gonna try these strong boxes. I don't want to tempt face. Oh no! Oh. Ah. Breathe. Okay. All that time spent. Jesus Christ. All right. F it. I'll go back to Act Ten for a bit. Do some quests. Get stronger. All right. What what am I doing here? What am I doing? Well, we got multitudes of quests. We'll start with death and rebirth. Well, it doesn't matter what we start with. I have to find a teardrop, kill Valenta, and find the staff of Avarius. Okay. I've made it to the control blocks. I need to kill the traitorous Valenta. No problemo. Just deleting people as I walk by. Love it. Oh, wow. Look at this. You know, blink and you'll miss it. You could really just walk by this and not pay attention. But there's a lot of attention to detail here. It's nice. I'm in the arena now. Okay, I think this must be it. Oh, wow. Wow. So much going on. Okay, here's to hoping I can kill her. I don't think my DPS is still 100%, but... What, she's Batman now? I'm assuming it's a she, the Lenta. If you added a boss like this in Diablo 4, people would be so happy. <laughs> be like, wow, this is the best game. This is the best boss ever. Just because of like the amount of stuff happening, it's very impressive to look at, to play in. It's a bit chaotic, but I like it. Nearly dead. Come on. Yes, done. Nice one. I got nothing for that, but I didn't die once. So although my DPS isn't that great, I'm guessing, you know, the rest is okay. Here, take this item while we're at it. And then got myself an extra point. Where am I going to put it? I kind of I haven't really looked at this. Oh, wait, I remember I wanted to go into Chaos Mastery. Which one do I go for? Recover 1% of life per wither debuff, plus one to level of all chaos skill gems. Uh -huh. I'll go with the 40% of physical damage. That seems good. Actually, in my last fight, my issue was with the shield. Like that boss, the shield took forever. So maybe I'll just put it in there. There you go. Leave it at that for now. Is there any other points I can put? Oh, okay, maybe. Supreme Ego. Auras from your skill can only affect you. Auras have 1% more aura effect per 2% of maximum mana they reserve. 4% more mana reservation of, other, of aura skills. That can't be good. It already takes so much mana. Like, all of my mana, actually. What happens if I put- I apply that? <laughs> All right, let's try it for a second. Is my mana just gonna be completely gone? Yep, you got it right. God damn it. I have to use it in orb of regret. For God, that was a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Yeah, refund this, please. Thank you, don't need it. All right, what should I put that one point in then? Oh, what about this? No, what about this? No. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Mm, I'm not really sure. You know what? This seems like a good one. Plus 8% increase attack speed, plus 15% increased global accuracy, and plus 20 to dexterity. That feels in line with what I should do. Wait, I just refunded it. What, what have I just done? Oh man, I put my point here, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. As I was saying, finesse. There we go. Apply point. Wow. Took me forever to get anywhere. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's move on. Continue my quests. Okay, so we've got uh, three more quests to do if you count the labyrinth, which I definitely count the labyrinth. The reliquary. All right, off we go. Of course, the map is reset. Otherwise, it's not fun. God damn, every level I earn, I, I immediately get humbled by some rat with a bubble around him or something. That's crazy. This mob has an aura that prevents any recovery of life over 50%. That's crazy. That really is something. So fate has led me towards the death and rebirth quest. So Bannon needs the staff of Avarius to break through Kitava's horns and defeat him. Search for it in the desecrated chamber of innocence. No problem. They've got some dope ass names, right? And some very grim dark kind of names for some of these locations. The staff of innocence in the desecrated chamber of, well, innocence. And I'm dead. All right. Am I going to be able to finish this act in one piece? They don't make it easy to tell you that. Maybe that's why I'm supposed to follow guides. Who knows? I'll tell you what. I'll just go real slow. Make sure I kill all the enemies. Take my time. Level up. Get the items. Wow. That's a lot of things. Throat stabber? No. Maul? No. Shield? No. Wand? No. Fun, fun, fun. Who is that? Oh, I forgot. I've got a bloody assassin with me sometimes. Right. I'm supposed to do this. Whatever this is. Kill the war master. All right. When you guys play this game and you're at this part of the campaign, are you like just steamrolling through the whole thing? Because I feel very inadequate here. Like it kind of sucks that in my comments, people are like being very aggressive towards me because I don't follow a guide. Like, What's the average person supposed to do? You know, Google every single game they play. Look for guides. It's silly. God damn it. Let's try this again. 
Oh my god, the damage is real. Holy guacamole, man. All right, I'm dead again. Okay, this this is too high level for me. I can't do it. I kind of want to go on a rant about this, you know? Like, I haven't been following any guides, but I've been following your advice pretty closely. I try to stay away from spoilers and all that, but I have been following your advice. And even then, even after following all your advice, even the skill tree to to a degree isn't really mine. It's, it's yours. It's the comment section. So even after following all that, getting all the gear, well, not all the gear. I know there's some stuff I deleted when I should have had, shouldn't have, but still, I am dying a lot. And Maybe it's a skill thing, you know, maybe that's the problem here. But yeah, I'm I'm always thinking about the casual gamer, you know, who, who doesn't have the luxury of having an awesome YouTube community to help him. And I'm just thinking like, wow, how hard would you bounce off this game if you were trying this hard and getting punished basically for making your own decisions. You'd probably bounce off real hard. Then again, there's some sections of this act that I just kind of breeze through, no problem. The music is awesome, by the way. Oh my God. Okay, I've made it to the desecrated chamber. I've been here before, ages ago, but I've, I've gotten here. All right, I need to find the staff. The game does not allow me to get away with bullshit anymore. It doesn't. If I see an enemy, I need to, yeah, there you go. I need to backtrack, dash away, and focus. Oh, goat hide gloves. Nice. That could be helpful. No, it's not. Why? Why is it not? Why is a unique item not as good as the, the item I have on right now? Game. Okay, you ready for some plague bearer action? It's absolutely my favorite skill. I've got 120k in the bank. Let's go. Dead, 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 dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're all dead. Yeah, that's awesome. Sanctum of Innocence. Made it, I think. Yes. Find the Staff of Purity. Who's this guy? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm I'm just dying. Immediately. Ballista ballista, stay away from the red stuff. Wow. Nearly one shot me. I'm guessing he does chaos damage. Just cause that's what I have no resistance to. It's okay, my damage is not too bad. I just gotta keep this up. Oh, we got a friend. Great. Oh my god, the damage. Maybe once I get through their shields, we'll be better, in a better place. Sweet god. This is the hardest boss I've done so far. By far. So far. <laughs> Stop following me, big ass robot. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I hope you guys are cheering on behind your screens. Come on, I only died once. I'm doing pretty good, I think. Keep going, don't stop moving. He's got to be at like, what, 15% now? 20 maybe? Come on, you can do this. This better not be phase one, I swear to God. This is hard, this is hard. Come on. He's dead now. He's got to be, yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Deliver the Staff of Purity to Bannon. Oh my God, I need a breather. I need a freaking Xanax at this point. Oh. oh no. Whoa, he was a god all this time. He's innocence, Sin's brother. Cool. These are better, right? Zodiac leather. Let's do it. That looks good. Yeah, that looks better. I think let's um let's set it up. Yeah, Zodiac leather is way better. Fantastic. Okay, I do need to change the the colors though. I need them to be red and blue. We got the red. No, we got the blue. No. No. Yes. 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 Nice. What do I look like now? Oh. Okay, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I feel like I'm a fish of some sorts. Oh well. No, it's 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 fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do this for there should be a button that just automatically puts stuff where it's supposed to be in my stash. Just saying. Alright, I think I'm ready for another adventure. An end to hunger. Innocence will use his power to destroy Katava's horns and grant you access to the canals. Meet him at the horns in the Ravaged Oryth Square. Where is that? Where is the Ravaged Oryth Square? The Ravaged Square. Why do I not have an objective? I do also have to go to the Reliquary, so let's get going. Hopefully it hasn't gone back to zero. It has! Oh, I could- Innocence is right here. He's ready for me. Is this it? Bone and corruption shall not okay. Innocence. He doesn't look that innocent to me. Jesus Christ. Oh, those were the horns. Off to the canals we go. Okay, we know what to do. Take it easy, little by little. It'd be cool to get a six gemmed item. So I guess I could go on now and finish Act 10, but I think I should do find the teardrop. I think I need to do that, sorry. It's like I've done every quest, right? So if I finish the game and I don't do this quest, then I'd be one quest less from finishing the whole campaign in a way. So yeah, that would bother me. So I wanna, I wanna do that one first. Let's find the reliquary. 
Oh, achieving complete foot of the mountain. Reach level 70. Oh yeah, cool. There you go. Done. I'm level 70. Is that cool? Foot of the mountain. Mm, meaning we're at the very start of the game. Truly. <laughs> the reliquary. There we go. Let's find the teardrop. Found the teardrop. Done. Oh, I get a belt. How lucky am I? It wasn't worth it, was it? <laughs> Whoa, this is a really good bow. Like, really good. I'll sell this. Can I change the amount of gems, gem sockets on a bow? I should know this by now, but I don't. Let's see. I know there was something here. Reforge the number of sockets on an item. There you go. Let's just put that. I got 20, three, one, five. Really good. I could do, I could do with five. I could do with five. What about the links though? Not linked anywhere. There's a few links, but not all of them. Anyway, yeah, this looks good. Put that in, right? I'm not crazy here, right? It's like just a bit better. Oh, but this one increases the, the accuracy rating. Maybe I could go back to the stat, the, um, okay, I can, I can do stuff. I can go to the hideout and then in the hideout, I can go to the crafting bench. I can put that in and I can enhance with some physical damage, right? That's what I've been told to do. Apparently not. Can't do that. Maybe we can go for some attack speed. Oh, I'm missing some stuff. I'm missing some stuff for all of this. Oh God. So what do I do? I think for now I'm going to have to keep the other one on because that one has much more physical damage, which pains me. It really does, but it is the way it is. Okay. I think we've done all the quests. Now we only have the end to hunger to do. Let's do it. Oh, I also got a skill point. I'll put it in life. I need life. You can't, you can't tell me I don't need some life. I need it. There you go. Dead again. Also, I did kind of jump into them. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not doing very well. I'm trying, I'm trying. Bad move, bad move, bad move, bad move, bad move. What are you doing? Oh. All part of the plan, baby. Oh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. So uh, unlock this door with a stone passage. Yeah, the more you kill, the better. Got it. Let's do it. Jesus Christ, the amount of enemies on screen. I'm doing pretty good. Was there not more to do? Oh gosh, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's a shame. Oh wow, I have 400k saved for Plague Bearer. I cannot believe this. If I don't die right now, I could save that up maybe for the boss fight, essentially. I don't know, this guy's not dying. Oh, he's got life for Jen, that's why. Oh, damn it, I'm just gonna use it. Yeah. Oh my god, the damage. Let's go. Plague Bearer for the win. She's back. Yes, cool. All right. Here we go. I can go to the cellar and there's an architect to kill to upgrade the room. Okay, here we go. I'm feeling good. I got 200K in the plague bearer. Let's go. Where's everybody? Three seconds, two seconds, one second, zero seconds, three seconds. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need more. I need more. Oh my God. Come on. So close. Send me again. Ah, oh gosh. Oh, she's back once again. Indiana Jones. Let's go. I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick. I'm doing okay. I think Iron Sling the Savage, that's who I'm supposed to kill. I can do it. Come on. Three seconds. Ah, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm just not going to make it. Ah, that bothers me so much. Why do you say good job? It's not a good job. Ah, just frustrated, I guess. Let's finish this back where it all started. Kind of. Not really. This is it. It all comes down to this moment to finally put an end to Kitava. Oh, from a little exile on the beach to Kitava. Oh, that's the... We've already done this boss. Oh, we're fighting with sin. We're fighting with innocence. Awesome. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's try that again. Pay attention. Focus. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yo, this is hard. It's hard on my life. Like the mechanics aren't that difficult, but slip up and you die. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, the heart once again. Yes. Puts the heart back in. Very gross. Oh, something's happening. Nope, nothing's happening. We're just kicking his ass. That's what's going on. I've died once so far. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I've done worse. Oh, what's going on? Nothing. We're good. Trying to survive, doing my best. And I'm dead. Oh, it sucks. I had so much in Plague Bearer. Oh my goodness. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just got to dash, move, dash, dash, dash. Ballista, ballista. Frank is doing his part. Moral support mostly. Yes. Show us the heart. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ballista, ballista. Oh, 
Innocence, no! The music is so epic. Alright, nearly done. Innocence managed to get away. Smile for the thumbnail. Oh, that did not work. I'm dead. Okay, that was three times now? But I, I feel confident I can kill Katava now. It's just a question of time. I'm getting cramps in my fingers. Uh, I'm alive. I'm alive, and you're nearly dead. You're nearly dead. Come on, let's go. Yes! Oh, the heart. The heart once again. Okay, so as long as the heart's there, he's alive. So the heart is the real boss. And the heart is dead. Yay. Done. Sin and salvation completed. What's that? It's over. It's over. We emerge victorious. Oh, that's it. We're done. We've we finished the campaign. Or is it? She's asking me to set sail for Oriath. What's that all about? Wait, let's talk to everybody first. By the light of Ramako. Innocence. Okay, let's set sail. So where are we? What's this? Come on, Frank, wake up. We've been summoned. Okay, I need to go to the war room. So Lily is helping them build this town. That's cool. And she's got a bunch of gems. That's cool. Ooh, look at this. Looks cool. Zoom in a bit. Get a bit of that. Immersion. Ooh, where are we? This is not what I expected out of a war room. Hey, Karak. Oh, they call me Godslayer now, not Exile. Ha! Take this map and put it in one of the map devices below. It will take you to a realm we call the Atlas. Once you see the world on the other side and have yourself a battle or two, we'll talk. What? Is this the map stuff you guys have been talking to me about? Oh, we're in the epilogue. Should I just do the epilogue? Will this just be a long video? Yeah, why not? Okay, so map device. What is this? What is going on? Oof. Okay. Please see for your tips and tricks of maps for me down in the comments. So if I put a map, I have to identify it. Identify the map. Okay. I have put the map. You do not have Atlas missions. What is it? I'm going to click on a few of these buttons, figure it out. Kirik missions. Don't know what that is. Atlas. What is this? No idea. It doesn't say a thing. Let's just try it. I feel like I've done a map before. Yes, I have. Bone Crypts. Okay, let's try it. Open map of the map device and step through the portal. This is endgame, right? Find and defeat the map boss. Okay, easy to understand. Oh, I died. I died on the map. Oh my god, I have to survive a map. Well, fine. If I must. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, focus. I have a map somewhere here. There you go. Oh, I can just go back to the bone crib. Okay, so I didn't lose all that, did I? And it seems like there's modifiers. So is this a bit like the hard dungeons in Diablo 4? 40% increased quantity of items. Cool. Rarity, pack size, and monster gain frenzy. All right. Oh my god, I died again. Let's try that again. I have X amount of turns, I guess. Four turns. Four tries, I should say. Oh, I found him. I found him. He's the map boss. <laughs> I couldn't find the name for him. I mean, I think he is, right? He's unique. He's got the orange glow on him. Yeah, there you go. Done. Easy peasy. Even got some boots out of it. Or did I? Not really. No. So how do I get out? It just says return to the commander, so I'll return to the commander. No problem. There we are. Oh, what's this? One Atlas passive skill point. Another goddamn tree. Is it like the ascendancy one? I don't even dare click on it. Go on, I'll click on it. This is the passive skill. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my god! What is this? Oh, so this is a, a tree for the maps? 2% for one monster in each. Na, 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 na. Oh my goodness. Why does it have to be so big? 20% increased quantity of items dropped. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I have one point in this. I'm too scared to even choose anything. Delve, strong boxes, essences, incursions, bestiary. I like the bestiary. I'll put a point in that. Wow. Oh my god. I thought we were done with skill trees, guys. I really did. What's this? No idea. Wow. I'm incredible. Atlas missions. We have a few missions that could use your special skills. So I pick one of some sorts. Oh, we got voice acted uh, stuff for each of these. That's cool. So what happens if I activate them? Explore the atlas. No. Invite to hideout. <laughs> <laughs> I can invite him to my hideout. Grants an Atlas passive refund skill. Sure, you can buy maps. Well, well, well. Explore the Atlas of Worlds. What does that mean? Well, I don't know, but it's quite interesting, all of this. So we're in the epilogue for now, and I think we should go through this in either a new video, I'll delve into the maps. And again, I think I'll just stay away from guides and I'll just like delve into the maps and figure out how to do it myself. But maybe I'll, I'll open myself to like try a guide for the build, potentially, because... <laughs> 
I have it this far, so it's like be good to figure out how to get better items. Please drop your tips and tricks in the comments about where do I go from here in terms of like how do I get a better better gear and stuff like that? Or do I jump into season? Do I pause this and jump into season now? I don't know. And I'm just scared at this okay. point. Oh, and I can eat I can even like do the missions here, the flooded mines. These are it is so interesting. So plenty of things going on. And I'm gonna discover them with you. Listen, guys, I think it's time to finish this video. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who helped me on this journey. Everybody who watched my videos, everybody who shared my videos. It's been so fun discovering Path of Exile with you. I don't really know where we're going to go from here, but I hope you guys will stick around to find out. Uh, pros for this video, everything. The pros for the series that maybe I should actually review Path of Exile at this point. Like, what is the beginner's experience without the guide? I'm in this unique position that I've done it now. Well, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't suck. It's fun trying out uh, builds, but I wish there was a way for us to like change up our builds a bit more through them, do a bit more testing basically through the, the campaign. Campaign was so much fun though. Um, it got a bit hard at the end, really hard at the end actually, but we got through it. We got through it guys. My cons is it's not a very noob friendly game. Uh, it's not, and it's a real shame. And I think it's gatekeeping the game a bit to make it this hard at this point. Although I say that, but I love Dark Souls for example. I love all the Souls games and they're hard on purpose in a way. And, and you feel great at the end. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I feel. I'm kind of overwhelmed by emotions right now as I sit down trying to think about the last 20-ish hours. Actually, should we just do a quick uh, slash dead? How many times did I die? Wait, slash death? Maybe that's better. I have died 135 times during my playthrough of this campaign. And my slash played is one day, four hours, 46 minutes and 24 seconds at this point. Wow, what an experience. Overall, it's been insane. I hope you'll stick around for the future. See where we go from here. Make sure to join the Discord. If you want to support me, you can join my YouTube membership or just come and hang out on Discord. I'd love to talk to you. Subscribe. I don't think I've asked you guys to subscribe once in like 10 videos, which is terrible. So yeah, if you, if you guys want to see more of this uh, kind of content, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I am now officially an exile.